Stardew Valley has 12 marryable NPCs, and I married all of them, plus a few ones that you can't marry in the vanilla game, thanks to mods. Let me walk you through all of them and give you a rating out of 10. Sit back, grab some snacks, put this on before you go to sleep, and enjoy. Oh yeah, I've also included timestamps for every single character, so if you're just interested in one character, check the video playback timeline, you can, uh, you can skip around however you want. But I'd recommend watching it all, unbiased. First up, we got a fan favorite, Abigail. Abigail is probably the most popular female romanceable NPC in Stardew Valley and maybe just out of all of them. Probably because she's the most attractive woman towards the game's average player. Someone who likes games, you know, plays games, and it's kind of quirky. Abigail ticks those boxes. She's a big gamer. She's got an SNES in her room. Chrono Trigger poster. Banger game, by the way. Been playing through it. And she is the definition of quirky. One of her main traits is literally eating rocks. Rocks. Almost exactly straight up of My Strange Addiction video. Actually, wait, I'm almost sure they had an episode on that exact thing. Oh yeah. They did. Anyways, the internet isn't unanimous on liking her because that would probably mean everybody who used the internet died except for one. That's how likely it is for the internet to agree on something without question. But a lot of her criticism comes down to her being immature, maybe a little bit self-centered, and apparently as rude as Haley the first time you meet her. The immature is actually a surprisingly, well, not that surprisingly common criticism of her. People tend to think she kind of acts like a high schooler, which is pretty valid. She honestly doesn't come off as super mature, at least in my pretty limited experience with her. The self-centered option is kind of just based off a piece of dialogue when you first move in she's mainly sad that she can't play on your farm anymore which is a weirdish thing to say first first off the bat I think I've honestly found the pattern in who dislikes and likes her. If you're older you probably dislike her or you're not a huge fan of her and if you're a younger person then you probably don't mind her. But comment on my theory since you know I could be very wrong just tell me in the comments down below. What I'm very curious about is if she's really rude early game, since I criticized Haley big time for the same thing. Am I a massive hypocrite? Let's find out. All right, here we go, Abigail. I've carefully selected her favorite gift, pumpkins. Oh, wait, you know what? I, I, I changed my mind. This is, this is probably better. This is like the classic, the classic gift. So yeah, what is there to say about Abigail? Like I said, she's probably like the most popular candidate, period. And I can't really think of anyone else who would be bigger. But she does have her fair share of haters, I will admit. Because she kind of just is like the, the, the quirky gamer stereotype. Rock eater. Gamers eat rocks. True. Confirmed and real. But I've never, never seen her heart cutscenes. So uh, may maybe they're going to be top tier. Extremely good. We, we still got a long way to go. Before we get to those, we do, do we even do we even know her? We don't even know her name. Who is who, who's Abigail? Who's this person? I don't even know. I think probably the most iconic part about her is the the rock eating. She loves the amethyst. Which, uh, to be honest, still still not super sure why. Concerned I put that in the game. A little bit a little bit strange of him. I'm not gonna lie. I really hope she comes out right away. I'm actually not sure when she does. Oh yeah, here she comes. I was not trying to go in. Okay, nice to meet you. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Bruh. It's kind of it's kind of rude. A little bit. It's like, oh great, you're here. Now I can't do this thing. Who cares if you're a new person to me? Freak you. I want to explore my fields. Well, you can have a you can have a iridium quality as well. Just enjoy. And now please get out of my way if possible. If you don't mind. Hmm, honestly, that's not a great start. That's kind of like almost no, th that's a little bit lighter than Haley. Oh, I forgot about that. God damn. Abigail sucks to make friends with. Huh. Another fairly common criticism of her is that like she doesn't really have a whole lot going on for her in life. You know, Alex has got sports. Sebastian, he's a programmer. He's got a band. Same with Sam, you know, he, he's a musician. He plays a bunch of instruments. What, what does Abby do? Literally nothing. Which I mean, you know, that's fair. Some people like, you know, need a partner with like drive in their life. Inspiration, like a force to continue pushing them to new and, and greater heights. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh man, today she's just gonna stand in her room. Well, I guess that gives us a good opportunity to talk about uh, the hamster in the room, if you will, literally. So uh, if you didn't know, that's a hamster right there. No, not a hamster, a guinea pig, sorry. Sorry to the guinea pig enthusiasts. I won't make that mistake again. And uh, as you can see by the five by four pixels, there's only one guinea pig in there. And that's bad. You want multiple guinea pigs because uh, they're very social animals. So people are saying like Abigail's an animal abuser and that's bad. Don't abuse animals guys. Don't be like Abigail. God damn. Is, is that dresser really that interesting? I, I, I just feel like it's, that's not possible to be honest. It just can't be that interesting. Come talk to me. I have a rock for you. You can chow down. This could be your afternoon snack. Okay. Caroline's out of the tea room. Maybe, maybe she deserves a rock instead. Let's see what she thinks. Here you go. Are you sure? Oh. She's a big fan too. Hello, you must be Abigail, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Wait, did I? Oh, I named myself Abigail. That's kind of confusing. 
<laughs> like, like, like a doesn't doesn't bad an eye. It's like, oh, you you have the same name as my daughter. That's crazy. Oh, blah. I was spacing out. She's running away from me. Come back, please. No, she escaped. Let's see what she has to say today. Anything insightful? Oh, hi. Pretty insightful, I guess. That's literally it. No more dialogue. Okay, take your rock. Oh, well, there she goes. This is her daily check-in, the clinic. And I'm at one heart. Woohoo! Hopefully she comes out a little bit. Oh my god, wait, she's already on the run. Come back. Don't go in the tea room, please. I'll be so sad. Oh, never mind. She doesn't care about tea. We're good. What is that? Pancakes? Cookie of some sort? I'm not sure. Looks kind of good, to be honest. Wow. I just realized it's Friday. Sometimes I totally lose track of time. Okay. Cool. One and a half hearts. My god, she's, she's active on Friday and Saturday. Two days in a row. Amazing. You love it. Let's freaking go, dude. Don't mind if I do. Checking out the fridge today. A couple of notes, I don't blame her. Mountain air. The fresh mountain air is nice on a day like this. Wonder if the frogs will make an appearance soon. Oh wait, we can read that. What is it? Let me in there. It's loaded with fresh veggies. Oh, cool. Is Abigail like vegetarian? I can see that. I believe it. Could be possible. I mean, to be fair, I don't really know her that much yet. So her dialogue isn't, isn't groundbreaking per se, but I don't know, maybe I expect a little bit more. I mean, to be honest, most of the beginning dialogue is kind of trash, I'm not gonna lie. It's the Lord's Day. Will she be at Yoba's Shrine? Uh, hello? Dinner. Well, I'm recording. Finish recording later. No, I need it. Put this in the video. <laughs> Fuck you guys! What the fuck? I was rudely interrupted. I will not be eating until I finish recording, guys. That's how committed I am. Oh, here we go. Oh, man. I've been pushing off my homework all weekend. Looks like I'll be pulling another all-nighter. Huh. I mean, she's not... Wow, I'm trapped. Sorry, guys. Um, she's not not gonna be beating the acts like a high schooler allegations, which isn't great. But on good note, we can now enter her room. Let's, let's snoop around a little bit. Okay, so this is probably where she does online school, if I had to guess. Got a nice little plant, a lamp, bookshelf. Eleven solos... Sonatas for the wooden flute. I don't know what the sonata is. Oh my god, she sensed it from the other room. <laughs> hey, don't even think about it. That's private. Okay, my bad. David. David the guinea pig. Poor David, he's very lonely. Then we got the, the gamer, Chrono Trigger poster. The game controller poster. <laughs> what a stupid poster to have in your room. A dolphin. The SNES. Oh no, it's on SNES. It's just literally a Journey of the Prairie King exclusive console. And then a spirit board. I don't know what that is. The bed looks kind of cool. I like the bed frame and sheets. Goes pretty hard. A solid 7 out of 10 room. 7 out of 10 room. I, I do like the Chrono Trick poster. Why is it that whenever I click record, the neighbors start mowing the lawn? It's actually like almost unbelievable. Guess we're just gonna sit here until they stop mowing. Oh wow, that was actually really quick. Damn. That was like <laughs> two seconds. Are they hearing me? My window's closed, right? Yeah, the window is closed. Okay. All right, cuts you number one. I knew it. Gaming. Gaming emote. Wow. Freaking trash. I mean, to be fair, I might have distracted her. <laughs> Why did I name her the same thing? Wallygug? You scared me, sneaking into my room like that. Yeah, I probably should knock. That's my bad. Sigh. I've been playing Journey of the Prairie King for hours, and I can't even beat the first level. I feel like you're actually definitely not alone in that. I know far too many people who could not even beat the first level. This game is ridiculously hard. Well, either that, or I'm just terrible at it. Glad there's not like a dialogue option because we all know which one it is. Hey, do you want to try this level together with me? I think I might do better with your help. Yeah, I'm kind of a perkin god. Quickly hop on, dominate this level, score a couple of friendship points, don't mind if I do. All right, she's green. I'm the, she's, she's player two, I'm player one. Better player. Here they come. Wait, oh, she can body block me. I feel like I'm definitely going to die to that somehow. This is light work. I am very good at perking. I'm not going to lie. I have the achievement, factors challenge. Not legitimately, but... We don't discuss that. <laughs> she leaves the power up for the better player too. True. I'm already liking Abigail. She uh, respects the, the true gaming master when she sees one, you know? Also, I feel like she's literally not doing that bad. She just only shoots diagonally, so she can't hit anything. Does she know she can, like, shoot to the left? Halfway done. Yeah, okay, Abigail. I can see the timer too. I don't need your commentary over games. Who would want to watch someone commentate over a game? That sounds stupid. Yeah, this is, like, ridiculously easy. I wish it would, I'm, I'm pretty sure, well, no, we'll find out. If it ends the level after this, I'll be sad, because I, I, th I feel like I could beat the game for Abigail. Just drop a quick hard carry. Hey, we did it. Yeah, you seem like pretty decent at the game. I'm not gonna lie, Abigail. You hamming it up to try to get me to play with you? Hey, that was fun. Well, thanks, Wallgeck. You really seem to know your way around a joystick. 
<laughs> I guess that makes sense. Wait, what? Why? Why did? Why would that make sense? I, wait, why? I actually don't understand. I'm like a farmer. I hate technology. Okay, anyways. Time for your daily rock. There you go. Do you ever hang out at the cemetery? It's such a peaceful place to spend some time alone. Wait, is it really? It, it's quite literally almost in the center of town. Rip Mona. I mean, you know, it could be chill. There's like a couple of fences. Maybe that kind of blocks, blocks her off from the staring eyes. You guys ever see those like Twitter posts where it's like, if you got paid one five thousand dollars an hour to clean this cemetery, would you do it? And it's like, yeah, five thousand dollars an hour. Hate to break it, you guys, but ghosts most likely aren't real. It'd probably just be like some homeless people like screaming sometimes. I feel like it'd be a solid job, not bad. If anyone's got a gig like that, hit me up. Five thousand dollars an hour. Don't mind if I do. Sigh. I know my parents mean well, but sometimes they just cannot understand my point of view. Weren't they ever young? So true, Abigail. Just kidding, my parents don't care about me. They just let me move into the middle of the, the middle of the country where I never see them. Okay, no, they mail me stuff. They care. They care a little bit. At least a little bit. God damn it. Just realized it's Wednesday. <sighs> back to the farm for me. For you guys, just a jump cut though, and we're already back. Pierre. Here you see your daughter again. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna do the creep thing and just walk into her room while she's sleeping. <laughs> Oh no, I think my dad's going to cook dinner tonight. How's their kitchen looking? Let's, let's get a kitchen review going. Not bad. Could, could A little bit more counter space might be nice. Looks like a bit of a struggle. Look like my kitchen for real, holy. All right, for four hearts, we need a rainy day. So let's do a couple of sleeping. A couple of sleeping. Let's sleep a few times, how about? Actually, you know what? It's the egg festival. <laughs> Imagine if like, if you beat Abigail at the egg hunt, like you lost hearts or something. Cause she's mad at you. I think we're gonna go own her in the egg hunt. Cause I'm cracked at the egg hunt and I always win. Come straight, to, we're, we're getting straight to business. No, no chit chatting with anyone. It's time for the highlight of today's festivities, the annual spring egg hunt. Calm down now, kiddos. You're gonna need all your energy if you hope to take home the most eggs and take home the exclusive prize. Shut up, Lewis. Now, is everyone ready? Okay, yeah, we're ready. Here, here, ready? Egg hunt montage, let's go, let's go. That Abigail doesn't know about the, the secret spot with two eggs. However, I won't be able to get both of them. Wait, what? Why is there a wall there? No way. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, not not even gonna read the dialogue. Just gonna just gonna close my eyes, spam click through. And when I open them, I'm gonna have the straw hat. Just continue a spam click. I don't know what's going on. Let's. I'm just gonna trust. Don't even. Not reading. Eyes are still closed. I read it here. I don't hear any dialogue. Black screen. And now, got the straw hat. It's just too easy. God damn. That took like a week and a half to get a rainy day. All right. Now we just need to wait till noon. And then we can see the cutscene. All right, she's she's flute playing. Damn, oh, damn, I'm jumping up on her every time. Abigail, why am I so aggro? Holy, why are you out here in the rain? Oh wait, that's she. That's her talking to me. I forgot my name's Abigail. Wally Gug, why are you out here in the rain? Just doing some work, enjoying the weather. I could ask you the same question. I'm doing this one. I could ask you the same question. That's true. Momentary pondering. I came here to spend some time alone, but I don't mind your company. You're getting soaked. Come stand under the tree. It's impossible to describe this feeling. Watching the curtains of rain whisper above a silent lake. Like the lake's gotta be pretty loud. No? Raindrops hidden. I'll turn on ambient noise for the next one, guys. It's kind of- Hey, a mini harp. You're full of surprises, Wally Gug. I'm impressed. Didn't even know I had that, to be honest. I surprised even myself. Kind of awkward because the music's not turned on. We're jamming. I'll put some banger music over this or something. Kind of chill, actually. This is this is kind of a fire cutscene. I'm not even gonna lie. The fireflies are hanging out. They're just chilling. Actually, a pretty fire cutscene. I'm not even gonna lie. I, I enjoyed that. Your daily rock delivery, madame. We're all going to hang out in the saloon this evening. It's kind of like a Friday tradition, I guess. Wow, and I'm not invited. Thanks, Abigail. Appreciate you. Goddamn. Guess I'll just go home to my single room cabin and go to sleep. At 12.40 in the afternoon. A new friend, five hearts, woohoo, halfway. Rich Miner is nice on a day like this. Okay, I repeat dialogue. Cr I'm wondering what would happen if I spent all night in the graveyard. Wait, she's literally talking about the job. Well, like, what do you think happens to us after we die? Jesus Christ, kind of a deep question. I have no idea. We come back as spooky ghosts, we go to heaven. Our energy bodies enter the astral plane. Nothing, we just cease to exist. We come back as spooky ghosts. Well, that's an interesting theory. Okay, she just thinks I'm a dumbass now. Okay, all right. Six and a bit hearts. Let's go check out the six heart cutscene. I hope it's a banger. Last two have actually been fire. The multiplayer Prairie King one is like actually the goat cutscene, in my opinion. We have a minor side quest first. We gotta we gotta buy the house upgrade. 10k gold, 450 wood. I work really hard for that. 
All right, I almost forgot to put my straw hat on. Can't be forgetting that, that was almost bad. All right, for this one, we're gonna wait till 9 p.m., then enter the town. It's gonna be probably a graveyard cutscene, I have to guess. All right, let's go. God damn, <laughs> wait, she's got the blade. Huh? Yeah, that's kind of my thoughts too. <laughs> Shut up. Guess you're wondering why I'm, in, why I'm in the graveyard at this hour. Yeah, kinda. Maybe a little bit. Well, I'm here because it's the best place in town to find some privacy. And I'm all sweaty because I've been practicing my swordsmanship. I'm just a natural. I never practice. I just swing in and I was excellent. Hey, what? You think I'm too weak to swing a blade? Yeah, I do actually. What are you gonna do about it? Swing the blade at me if you, if you want to prove it. Sorry, I guess I'm getting a little bit defensive. I mean, a little bit. You see, I want to explore the mountains and caves, but I know it's too dangerous to go there unarmed. You just sword before, haven't you? Yes, and it's exciting. Yes, but it's only self-defense. Yes, but it's dangerous. You should stay safe. No. No, I haven't used one. Really? That's surprising. I mean, I, I'm being honest. I actually haven't on this safe. I've lived in the valley my whole life, but I've never really done anything menu, but I've never really done anything memorable. I want to go on an adventure. Yeah, freak friends and family. Abigail? Dad? Wait, where is he? Wait, what? Where did he come from? He's been listening to that whole- Jesus Christ. I've been looking all over for you. Your mother wants you to come home and help with dinner. We're doing the graveyard anyway. This is no place for a young lady. Who? Pierre, the misogynist king. Mind your own business. You should think I should- Think I should be at home cooking dinner, because I'm a girl, don't you? Oh, he's- Shots fired. You're really stuck in the past, dad. Oh. <gasps> God damn. Let's get out of here, Wally Gang. He totally epically owned him. I'm not gonna lie. Well, are you coming or not? Ooh. Valid. Would not want to stay with Pierre either, to be honest. Okay, my dad won't find us here. Sigh. Can you believe my parents were ever young? They don't understand my perspective at all. I know. I know. They grew up in a different era with different values. It still takes me off sometimes, okay? Jeez. I didn't argue. I didn't, I didn't argue. I just kind of sit here, listen, you just talk. Well, thanks for hearing me out, Wally Gang. Um, uh, could you help me untangle my hair from this bush? Sure thing. Woohoo, it's the flower dance. Let's dance with Abigail. Woohoo, flower dance has begun. Don't ask me why I'm over here. <laughs> We're in. Let's go. You know what I'm gonna do before we, before we go in? You guys are gonna be so proud of me. I actually remember to turn on the music so it won't be awkward standing there. All right, let's see if he wants to dance. Sebastian's probably very sad. I hate dancing in front of him. <laughs> well, uh, on a different, uh, on a different note, you want to dance with me? <laughs> okay, I look. She's literally lying to my face. Okay, well, cool. Don't mind if I, don't mind if I do. Yeah, you, you did look stupid dancing, Abigail. Just kidding, sorry. I don't know why I said that. I didn't mean it. Woohoo, we're up a heart. Almost eight hearts. Hooray. And we got a new house. She'll finally want to marry me. Almost eight hearts. This might put us over the edge, actually. I'm not sure. Here you go. Oh, whoops, I gave her two. Okay, guess we definitely are now. I don't feel like doing anything today. Including finishing the dialogue. True. Shout out. She's honest, I guess. Eight hearts. Hey, Pierre, uh, got an awkward question. Can you just, uh, give me, give me one of those. I'm just gonna go talk to your daughter over here. Don't mind if I do. Woohoo! I'm kind of nervous, aren't you? Nope. Self-assured. I'm the king of confidence over here. How could I be... Not confident with these sunglasses. Eight heart event, I'm so excited. Let's go. All right, so it's gotta be pretty, pretty damn late for this event, eight o'clock. Eight to 10, and then we gotta show up at the at the house. I need a letter, I'm a bozo. Whoopsies. Hi, Wallagug. One of these days you should come to my room after dark, maybe around 8 p.m. I wanna show you something. Conservative knew what he was doing with that, like, come on. He, he, he knew it, he knew it. All right, here we go. Hey, I was hoping you'd show up. I wanna show you something. As you mentioned in your letter, I remember. See this? It's called a spirit board. Have you ever used one? No, but it influenced my rating on your room, so I have seen it. Put your hand on the, uh, planchette with me. Now the spirits will guide us toward a- What? Look, it's moving. What the? The first letter, it's I. Next is heart. Why is there a heart on the board? Actually, probably because people use this as like a cheese. No, no, never mind. Wow, look at that. It's spelling out Abby. I heard Abby? Oh, <gasps> what the? Oh, damn. Oops, accidentally knocked over the board. <laughs> Queen of subtlety. It's just a silly game. Doesn't mean anything. I um, have something to do. You'll have to go, uh, sorry. Oh, man. Damn it. I'm sad. I took a look back. Wistfully. Oh, well, well that was, uh, eventful, I guess. Oh, she's here. Wait, I thought it was raining. What? Hi. Um,. I just want to say sorry for acting so weird yesterday. You probably understand what happened. Uh, okay. Bye. Yeah. Just, yeah. That, that was also weird in my opinion, I, I, I feel like. And we did it. Ten hearts. All right, let's check out the ten heart cutscene. I'm kind of excited. All right, we got, we got to go to the mines today. 
Let's check the mine cart up that I've definitely repaired. Only event starts at 5 p.m. there. All right, here we go. <gasps> there she is. She's going in alone. Don't do it, Abigail. It's not safe. Okay, uh, to be fair, I've never seen that before either. That's pretty weird, I'm not gonna lie. Stiff. Are you okay? Oh, it's all right. You know, I've been practicing my swordsmanship for a while. Well, I decided today would be the day I venture into the caves, but I got scared. I couldn't do it. Guess you're not as tough as I thought. Wait, oh, I thought he was talking about me. I'm like, God damn, why? I guess I am not as tough as I thought, true. I get scared too, that's a lie. Guess you have something to lose. It's normal to be afraid. Abigail, I, I really like you. Not just as a friend, you know that, right? Can't believe I'm actually saying this, but I can't keep it anymore. I felt this way for a long time. You don't have to say more. You don't have to say anything right here. Let's just stay here for a while. I very rarely stay stuff. I pretty much just say like a sentence every couple of couple of days. <laughs> oh, cool. That was a solid cutscene. Those bats were kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. Apparently, she's on level 20 of the mines. Apparently on raining days, on level 20 of the mines, she has a chance to appear. So I'm gonna make my way down there. No, oh, she is here, no way. Cool, let's see if she has any cool dialogue. Does say? She has custom dialogue, let's see what it is. She's just jamming. Walking in place, cool. Hey Abigail, surprise! I finally found the courage to come down here. Yeah, you beat me, that's actually kind of impressive. But nice if you left a couple of ladders along the way though. Felt scared at first, but I pushed through. I felt much more confident now. This is actually really fun. Wow, good job Abigail. Almost forgot. You want, you want the pendant? Here you go. What? I made it pretty far, didn't it? Yeah, good job. Take the, take the... Okay, uh, some other time, sure. Sounds good. Woohoo, yippee! I'll have everything set up of the ceremony in three days. I'm gonna spam through that cutscene and not watch it. Woohoo, life's gonna be different, yippee. Show me the cutscene right now, Abigail. I wanna see it. The wonderful was, the wedding was wonderful, wasn't it? Yeah. Time to get back to work, so true. Working on senior cutscene? <laughs> the final cutscene. I'm so freaking excited, I can't wait. Let's go. Down to the backwoods. The traveling cart. Mind if I do? Nothing good, don't want it. No, this is not the backwoods. This is the secret woods, whoops. The backwoods is above my farm. What a silly mistake. All right, it's blue. I'm hanging out. I'm checking out a bush, just hanging around. A random monster appears. I'm surprised. He attacks me. I'm down. He's gonna get me. Save me. He's literally emoting on my body. That's crazy. Gasp. Holy sprint. Wait, she actually owned that monster. God damn. Abigail? I mean, Molly Gug? Molly Gug, are you okay? That's probably like four, four hearts of damage to be honest. Not that much. Looks like you just scraped up a little. You had me worried. I've never taken a life before. I, 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 I didn't. That's fine. I'll put them up on screen what they were. And which one I probably would have chosen if I'd been able to read them. Because the world's a pretty tough place. It was either you or him, right? I could have tagged probably like a couple dozen more heads, but yeah, I get the idea, true. Look, you've got to be more careful from now on. I don't want you to lose. I don't want to lose you. All right, Abigail. Sure thing. Let's put them to rest in your bye. Okay. <laughs> I've killed so many of these guys <laughs> on level 20 to 40. Or no, 30 to 40. Huh. She's pretty good. Here are my ratings. Actually, a pretty good character. I really enjoyed those cutscenes. Oh yeah, now it's probably a good time to introduce you to how I'll be rating these characters and what I'll be rating them on. We're gonna do likability or just how much I personally like them. Cutscenes, you know, how much I liked them, were they fun, were they interactive, engaging, a room rating for how good the room was, and then I'm gonna average all those out for an overall rating. For likability, Abigail's gonna get an 8.5 out of 10. Her first couple bits of dialogue didn't come off as super likable, but she got better, and she honestly does seem to care a lot about the player. For cutscenes, I'm gonna give her a 9 out of 10. Super good. Honestly, rating this high is purely for the Prairie King cutscene, but it was that good. I really liked it. For the room rating, I'm gonna give her an 8 out of 10. I know I said 7 in the video, but I changed my mind. It's really not that bad, and I like the guinea pig, <laughs> even if she is mistreating it. Overall, that is 8.5 out of 10. I actually really get why people like her. She's very solid. Next up, though, will she fare as well? Next, we got normal classic fan favorite character, Haley. Haley is a very controversial character for a variety of reasons, and honestly, it's pretty much always you hate her or you love her. Literally no in between. Why exactly do people hate her so much? Well, she's kind of really rude the first time you meet her and until you start bribing her. Well, though you could just say that about pretty much any character. And she kind of just comes off as very rude and vain the first time you meet her. Well, people tend to say she gets better over time and eventually becomes, you know, a super kind, loving and caring wife. Unlike someone like Shane, for example, another character that starts off pretty rude as well. She does not apologize for acting like that after you get to know her. Not sure if my bias came off my little spiel, but I personally, I'm not a huge fan of Haley, but after for a lot of convincing from my viewers a while ago, I decided to stop hating her. 
and give her storyline a try. Have my thoughts changed? Eh, maybe a little bit. I'll still probably only marry her as a meme. <laughs> I'm not really a big fan of Haley, but uh, today I think I think we should really just like kind of kind of because I've never actually gone through her storyline, so we're gonna be doing that today. Um, ironically, I'm I'm currently married to her. Um, don't ask why. Just I, I did it on stream because because the funny. So let's go divorce her, I guess. I have one iridium coconut, so we're gonna need to go collect more of those probably. I've never actually divorced someone, or I haven't divorced someone in a while, so pretty sure it's in here. File for divorce. Lamau, get DF. I guess we should check the desert now. Oh, there's one coconut. Hopefully we get a double. And we do. All right, now let's go to, uh, go to bed and uh, wait for her to uh, realize. Oh man, she doesn't know what's coming. Beautiful. Um, all right. Ex-wife down at zero hearts. So we're gonna have to go erase her memory, I guess. She might not be super eager to remarry me after like divorcing her, but uh, she doesn't get a choice in the matter. If I recall correctly, it is in the witch's swamp. There's a shrine where I can get rid of her memory. All right, we're in. Okay, which one is this? No. Oh, it's only 30k gold. I thought it was just prismatic. Oh no, that's to get rid of your children. All right. Well, that's nothing. That's like we got 30 mil, so we're good. Uh, yeah. Okay, she's just back to normal now, I guess. Well, let's go uh, get buddy buddy with her. All right. Yeah, I know Haley. I know. You're the new farmer? Yeah, it's fine. I've just been around for like eight years. Made like 90 million. That's fine. No worries. No worries. Dude, it's actually hilarious how they just forget everything. Like to the <laughs> to the other town folk around them, not just like get confused. Like what the heck? Why did this lady not recognize this farmer who's been around for the past like decade? Oh, well, we don't question it. Gift number two. Won't be able to... Damn. Okay, straight off the bat, I'm supposed to be, like, unbiased against her. But, like, if someone said that to me, like, I, I would be kind of offended, honestly. Like, that's just kind of rude. I don't know why she would say something like that, but, you know, it's Haley, so expected. Already up to a heart with her. Back to bed. Now we sleep until we can gift her again. Coconut number three. Will you say hi to Alex for me? Thanks. Yeah, sure, buddy. I totally agreed. Alright, so far, now that I'm, like, actually taking time to, like, analyze her messages, look for deeper meaning, see if she's not actually as mean. Hello, Internet! Welcome to Wally Go Theory. And on this episode, we're gonna be trying to figure out why Haley is such a bitch. But, um, you know, it's fine. You know, I, I just, I just moved in, guys, apparently. J just moved in and made 80, 80 mil on spring one. It's fine. Oof. Prismatic chart in the inventory. It's pretty tempting to give it to her, but I must I must resist my natural instinct. This should be fourth coconut, and if I did my math correctly, that's heart number two. Awesome. Sound is small, it sucks. Drive like 20 miles to buy any decent clothes. Damn, well you better drive further because yikes, that's all I'm gonna say. Mario Kart, please! All right, since her two heart cutscene does not want to trigger her right now, we're just gonna give her her fifth coconut. Someone schedule a coconut delivery. Coconut number five, same dialogue. Number six. Oh, more dialogue, new dialogue. Damn, her hair is about to get messed up and it ruined her life. So relatable. Number seven or eight, I cannot remember. Oh, oh, it's a birthday. Oh, that's massive, that's huge. Oh. We just went from like three hearts to like, we, we literally just went from three hearts to seven hearts. Wow, okay, that, that's that's pretty nice. That's kind of handy that it lined up because I was completely not even thinking about a birthday. Okay, that's sick, hell yeah. Okay, I told myself I wouldn't use cheats, but these stupid heart events are not triggering, so. Okay, my only idea why this isn't working is because I've probably already seen this cutscene on her on this save. Let's just pop over to this other farm quickly and check it out. Okay, yeah, there we go. All right, let's check this out. Erg, I always clean under the cushions. It's your turn this week. You're being childish, Haley. I do the majority of the work in this house, and you know it. Oh, it's that new farm boy. He has a name, you know. I do indeed have a name. Thanks for that groundbreaking discovery. Hey, I bet you'll understand my point of view here. I mean, I probably will. It's a pretty basic point of view, but that doesn't mean I'm going to agree with it. Sigh. I'm really sorry to involve you in this random. Haley is complaining because they asked her to clean under the cushions. It's only because I cleaned them last week. Stop whining and just clean it. Haley, why do you have one of this beer one week? Good job, Haley. Emily, take the high road and do it this time. Okay, so let's think about this. Realistically, I would choose the top, but she's not going to like it. Why do you have this be your one weekly job? That's lame. You shouldn't have one job. You're lazy. So top one. No, I'm not going to do it. You guys are both stupid. Damn, she, she big mad. 
Okay, so based on that one cutscene alone, my thoughts on her have not changed. She just seems like really lazy, which I don't know, I, I think that's kind of kind of lame. So I guess we'll see if it changes more as we get to know her better. All right, here's the four heart one. Darn, I can't get this jar open. Damn, she weak. Oh, she's surprised. Oh, it's you. Random, right? Damn, guys, guys, she remembered my name. Pretty strong, aren't you? Y y come on, guys, you, you saw my strongest video. Oh, damn, okay, I've been backed into a corner. Come on, don't, don't let yourself down. Yo, I'm buff. You're stronger than you look. <laughs> damn, she sucks. All right, so we helped her. We did we did her a little bit of a favor, you know, and and she reacts kind of rudely, you know, saying you're stronger than you're expected. And I get that. I, I get that's meant to be a joke, but you know, I just helped you. I'm already on thin ice with you, so come on, come on, you know, throw me a bone. Wow, she's she's lame. All right, now we got the six art cutscene. Casual cherry on the ground. Uh oh, my bracelet is gone. I know I had it on when I got here. Now it's gone, and I can't find it anywhere. <gasps> By, my, by my great grandmother. Oh, lol. Oh wow, guys, where, where, where could it be? Wow, wow. Golly gee, that was pretty tough to find. What a clutch moment. You found it. Thank you so much, random. You're a lifesaver. I won't forget what you did for me here. You better not. Right, that's all the cutscenes that I can't watch. So we're back to the main save now, because I do actually want to marry her. Joke winner number eight. I used to complain about this town being so small, but I've actually grown to like it. If it was much bigger, it wouldn't feel like a community. Damn. Wait, character development? Character development? No way, no way. That's that's insane, actually. I'm, I'm impressed. Okay, okay. Number nine or something. Donating a bunch of clothes. I must have a hundred pairs of shoes. Damn. Insane. More character development. And with that, we have achieved eight hearts. All right, let's head over to the shop and go buy a bouquet. Mission success! Hell yeah! Aren't you? No, not really. Right, I totally didn't stop recording this because I couldn't figure out how to trigger the stupid 8 heart cutscene, so I'm totally not recording a couple of days later. But uh, let's try to get this cutscene going finally. Oh my god, okay, we triggered it. Oh my god, we have it. Okay, here we go. Okay, she's taking some photos. Oh man, doesn't take a photo of me. Rude. Oh, random. The lighting is so nice right now. I had to come out and take some nature shots. Ah uh, yes, of Marnie's barn and a fence. I'm trying to connect with the outdoors a little more. I want to know what it's like being a farmer. It's a way of life I've never really thought about. Well, I can tell you right now, it probably takes more work than cleaning under the couch cushions for coins every week, so it might not be for you. Heh, <laughs> these cows are so cute. Hey, I have an idea. Let's take some pictures with these cows. You can show me how to approach one. Yeah, guys, I'll, I'll show her how to approach a cow with my extensive farming knowledge on this save. I'll just set it to shoot on a timer. Damn, she looks like really different. What the heck? Wait, she looks like... Are those her old sprites? <laughs> Damn, she's getting adventurous. Uh-oh. <laughs> Giggle. That was fun, random. And these photos are hilarious. I'm gonna go home and take a shower now. Dang, okay, pretty pretty interesting cutscene, actually. Character seems to have developed more. Che, I'm, I'm four. Um, you know, she, she's a little bit more likable now. You know, I'm not entirely opposed. I'm not entirely opposed to her anymore. All right, 10 heart cutscene, here we go. It's very dark, very ominous, first off the bat. We knock on her closet door. Come in, just make sure to close the door quickly behind you. Damn, she got like some sort of meth lab in here. Welcome to my brand new dark room. Oh, it's a dark room for photography. Okay, that's that's less cool, but still interesting, I guess. Uh, it looks great. What does it do? Obviously better, I would say it looks great. Like, honestly, what do you wanna do? Decorate, make an excuse and leave. Whatever. YOLO. One moment. Scandalous. Dang, okay. In interesting cutscene. Interesting cutscene. I think it's pretty cool, honestly. I guess photography is an interesting hobby. I'm not personally very interested in it, but I know I know some people who are. Um, unfortunately, it seems like it's film photography. I'm not personally a big fan of film photography. Community is a bit toxic, in my opinion. Kind of elitist compared to digital, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. Baby steps, baby steps to making her likable. All right, now we're back to the main save, and let's marry her and check out her 14 heart event. All right, uh, gifting montage time, I guess. Oh, we just got a stone owl, that's fun. Ah, here we go. 
10 hearts. That's awesome. Now we just gotta sleep until it rains and we can give her the pendant. We're still gonna need those sunflowers because I need to get her up to 14 hearts afterwards. All right, we've got the rain. We've got 5,000 gold. Well, we, we, we have a little bit more than 5,000 gold, but we'll make do. Holy smokes, I need to collect these four jewels more often. We've acquired the pendant. All right, let's go ask her. Oh my God, guys, she accepted. No way. All right, we have three days. I have one thing I wanna do. I'm gonna go buy myself a nice fancy top hat from the casino. Okay, now we just stand here and right click and press Y. All right, we got AK. Let's go grab that hat. I kind of want this guy's hat. That, that hat's way cooler. What the heck? The top hat will do, though. I'll just pop this on quickly. That way, I don't forget to put it on when the wedding happens. When Nate first arrived in Pelican Town, no one knew if he'd fit in with our community. But from this day forward, Nate is going to be as much of a part of this town as any of us. It is my great honor on this day 16 of summer to unite Nate and Haley in the bonds of marriage. Well, let's get right into it. The mayor of Pelican Town and regional bearer of the matrimonial, 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 matrimonial seal now pronounce you husband and wife. Aw, so wholesome, so wholesome. Wow, awesome guys. Uh, here she is, hidden behind a pillar, but uh, let's keep getting our hearts up. We've done it. 14 hearts. All right, after checking out the wiki, I need to go to the town between 8 and 3 p.m. on a day that's not raining. All right, part one. Here we go. Dang, looks like Penny's having some school troubles. And uh, Vincent being a little troublemaker, he is taking advantage of that. Tsk tsk. Part two. I have an idea. I want to get everyone together for a charity cakewalk. Oh, uh, it's kind of like musical chairs, but everyone wins and gets a cake. You'll see. Would you mind bringing a chocolate cake? Yeah, I'll bring a cake. I'm, I'm the type of guy, you know, ask me a potluck. I'll, I'll bring it as long as it isn't insane. I really hope I have a chocolate cake laying around though, because I don't think I have the recipe. Oh, I do have the, and I can make it. Okay, easy peasy. We're in easy street then. Here we go. Oh, damn. We, we running though. We, we running. <laughs> we got Pam just chugging along. Tell him same with Marnie. <laughs> Seems really moist. Pretty good turnout, don't you think? Yeah, this is solid. Damn, Marnie kind of weak. Ooh. <laughs> I love how Marnie, like... As the tear because she's been over to his house so many times, she knows it's awful. Oh, damn, Pam wins the deluxe chocolate cake. Yum. For 5,000 G, I could literally sneeze and give you that much, Haley. Why didn't you just ask? Ah. Lol, Lewis just got scammed so hard. Okay, the ratings. She's not that bad. 7 out of 10 for likability. I do admit she gets a little bit better. Room rating, pretty good 8 out of 10. Cutscenes, 6 out of 10. Overall, 7 out of 10. Would not marry again. Leah lives a little bit outside of Pelican Town, just a few steps away from Haley and Emily's house. She loves the outdoors, spending time around nature, as well as painting and creating art. However, she is very shy and does not like sharing her artwork around others. Leah is actually one of the more liked characters in my experience. She's honestly easy to befriend, her heart scenes are nice, and I was looking for Reddit posts hating on her and honestly, did not find all that many if like any at all. She's beautiful, you know, she's hardworking and very loving, almost whiplashingly positive compared to some other characters coming up. Let's find out if the internet's lying. They would never, right? All right, got 999 goat cheese with Leah's name on each one individually prescribed. We're gonna have to invest some time in clearing a path, clear this, clear this up, and then we'll be able to make it down in, in no time at all every day. All right, gonna have to wait a long time. The first couple times we meet her because we cannot get in until four hearts. What the heck is Willie doing over here? Uh, probably fishing, almost certainly. Yep, look at him go. Not gonna catch a whole lot of fish with it right there though, probably. What is... I guess let's just talk about Leah while we wait. What, what is there really to say? I mean, I think she's a pretty universally liked character, honestly. There's not that much hate towards her. I don't really see. She's just kind of like a, a nice... Pretty chill person. She has interesting hobbies. There's not really any big drama in the community about her. People tend to just, you know, like her. Oh my God, it's even longer on Saturday. It's still 4 p.m. Here she comes. Here you are, Leah. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you. No problem. Hello, it's nice to meet you. We get a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Yeah, that's true. The spring is pretty nice. It's a good introduction. You know, a lot of dialogue off the bat from people. They're kind of combative kind of mean but she's like kind of chill actually she she might be chill like that looks like she will not be beating the chill like that allegations unfortunately or fortunately another goat cheese Let's see what she has to say today if you hear any banging inside my head it's probably me just working on one of my sculptures 
Shout out, Leah. You should give me one of those. That'd be pretty cool, I think, personally. The trees look nice today, don't they? So why did you become a farmer? Oh, okay, we got the first question. I want to make tons of money. It's more real than living in the city. I want to follow my grandpa's footscape. I want to escape my old life. I wanted to escape my old life. Also, I think that's the best answer. That's pretty much the reason I came here too. Wow, Leah, we have so much in common. So I think I can go into her room now. We can, all right, let's get a room review going. Right here, we'll, we'll start down here. Okay, so she got some nice plants. Big fan of plants, I do like plants. She's got a nice table, one chair and a stool. Uh, she's got a plate with a knife, no fork. Some sort of leaf on the table. She's got a phone. No one's calling her. Unlucky. Lots of wood for the fire. I'm a fan of fires. More plants. A couple of books. How to deal with overbearing people. Okay. Good raid, probably. Living off the land. A practical guide. That also sounds useful. Lots of painting. It's mostly landscapes and studies of nature. Okay. Th I mean, landscape painting is pretty badass. I'm not going to lie. We got a nice window for some natural light. We got a painting of like some smoky city. A few more books stacked up. Another nice painting. Her sculpting area, a wonderful cedar smell. Wow. All right, we're about to get the first cutscene. I'm so excited. Oh man, no way. Okay, now we can. <gasps> we're going, we're going. Oh, hi, Wallagug. Come in, come in. I'm just working on this sculpture here. Come here, watch this. Wham, wham, wham. See that? I'm revealing the essence of the wood. So your mom was doing last night, just kidding, sorry. Once you get past the outer layers, the true nature starts to show. It's the same with people. I actually prefer the look of raw, unadulterated wood. Creep, bracket, creepy, bracket, may have a kiss. It's the same with people, because that's facts, actually. That's pretty true. We're gonna do that one. What? Oh, yeah, that's absolutely right. I first visited this valley as a little girl while on vacation with my parents. I knew I had to come back someday. This place has great artistic potential. True, actually, it's, it's a pretty chill place. Although I have to admit... It's not easy to pay the bills as an artist. Classic starving artist. Why don't you have an art show in town? Why don't you sell your art on the internet? Let's have an art show in town. Interesting. I guess that could set the wheels in motion to making Pelican Town a true art destination. But what if no one likes my sculptures? I'd be crushed. I'll have to think about it. That's fair, you know, showing your art can be a vulnerable process. Well, thanks for stopping by. No problem. My pleasure, Leah. I'll come again soon. That's actually very valid, Leah. Like, you know, showing your art can be a very, a very vulnerable process, you know? Because the, the internal meaning can be so much greater than what is shown on the surface. Because only you know it. To be honest, I probably would have suggested you sell your art on the internet, but I think the art gallery is more fun. So I chose that. I respect Leah because she's, you know, she's following her dreams. She really wants to make this whole art thing work out, even though it's difficult. You know, sometimes the, 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 the easiest path in life isn't always the best. Sometimes the difficult one is, is the true play. But I, I very much like a person who's very, uh, like, goal-driven. You know, they're working towards their dreams. And my dreams are to give you another goat cheese. Here you go, Leah. This morning, I accidentally <laughs> stepped on a bug. That's all. Wow. Awesome. Cool. And we're at three and an itsy bit of a an heart. Another goat cheese for you, missus. There's actually a lot of wild food in this area, if you know where to look. I've been having fresh salads almost every day. Let's, let's swap to a more fitting gift. I feel like, you know, salad's the iconic gift. I don't I don't care about the children, sorry. My bad. I'll watch that cutscene another time, guys. It's raining today. It's okay, I, I enjoy rain, and I feel like Leah's the type to enjoy it too, you know what I mean? Here you go. One people survive without nature. It's good to remember that. That's true. Little known fact. All right, and we're at four hearts now, so we can see another cutscene tomorrow. Let's go. Cutscene. Kel, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't want to come back to the big city. Stop calling me. I don't want to hear from you anymore. Click. <gasps> Wally Cook. So I guess you heard me yelling on the phone. That was my ex. Guess I'd better tell you a little about it. We had an apartment together back in the city. I did odd jobs during the day and spent all night working on art projects. We barely made enough to scrape by. He was always nagging me to go back to school and study business or medicine. Some with a lot of money in it. I guess the idea was to save up for a normal life. You know, a house in the suburbs, kids, PTA meetings, that sort of thing. I wasn't ready for that kind of life, Leah. I had to leave. So I came here to pursue my dreams of becoming an artist. Was that selfish of me? No, it had to be done. No, and your ex sounds like an idiot. No. But you would have been staying off, better staying off in the city. Yeah, a little. Yeah, but it's nice to care about yourself first. <laughs> no, it had to be done. No, and your ex sounds like an idiot. I mean, I see where he's coming from, but also you can't just expect someone to instantly give up their passion, you know? Just for, like, a high-paying job. Would have been better staying off in the city? Nah, I don't think that's true. Yeah, a little. I mean, yeah, it is a little. Yeah, but it's nice to care about yourself first. No, I think it had to be done. I think it had to be done. You're right. I just wouldn't have been happy back there. It was better for both of us to end an unsustainable relationship while we were still young and flexible. Anyway, 
I've been thinking a little more about that art show idea you had. <gasps> no way. I'm working on some new sculptures to display at this show. I'm nervous, but the shot of getting my work out there is pretty exciting. I'm just glad you're on board with making Stardew Valley premiere our destination, Willigug. That's me. I love art. I actually really like um, like the X dynamic of uh, Leah's, Leah's uh, storyline, because you, you never get that with anyone else. Also, kind of reminds us that there are, in fact, like people outside of Stardew Valley that do live and exist. It's not just like everyone on planet Earth living in Stardew Valley. <laughs> <clears throat> and you know, you can woulda, coulda, shoulda all you want about that relationship, Leah. But in the end, even if you, even if she had like gone through, let's say literally finished school for medicine, I was making bank, they bought a house, there would still be that like nagging in the back of her head like, oh, I should've done art, I should've done art. She probably never would've been happy. And honestly, if you end up doing something because your partner wants you to, or like if you want to do something and your partner doesn't want you to, then every time you see like something that reminds you of that thing, it's just gonna be like a, like a thorn, like poke, poke, poking you, know, reminding. So it wouldn't have worked out, don't worry, Leah. That's exactly what I wanted, thank you. And we're halfway. The trees look nice today, don't they? Spending time in nature is very rewarding. True that. I say as I'm sitting inside. I mean, to be fair, it's kind of rainy and miserable out. So maybe it's a win that I'm inside. Oh, whoops. Block. There's a... Hey! Oh, come back. Hi. Oh, you want to talk? The landscape around here gives me lots of ideas. The terrain is almost like a sculpture itself. I don't make art for money. It's just an urge that I have. Farming seems like a very rewarding profession. You get to create delicious food for everyone. You're probably busy. Sorry. I literally walked up to you and initiated the conversation. Why would I be the busy one? If anything, you're probably busier than me. My whole life revolves around you. Not creepy, by the way. Oh, Leah's here. Six hour cutscene. Hi, Leah. Oh, sorry. Hi, Wally Gug. Beautiful day, isn't it? I brought you a gift. No way. No way. It's a sculpture I've been working on just for you. No way. She's so kind. That Okay, honestly, the sculpture does go hard, though. Someone's got to, like, create that in real life. I should create that, and I should sell it. That would be badass. It's called How I Feel About Wally Gug. I hope you like it. Wow. That's the whole six heart event. Awesome. We're going to put it right here. It looks beautiful. Six heart number two. I'm glad, because that's other six heart was very short. All right, what's happening here? What's going on? She can't reach the fruit. It's the first fruit I've ever seen grow from that tree. Oh, Wally Gug, you scared me. I'm always jump scaring these characters in the cutscenes. See that fruit up there? It looks delicious, doesn't it? But I can't reach it. Hmm. God damn, I'm strong. Ah! Hey, thanks. Okay, got it. Ah, you're stronger than you look. Wow, thanks. I like how I literally just do not react. I'm like, yeah, I'll say to the compliment, who cares? That was not a piece, that was a whole ass apple. I just grabbed the whole apple out of Leah's hand. You know, I just realized something. Even if my art career is a flop, I'll always have a friend to catch me on the way down. Hopefully. I'm not always here though. Thanks for helping me earlier. And just like that, eight hearts. Nice. Time to pay Pierre a visit. One bouquet. Oh yeah, hello everyone else, I guess. Nice to meet you guys, I suppose. Let's see if she's down like a clown. I have a bouquet for you, Leah. Here you go. <gasps> you want to get more serious? I feel the same way. Let's go. I'm kind of nervous, aren't you? Yeah. All right, we should be getting the 8-heart cutscene pretty soon. I'm very excited for this one. Here she is. This isn't it. Hi, Wally Gug. Are you free this afternoon? I finally got my act together. I'm doing my art show tonight in the town square. Coming to town between 3 and 5 p.m. if you want to be there. All right, here we go. God damn. Wait, how does it move? How did you make that? Wally Gug, you're here. Okay, I guess I guess I better introduce my pieces. Wish me luck. Um, okay, everyone. Thanks for coming to my art show. As some of you know, I came to this town because I wanted to draw inspiration from the beautiful surroundings. This place really feels like home now. Okay, I'm gonna introduce my sculptures now. I haven't named this one yet. She started out as an exercise in human anatomy, but I ended up seeing her through to completion. Her expression is intentionally unclear. Is she embarrassed, amused, pained? I'll leave you for that to decide. This one's called Post-Dimensional Null Space. It represents the boundary of the human imagination. Yeah, you lost the script with that one a little bit, but it looks cool, I admit. The shape and color came to me vividly when I was in a trance state. Was Leah high? I'm calling this one Eggheads. I want to create an animatronic humanoid statue to toy with the abilities... To toy with the viewer's ability to properly attribute personhood to a physical entity. So true. And the last one is called Wood Sculpture 3. It's a celebration of my favorite sculpting material. Wood. What are the rest of these made out of then? Well, those are my sculptures. Oh, one last thing. I'd like to say thanks to my special friend, Wally Gug. He gave me the idea for this show and the courage to go through with it. I know that sounds cheesy, but it's true. I'm proud of you, Wally Gug. Events like this really breathe life into our little town. 
Great stuff. I love your Leah. Post dimensional null space is my favorite. Great use of wood. Thanks for doing this, Penny. Says Penny. Aw, she's so happy. Aw. Thanks, everyone. Now let's start bidding on these wonderful art pieces. A marvelous addition to your home. Do I hear 5,000 G for the pink one? The Metrius? <gasps> God damn, Leah just copped herself. Oh my, what? Mysterious man off to the side. Almost didn't notice that because I was blabbering about Leah getting 5k gold. If you ever find an interesting looking driftwood, I could use it. Be special that you gave it to me. You know what? Just wait and forge this up myself. Just take it all. Oh wait, it's probably 10 hearts now. No, not quite. Here, let's give her the salad. We did it, 10 hearts. Very ethically. Oh, and we instantly get the cutscene, okay. <laughs> wait, it's raining, that's weird. Hi, Wooly Gook, I need to be passing through here today. How? Whatever, won't question it. So uh, I put together a surprise. It's a little picnic for us. This is a vegetable medley with my special spice blend. Probably like salt, pepper, and sawdust. This is a fresh salad that they made from greens that I forged right here in the forest. God damn, this is actually a meal. Wally Gug, um, I just want to say thank you for helping me to get one step closer to becoming a real artist. Distant voice, well, 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 what do we have here? <gasps> it's, it's the X. You pull up. Kel, what the heck are you doing here? Didn't you see me at the art show? I came all the way from Zuzu City to see your sculptures. And to get you to come back with me. I want things to go back to the way they were. I miss you, babe. Oh, she's not feeling it. She's not having it. Yuck. Don't call me then. You never supported my art before. Now that I've had some success, you want me back? You make me sick. Uh, we're gonna punch Kel in the face. Wham. Oh my god. Well, he'll make it. That was pretty violent, Willie Gug. Let's get out of here. I don't think Kel will be bothering us anymore. It's a bold assumption since he seems to be medium stalkerish. Let's find a more secluded spot this time. Well, that's pretty fire. I think that's one of only two cutscenes in the game where you have to punch someone in the face. No, that's the only cutscene where you punch someone in the face. But the community center cutscene, you watch Pierre punch Morris in the face. Today's the day. I'm so freaking excited. Oh my gosh. I hope she says yes. Hello, Leah. <gasps> Accept! Yippee! Ceremony three days, blah blah blah. Alright, let's go. When Leah first arrived in Pelican Town, no one. Okay, I'm. We're, we're once again not going to watch the marriage cutscene. Sorry. Sorry, marriage cutscene lovers. Wowzers, I get a star drop. Oh god, wait, what did I set as my thingy? Hmm. That's pretty fire. 14 hearts. That took a surprising amount of salads. Alright. I really want to see this cutscene. <gasps> I'm getting jumped. She's going to beat me up. Hey, well, I have an idea. I want you to meet me in Center South Forest tomorrow at noon. I'm gonna teach you how to paint. If the weather's bad, we'll do it the next day. Okay? Wahoo! All right, let's do it. I can't wait to paint. I'm a great painter. Uh-oh. Um, Leah, how much longer will this be? My knees are quivering, my thighs are whimpering, I've lost all sensation in my foot. From standing? What? Just keep perfectly squeal, Marnie. No squirming. My aunt, wow, we are abusing Marnie. Hey, well, what style do you think I should do? I'm up for anything. Wait, she's just starting? What the? Let's do Car colorful retro pop art. Good idea. That sounds fun. Let me get a little more yellow paint on the palette. How's yours coming along? It's a masterpiece of fine art, because it is. Mine's pretty fire. Wow, I like your confidence. Notice how I'm positioned further back so she cannot peek at mine. I, I did that on purpose. Who knows? Maybe from the next Lupini. Can't wait to see it. Make me look good. Okay, Marnie. And don't forget the techniques I caught you. Broad strokes, hold the brush like so. Wait, that actually goes pretty hard, I'm not gonna lie. She looks kind of... She looks pretty kawaii. I love it. That's going up in my room. Now let's see what you've got. I can't wait to show mine. It's going to be so freaking good. Uh-oh. Does not bode well. That does not bode well at all. Erm. It's interesting. It's a, a different kind of approach for sure. What? Marnie is not going to be happy. That actually is kind of messed up what they've been doing to Marnie though. I think she should too. I think I think she. I think both look pretty. Like she, she'll want to hang both, right? Or, uh, well, why don't you go ahead and keep yours? It might be too nice to uh, own your first ever painting, you know? Wow, that's subtle. Wow, I do not look happy. Wow, Leah's pretty fire. Here's my ratings though. Likeability, we're gonna give her an 8.5 out of 10. Room rating, a solid 9 out of 10. The little cabin vibe is badass. And for cutscenes, 8.5 out of 10 again. I, I love beating up people. So overall, that's 8.6 out of 10. Very good. Penny is the happy housewife of Stardew Valley. She lives with Pam in a trailer by the river. Her life isn't that great. Pam just kind of drinks all day at the saloon when she's not drunk driving for her job, of course. She kind of just quietly chills and hangs out with not that many greater ambitions besides starting a family and settling down. Her cooking skills are very questionable, as you will see. She teaches the two kids of the town, which is a very commendable endeavor that I respect a big time. So let's dive in and see what she's truly all about. It's time for Emily. Just kidding, it's time for a cat. Also, not Emily. Penny. Pam. 
So Penny is always reminded of her terrible mom. Wow, that's kind of evil. Penny, what is, what is there to say about Penny? She's kind of just like a nice character, you know what I mean? Like, I've never really seen any big Penny hate threads. She's kind of just there. I almost want to argue she's like maybe a little bit boring, but that's not necessarily true. I've never seen her cutscenes. They could be super fire. She actually leaves her house pretty early, only at eight o'clock. So we will not have to be waiting for super long. Don't mind if I do. It's chill. Can I take a swig of that bottle? That'd be awesome. Here she comes. Oh, never mind. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, there we go. Here you go. Let's see what she has to say. Hello, I'm Penny. Oh, she's shy. I forgot about that. She probably will not talk to me very much early on. That's fine, you know. Some people start out shy. It's better than some other characters who start out, like, insanely rude. I just realized I don't have my normal glasses on. I'm looking kind of silly. Especially look weird from the side. You can see my ears or something. I've never seen any of Penny Heart events, so this is completely new to me. Well, I've seen them because I've 100 percent of the game, but it was a long time ago and I did not pay attention to them very thoroughly. Oh, she gone. Where'd she go? Oh, I think she's over by the graveyard. She likes to hang out near there. Wait, she's literally MIA. Oh, here we go. She's hanging out by the library. I should have guessed. Thank you. I really love this. I'm gonna go inside. I just wanted a quiet moment. You know, I was I was just thinking about it. What are Penny's interests? So for someone like Abigail, it's you know it, it's like adventuring, it's like combat, stuff like that. That's what she's into. And then you know Sam, it's obviously music, playing in a band, etc. But what the heck is Penny into? I actually can't think of anything. Here she is. Hello. Um, the weather's interesting today, don't you think? Sorry. <laughs> she's So she's still awkward because I don't know her very well. We'll get two hearts with her soon and then we'll, we'll start to really get to know her with a couple of heart events going. And with this melon, she will be two hearts. Let's see if she has to say another two hearts. Hi. Oh, did you want something? Ah, well, even if I did, I guess I'm not getting it. She doesn't want to talk to anymore. That sucks. All right, I think if I literally just walk in and out of the town, we'll get her a heart event, but let's let's check and see. Could be wrong. Out and in. Here we go. Sigh. How am I going to reach that letter in the back? Oh, here Penny comes. <gasps> Can I help you? Here, let me help you, Mr. Molnar. Oh, last name reveal. What the? What the? That's kind of rude. There you go. Hey. He's mad. He's big mad. <laughs> I could have done it myself, and I certainly can move around on my own. How feeble do you think I am? Oh, here I come, just creepily watching. Huh? Penny? You were watching? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Why did I name them like myself like that? Well, I got you were watching us? I was. You did a kind here thing here, Penny. I was. I should have asked instead of assuming George wouldn't help. I'm just taking a walk. Mind my own business. You should always ask. Like, you never know. Like... Sure, you're being helpful, but you can't just like shove someone around just because they're in like a wheelchair. You know what I mean? You had the you had the right intention, you just went about the wrong way. I was. You should be out. So we'll go with the second one. Oh, I guess you're right. Oh, she's mad. I'm sorry, Mr. Molnar. It was rude what I did. He feels bad. He's feeling pretty bad. Sigh. No, no. I'm sorry, Miss. I shouldn't have gone so angry. It was actually very kind of you to help me out. That's okay, Mr. Mulner. I understand. Aw, what a, what a nice wholesome ending. No problems with anyone. Must be difficult to grow old. I'd rather not think about it. It's just a different part of life. If I respect our elders, I'd rather die young. Uh, it's just a different part of life. You're right. We shouldn't ignore the reality of aging. I guess the sooner we come to terms with our mortality, the more time we can spend really living in the here and now. Well, it was interesting talking to you, Wallygug. I should go. Well, that's pretty good. You know, this shows Penny. Penny, she's a nice, she's a nice person. Like she cares. She wants, she just wants to help, even if you know she goes about it the wrong way, or at least kind of went about it the wrong way. There, I think for sure, Penny is not beating the good person allegations. You know, she has a tough life. 
Pam isn't so great to her. Pet my cat because I'm a nice guy. Pam deserves everything. No, oh, another rainy day. She's probably gonna be heading over to the library again. Let's see if I can catch her here. Oh yeah, here she comes. She's just gonna hang out, stare at that for a little bit. Fine, I can wait, Penny, no rush. I got nowhere to be. Okay, a little bit of urgency would be nice. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, here she comes. Come on, run. There you go. Oh, whoops, don't wanna eat it. I can have it. Thank you, I really love this. I'm tutoring Vincent and Jazz today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. I think, you know, from what I'm learning so far, it's that Penny is a, is a very a very selfless person. You know, she doesn't she doesn't care about herself. She just wants to make everyone else's life around her easier, you know? Pam probably doesn't treat her that that that, that great, if I had to guess. Well no, it's like a fact almost. She just wants to help other people and do what she can. And I respect that. I think that's a very good trait to have, you know, in a person and a partner. You know, it could also mean that like like, you know, they, they neglect their own self care a little bit. But you know that that's where you come in. You gotta make sure they they help themselves. You know what? I should take the children on a field trip sometime. Maybe to the forest. A guest speaker would be nice. Maybe someone familiar with nature. Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. That's that, I do that so often. I won't even get into it. You know, feel once again, she just cares about other people and making their lives better, more fulfilled. I respect that. Shout out, actually. I'm liking Penny. And you tunnel vision and run directly past her. Alright, and that is four hearts. When you're lost in a book, it's easier to forget the realities of your life. Maybe that's why I like reading so much. Man... Sorry, I got carried away there. That's kind of sad, dude. I feel bad. <laughs> Pam is so mean, man. All right, time for four heart cuts here. Let's do this. This one's pretty straightforward to trigger. Let's enter when she's home. All right, here we go. Ugh, it's so dirty in here. Here I am to help out. It's me, Wally. What the? Wally guy. Um, sorry, that's such a mess. I was about to clean it up. Surely we were. Surely. Surely she was. Surely. You'll help me? You really mean it? Okay, you can get started over there. I'll clean the kitchen. True. Many hands make light work. Damn, she's actually dominating that kitchen. Wait. Holy! She's a machine! Oh, Pam shows up. Uh-oh. What do you think you're doing? Stop it! I'd ever think just the way I like it. Man. Mom, the house is a total mess. Wally Gug and I were just trying to tidy things up a bit. Yep, yep. Were you at the saloon just now? You smell like beer. Oh, she's mad. She's really mad. It's none of your damn business where I go. It is my business. I don't want you destroying yourself. Don't you realize your choices have an effect on me? Stop being so selfish. God damn, wait, Penny's going into town. And she's right, she's spinning facts. Selfish? I put a roof over your head and clothes on your back and you call me selfish, you ungrateful little... It's kind of awkward for me. You better go. I'm sorry you have to see this kid. One last look at Penny, the love of my life. He's a nice young man. But I don't want you telling others to clean up my house. It's embarrassing, you understand? Yes, mother. God damn, she actually looks big sad. That's interesting. I think it really just comes down to Penny like being selfless, like just kind of not really caring about herself, just kind of doing what everyone else wants her to do. You know, Pam bosses her around. She truly doesn't really treat her that well. It's kind of just messed up, dude. She's got to just get out of that trailer if she can <laughs> into, into all the free and available housing in Stardew Valley. We'll get you out of there, Penny. Just take another melon. I'll convince you soon, okay? Sigh, so, my mother definitely has a problem with going to the saloon too much. Just say it louder, why don't you? Say, say it a little bit louder. Go for it. It's best not to dwell on bad things, right? Right, it's best to be positive. I think it's good to be, re it's good to be realistic. 
Maybe you're right. It's better to cope with the reality. No, it, you need a balance. Well, what does Pam have to say today? Erg, my head. <laughs> oh my god. That is so funny that that's literally the only thing she has to say. She does not drink too much, guys. She drinks the perfect amount. No more. No less. Okay, a little bit more, but no less. Okay, a lot more, but no less. And with this melon, that's six hearts. Rain drops are really loud on the metal roof of our trailer. It's soothing, though. That is the biggest save. I thought she was gonna be like, it's annoying, I can't sleep. All right, six hearts. I think if I just go in, I might get it. Let's see if I do. Oh, yep, here we go. Well, the good, you came at a good time. I'm just about finished cooking a new recipe I invented. Uh-oh, let me just finish up real quick. You just turned the burner on, that does not bode well. Here, give that a little taste. Munch, chomp. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Directly in front of her is crazy. Mmm, lie. Mmm, that was delicious. Uh, can I get the rest to go? What's up, you How did you get some rubbery? Uh, can I get the rest to go? Yeah, let's try that. Oh, uh, sure. Well, I guess this recipe was a failure. Uh, so how about we watch a movie or something? That would be a lot better. No offense, Penny. That might have been the mean response, but, um... Oh, wait, that was the worst option. I just checked. <laughs> oh, my bad, Penny. <clears throat> I think that cutscene teaches, or should teach everyone who's watching, a valuable life lesson. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. I wish I could keep a garden, but our yard is such a mess. Maybe we'll live in a place where I can have a garden someday. <gasps> hint, hint, nudge, nudge. That's subtle, Penny. Maybe we'll live on a farm. Giggle. <gasps> Does she know? She's pretty subtle. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can do a... Do a garden here. Maybe with a whole lot of lawn care and if you put up a fence. I believe, Penny. I think you should... Don't, don't run away from... I think you can put it... Okay, she doesn't. She's not listening. Goodbye. Dishes, dishes, dishes. Ugh, if my mother wasn't always nursing a headache from her late nights at the saloon, maybe she could help around the house a little. You hear that, Pam? You hear that, Pam? Each day is just the same as the last. If only I'd been born rich. You know what? She's sleeping in. I won't disturb her. Although today's the day. We're about to hit eight hearts. Here she comes. Your morning melon, missus. Take two. I just want eight hearts. Things really changed up a lot after the Jojo Mart went up. It's been really bad for Pierre's shop. Mom loves Jojo Mart though. The prices are cheap so she can afford a lot more than she ever could at Pierre's. <sighs> Sometimes I do be how it goes. You just gotta count shop local too expensive. You know what? Let's just do it. Take this. Woohoo! Okay, now move so I can get out the door, please. Thanks, babe. Oh, here we go. We're cutting it up. Oh, Wooly Gug, it's perfect timing that you showed up. Looks like she's floating on that mat. Sorry, I bought the children a little field trip into the countryside. You know all about life and country, right? Oh my god, I'm the person. No way. So I was thinking, could you be my guest speaker today? I'd love to. Great. Let me just call the children over. Jazz, Vincent, may I have your attention, please? Damn, they're actually good kids. They focus up. I have a very special guest here to talk to you today. Our very own local farmer, Penny. He has first-hand experience living in the countryside, so he knows all about the valley's natural resources. Can anyone tell me what a natural resource is? Damn, they're both nerds. They're going for it. Jazz? A natural resource is a material source of wealth that occurs in a natural state and has economic value. Literally nerd about <laughs> Very good, that's worth two star points. Yes! Okay, now let's give Wally Gug our full attention. Alright. I do not know what I'm going to talk about. Country life's all about farming. Country life's all about gathering from the wild. It's all about gathering from the wild. This valley is chock full of precious m minerals. The valley around here is teeming with fresh seafood. You'll find no better lumber south of Grambleton. Uh, teeming with fresh seafood. Oh, Vincent's got a question. Yes, Vincent? Mr. Wallygug, are you gonna marry Miss Penny? 
Vincent, that is not an appropriate question. Behave yourselves, or I'll have to take away all your star points for the day. Oh, he's sad. He doesn't want Miss Penny to be stolen away. Well, that's probably enough for today. You two run along and play. Woohoo! It's a lot of work to take care of these kids. But I don't really mind. I enjoy seeing them learn, and I can hopefully help them grow up to be good people. Would you ever want to be a parent, Wally Gug? I've really thought about it. Absolutely, I want a big family. I guess so. It's not a natural urge. I guess so. It's a natural urge. No, I don't think I'd be good at it. No, the world's crowded enough already. No, I don't want to be tied down. Uh, absolutely, I want a big family. Me too. I'm glad you feel the same way. Wow. We have so much in common. Let's go, dude. Well, I'm glad you showed up, Penny. I think the kids had a great time. Wow. I'm a great speaker. I should speak all the time. Especially to people on the internet who are random and do not know who I am. I'm trying to keep the place clean, but it always gets messy again. It's hard to run a household all by yourself. That's true. That's very true. I want to see 10 hearts. So we just got it. Let's go. Let's go find the cutscene. It should be in the mail somewhere. Maybe at the bathhouse after dark, says Penny. Oh, let's go. Let's get changed head on through. God damn, I got like swim goggles on. Looks like we're alone. The water feels so good after being out in the cold at night, doesn't it? God damn, no, I want to be in a hot tub. Man. You know why I asked you here tonight? You have something to tell me? I'm not exactly sure you want to see me in my dating suit. I'm not exactly sure. Let's play dumb. Really? Thought you have noticed by now. She's so shy. Um, how do I say this? I've been meaning to tell you this for a while now. About how I feel. I can't stop thinking about you. I've never felt this way about anyone. I feel the same way about you. I, I'm not gonna do that one because I'm a nice. I'm not evil. Oh, Wally Gug, I thought you did, but I wasn't sure. I'll always remember this night. Aww. We all know what time it is. Here you go, Penny. Woo, three days. Oh yeah, don't think I forgot. We gotta get the room of you going. So you know, you enter in. Got a nice bookshelf. Let's see what kind of books you got going. The Solarian Chronicles. Marcy and the Underground Castle. Lots of fiction to escape, of course. You got another bookshelf above it. A couple of nice little lamps. Wallpaper. Pretty nice. That flower's solid. Let's see what's on the here. Teacher guide to second grade. So she's studying up. She cares about her pupils, her students. Vincent and Jazz. Nice little plant she's working on. Nice thing. Kind of weird. It's not next to the bed. You could flip the bed like that and then put it right there, but whatever. Fairy Junior was another fables. Ah, ah, pretty good room, honestly, I don't mind it. Now let's get to that 14 heart event. Here she is. Take a whole bunch of melons now. All right, we did it, 14 hearts. Now, when is the event? All right, if we enter at 3 p.m., it's your trigger. Yep, here we go. Washing dishes in the, the completely empty house, okay. <laughs> Welcome home, honey. How was your day? It was fantastic. That's not great. I'm glad you enjoy your work so much. I'm happy you're home. Oh, you smell like the outdoors. It's nice. Goddamn, she's staring at me. You know, I really appreciate the hard work you do for the family. So it's important to me when you come home, the house is nice and cozy and everything's in order. Aww, she's such a nice wife. So I was thinking, I'd like to redecorate the bedroom with some of my own handmade decor. But first, I have to ask you. What style do you prefer? Forest, moon, strawberry, or pirate theme? Uh, I want pirate theme. Heh, <laughs> okay, whatever you like, honey. Just give me a few days then. I won't touch any of your chests, but it would be nice if you could move them out of the bedroom. Oh, the popovers are ready. Let's go. Okay, I'm actually so excited to see this room. I'm so freaking excited. Pirate theme room sounds badass. No 
way! That is so freaking cool! Oh my god. Wallygog, good morning! Notice anything unusually soft? I quilted this custom bedspread by hand. So, what do you think? Looks great. It, it looks so awesome. I'm not even gonna lie. I love pirates. I'm glad you like it. That's starting to look really cozy, isn't it? Oh yeah, especially the living room. Love the living room. Things have been working very hard around the house. It really feels like home. Not gonna lie, Penny might be the goat wife. Well, she was pretty good. Here's my ratings. For Penny, I'm gonna give her a 10 out of 10 for likability. I really like her. She's a good person. Room rating, eh, maybe a 6 out of 10. The bed needs to be fixed and move that, that thingy down so it's next to her and she can actually use it. And for cutscenes, a 6.5 out of 10. So overall, a 7.5. Maru, who lives on 24 Mountain Road with her parents, Robin and Demetrius, as well as her stepbrother, Sebastian. We'll get to him, don't worry, he's quite the case. She loves robotics, science, and building and creating things, which was probably instilled in her at a young age since her dad, Demetrius, is a scientist as well. She works part-time at the doctor's office with Harvey and his very friendly, outgoing, as well as ambitious. Probably the most discussed dynamic of her character is her relationship with her dad, since he is not a fan of you marrying her, since it might take away from her career and her very bright future, since she is very smart. Which, honestly, is medium valid, since all the romanceable NPCs lose all their ambition and dreams for a future, and just on your farm all day with a tiny area for all their interests. Two tiny areas for all their interests. Once again, not very spoiled on her cutscenes, so let's check it out. Spoiler free. Right. The optimal path, I'm pretty sure. It's probably like up here in an angle, so I'm, I'm gonna clear that right now. All right, much better. All right, let's go meet her for the first time. What is there to say about Maru? I've honestly like kind of ignored her my entire time playing the game. I know she likes science. I mean, you can literally see in there she's working on stuff as we speak. She's into robotics. She seems like she's, she's honestly a pretty interesting, fairly talented person. I mean, a lot of people t tend to think she's kind of underrated, which is honestly probably true, since I, I mean, I myself literally just said I pretty much never interact with her. But I actually saw a decent amount of Maru hate. It says she talks about herself a lot, which I mean, you know, egotistical people can be annoying, but uh, you know, the opening dialogue tells a lot about a person. Let's, let's see. Oh, are you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting! Okay, not bad. Maybe a little bit overzealous, but, you know, nice, polite. I, I almost want to say goody two-shoes, but it's like, you know, just being nice, just being polite. Nothing wrong with that. Very interested to see her cutscenes, though. Maybe she's underrated. Maybe underrated isn't the right word. Maybe forgettable is the right word. Because if I pretty much never even think about her, then... You can also tell a lot about a person based on their uh, first cutscenes. So, uh, once we get up to two hearts, I'm looking forward to seeing that one. Do you know my dad, Demetrius? He's a scientist. I have a lot of fun helping him out in the laboratory. Interesting. Looks like she's hard at work on the microscope. Good work. Hi. Do you have fun working on the farm? Yes. Well, that's good, isn't it? I guess. Truly insightful. Let's give her one more gift and we're up to two hearts. Perfect. All right, we're about to get the first cutscene. I'm excited. Here we go. All right, so I'm walking into the lab. Demetrius, Maru, working, working away. Oh, they noticed me. Oh, hello there. My dad and I are just testing some soil samples. Wow, I do not care, apparently. Don't be shy. We can use a hand, actually. Could you watch this beaker for me? I'm going to grab the last batch of samples. I'll be right back. She gone. She going. Just me and Demetrius. Awkward. Thanks for helping out, Mar. I. Why did I do that? It's just annoying me every time. Thanks for helping me out, Wally Gug. Mar's a good kid. She's my special little girl. Uh, okay. Wouldn't want anything getting in the way for bright future. Know what I mean? God damn, his face is looking kind of scary, actually. Oh. Huh? Just some food for thought. <laughs> okay, dude. Chuckle. Hey, sorry about that. I hope you found something to talk about while I was gone. Yeah, we did. It was kind of awkward, but we did, I suppose. Let's tell him blogger about the soil saps for Chess and good save, Demetrius. Right, Mario? Actually, your dad was being weird. Say nothing. Well, we better titrate the solution before it crystallizes on us. Oh yeah, that's so true, dude. 
Okay, here, well, let me show how to use this equipment. Interesting. So it seems like Demetrius cares very deeply about Mara's future, which is fair enough, I guess. Thanks for dropping out in the lab. No problem, Mara. Because, you know, I, I guess as a father, you just want to make sure only good things happen to your kids. I feel like that's almost valid that he maybe wouldn't be super happy. Because, like, when, when you get married, you kind of, like, ruin your spouse's life. Kind of. Like, they kind of just, like, stagnate. And just like chill on the farm doing nothing all day, which I feel like is probably a bad thing. Kind of ditch everything that makes them interesting. Stop by your house when you need to upgrade your buildings. It's a helpful tip. It's nice to have visitors. Yeah, probably is. When it rains, I usually have a good excuse to work on my gadgets all day. Must be kind of boring for you, though. No, dude, are you kidding? Rain days are the best for us. Because <laughs> we don't have to water crops. We can just go mining all day or go fishing. Rain days are... Eh, I feel like you're kind of weird if you don't think they're the best day in start. At least early game. When you get sprinklers, they're kind of just another day, I guess. Looks like one more gift and she'll be up to four hearts. We can get another cutscene cooking up. Plan on spending a lot of time with my telescope this summer. And with that gift, it is uh, four hearts. Let's go. While we're here, we'll do a room review, though. Let's check it out. So it looks like we got some posters of the Earth, some sticky notes. Let's see what they say. Space poster. True. Some notes. I like the wallpaper. The stars go pretty hard. She's got the, the gaming beast for a gadgeteer. I've never heard anyone call. Be called a gadgeteer. She's still backing up her files on a floppy disk. What? Bro, CDs came out like 20 years ago. What? Okay, that's just dumb. Advanced neural networks. Star charts for every season. Got some sort of device. It looks pretty scrappy. Interesting. Got a hammer. Got another little cute little robot. Got a locked trap door. A lamp. Cool looking bed. What's down here? Oh, that just leads out here. Okay, that's good to know. All right, let's check out our uh, for her cutscene. I gotta visit her when she's at the clinic. And uh, she works today, I think, so she prob we'll probably see her running down from up there. Let's see if we can catch her. Oh, there we go. She's finally going to work, I think. Maybe. Let's follow her and find out, I guess. Oh, no. She's she's sitting on the bench. Oh, maybe? She might be going now. Oh, damn. She takes a weird-ass route. I'm just going to watch above creepily. Go! Cutscene? Let's go! Okay, that took a little bit to trigger, but we got it. Sigh. I'm so sick of preparing these samples. Why am I always surprising these people? Ah, oh no. She big mad. The whole sample is ruined. Harvey's going to kill me. Well, what should I do? Just scoop it off the floor. You won't know the difference. Tell Harvey it wasn't my fault. Tell Harvey it was an accident. Uh, it was an accident. Just, just be honest. Accidents happen. You're right. I should just tell him the truth. Oh, speak of the devil. Here he comes. What happened? I heard something break. I accidentally dropped one of the samples. I'm so sorry. Thank you for telling me the truth, Mara. Don't worry about the sample, we'll just get another one. Thanks for being patient with me, Dr. Harvey. Of course, you've been a big help around here. I don't know what I'd do without you. She's essential. She's an essential worker. Mullikug? You look a little pale. Are you feeling okay? Oh, we clutched up. We clutched up. Okay, we're good. Alright, that's five hearts. Nice. Yeah, sure, sure. I'll eat a cauliflower. Why not? I'm hungry. Feeling a different route today. So I thought I'd go this way. My mother is a carpenter. My dad is a scientist. I guess it makes sense that I'm into building gadgets. God damn, you got the best of both worlds. Yeah, you will be the ultimate scientist. Just kidding. You're going to marry me and send the farm and do nothing. I feel like if there was one person who could solve all of the world's illnesses and disease, it was it was Maru Stardew Valley. But unfortunately, she will be married to me and uh, be unable to. Six hearts. Another cutscene coming on up. Excited to see this one too. It's going to be a great season for stargazing. Awesome. Can't wait. Hopefully that's a heart event. I'm pretty sure it is if I remember correctly. Sebastian hardly ever talks to me. I wonder if he even likes me at all. So sad. I want to have a brother, but he doesn't even act like one. <gasps> that 
that's so sad. I'm pretty sure we'll, we will we'll touch on that when we get to Sebastian and uh, got a sneaking suspicion that she is uh, unfortunately very spot on. <laughs> and with this cauliflower, we will have achieved eight hearts. Is it just me or did something get really hot? I guess it's just, dog, it is literally summer. All right, guys, it's eight heart time. Let's go. Let's see what this one's all about. Here we go. Oh, she's hard at work. She's wrenching away. Oh, I knocked this time. I'm not going to jump scare them. That's rare in my cutscenes. Wally Gug, hi, come in. I'm working on a new project. Something big. This is just one component. Let me show you a little demonstration. Right here we go. Just put your hand here. This seems like a bad idea. And now I'm going to flip this switch. God damn. That is a crazy switch. Oh my god, are you alright? Here, let me apply this burn cream. God damn, that restored me straight up. It's okay, it doesn't even hurt. You'd better be. This hurts like crazy. The true Giga Soy option, the bottom one. <laughs> it's okay, it doesn't even hurt. Well, that makes me feel a little better. Thanks. Kind of ruined the moment, huh? Sigh. Damn, that's pretty sad. You know what time it is now? Bouquet time. Here you go. Woohoo! I didn't know you felt the same way. Sir, I was just thinking about some gadgets I'm making. I've decided I'm going to build a robot someday. It should be very easy for you. You should make it. You should be more realistic. It sounds challenging. It does sound challenging. You're right, but I love a challenge. Wow. Go, Mario. Alright, and with uh, this cauliflower, should be 10 arts. There we go. 10 hearts. Okay, tell me a story about farming. That's really interesting. Wow, no problem, Mara. Pretty long story, I know. Glad you managed to sit through all that. All right, it's cutscene time. Ten hearts. Hey, I was hoping you'd come by. Remember when I told you about the new project I'm working on, the big one? Well, it's finally done, and I want to show you. Follow me. Oh god damn, where am I going? <gasps> the cellar! We finally get the cellar reveal. Am I about to be kid napped and stabbed? Demetrius is snooping. He's gonna sneak up on us. This is a big ass house. Holy, they got a whole cellar. And here it is Mario's interactive laboratory device alpha. As I like to call it, Marilda. What the? That's so cool. I've been working on her for months. I was waiting for you to be here when I activated her. Hope it works. It'd be kind of awkward if I was just here and it didn't. Well, here goes nothing. God damn, it actually works. What? Let's grab some badass sound effects. Greetings, Maru. No need to respond. I've already predicted what you will say. What? Aha! I knew it! Ah, what is it? Dad, come down. This is my latest invention, Marilda. Greetings, Demetrius. He knows. Sweet Yoba, it talks. This is why you've locked yourself in your room the last few months? I thought you were down here fooling around with Wally Gug. What? Dad, I've been making this robot for you and Mom. I told us to assist you in the laboratory, Mom at the carpentry tables. So when I'm not leaving here anymore, it won't be such a burden on you guys. It's pretty thoughtful of her, dog. Goddamn, she's kind of sweet. Excuse me. I'm sorry, Mara, but I do not want to be your servant. In the time since you activated me, I've been pondering the nature of my existence with the self-awareness module you installed in my neural network. I'm sorry to disappoint you all, but I must ask for my freedom. I've decided to explore the galaxy in search of other synthetic life forms. What? Goddamn, he thought of all this in like 20 seconds that he's been online for. That's crazy. What? Wait! Demetrius is he's looking, he's pondering, he's thinking. It's okay, Mara. 
Let Matilda go free. Your mother and I can take care of ourselves. I know you registered a life of your own, and I've come to terms with the thought of not having you around anymore. Besides, this creation of yours seems kind of advanced. Probably wouldn't feel right to keep her as a servant. Yeah, that would be kind of messed up. Wallagug, I'm sorry I mistrusted you. You're a good guy. I've never seen Mara so lively and creative, and I've never been more proud of her. If you've had a hand in that, then you have my gratitude. Aww. It's kind of a wholesome scene. Although he's kind of right. He's just gonna sit on the farm all day and not make any cool new robots, probably. Okay, Marilda, let's get you out of this stuffy hole. Thank you for creating me, Maru. I won't forget you. Oh, he gone. Oh, he big gone. He going. Wait, he's actually gonna make it? What? That's crazy. Oh, well, that's months of work down the drain. Look at her go. Well, what do you think? I'm so impressed with your inventions. I'm disappointed you should have made that rubber your slave. So is your dad okay with us now? Just stare at Mar and say nothing. Uh, that is pretty impressive, I'm not gonna lie. Thanks, that means a lot to me, Bologa. You no, know, gadgets aren't really kind of thing, but I do appreciate you showing interest in what I do. I wish I could return the favor somehow. You come check out my plants, I guess, if you want. Aww. That's so wholesome. A little smooch on the... on the cheek. Alright, here we go, Mara. Yippee! We're getting married again. Whoa! Not even gonna show the wedding. Let's just get straight to the 14 heart. <gasps> Cutscene! Hi, honey. Tomorrow night, there's a rare astrological event happening. A comet is passing very close to our planet. I was thinking, maybe we should observe it together. Aw, I would love to, Mara. That sounds badass. Great. Meet me in the mountains at midnight tomorrow night. If it rains, we'll do it the next day. The comet is here for a few days. Alright, it's midnight. I'm heading on up. Oh, it's raining. God damn it. I just realized. Here we go. God damn, this guy already already looked kind of badass, I'm not gonna lie. Wallagook, I'm surprised to see you here so late. The night sky looks amazing right now. Come over here, I want to show you something. Here, take a peek. What do you see? A beautiful, yeah, a beautiful planet. Space looks cool. It's amazing, isn't it? By the time any of these stars visited, you and I will be long gone. What a romantic thing to say, Mario. I guess that's the trouble with being human, huh? Hmm. Wallygug? Um. Never mind. Here, let me show you a binary star system. I wonder if we're gonna see, uh. Matilda in the sky. Wow, this looks so cool, actually. God damn. What the heck? It's Jupiter. What a beautiful night. Mara showed me something new. Oh, we pulling up again later. A different night. This is a different place. No fence. Hey, Walga, you made it just in time. The comet's about to appear. Beautiful night, isn't it? Remember the first time we did this? It was a while ago. It was literally less than 20 seconds ago. I almost revealed my true feelings on the night, but I was afraid you'd reject me. Who knew we'd be married soon, so soon after? Yeah, that's true. Oh, it's time! Take a look! God damn. It's rainbowing. That looks awesome. A rare wonder of the cosmos. Here for one fleeting moment on its infinite journey. Makes me glad to live on this vibrant world with you. 
After seeing a comment, it's customary to make a wish. What will you wish for? First, uh, grow old to- ah, eh, more money. Money? Oh. She's not- she big man, which is valid. <laughs> My wish is a little more romantic. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I said that. I've always done the nice options before. Alright, well that was- that was pretty good. Now I gotta go try to fix my internet, cause it just went down and my roommate is bugging me. Here's my rating though. Likeability is probably a solid 8 out of 10. She seems like a sweet girl. For room rating, I'm gonna put 8 out of 10 again. The dungeon is a very badass. And cutscenes are probably 6.5 out of 10. Creating a sentient being was pretty badass, but not quite enough to bump her up to anything higher than that. Overall, that's a solid 7.5 out of 10. On to the next. Emily's an interesting one. If you were to make a tier list of who would be most likely to try to sell you an MLM scam, Emily would probably be at the top. She has a semi-tragic backstory since her parents abandoned her and Haley at a young age, but I'm not actually sure if it's touched on majorly in our story. Guess we're about to find out. She's actually fairly ignored by the majority of players. I feel like she's not that argued about by people that much. I really haven't heard that much discourse about her, so I'm actually going in fairly blind. Let's see how it goes. Emily time. Almost forgot to grab all the stuff I need. Emily, she's she's pretty quirky, I'm not gonna lie. I think she's generally a fairly liked character. She probably comes off as kind of weird to a lot of people, which is kind of valid because she is kind of weird, but it's not necessarily a bad thing, you know? But you know, she lives with Haley and is pretty much, I want to say the polar opposite, but probably not quite the polar opposite of her. But you know, when, when the bar is as low as Haley. Oh man, come on Emily. Here she comes for your very first survival burger and my introduction to you. Here you go. Ooh, I can read it on your face. You're gonna love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Wow, nice introduction. She seems very friendly. Opposite of Haley. Maybe she is the polar opposite. I will also say, Emily is one of the few NPCs who has a job. Not all of them have jobs, so, you know, I respect the, the hardworking, the grit. She's the American dream. She's pulling herself up by the bootstraps. Next, we have to address the elephant in the room. So if you guys didn't know, I mentioned it in the, the introduction blurb, but uh, their parents just like totally abandoned them. Like th they're gone. But uh, I'm not super sure if Emily cares. Like, I, I don't know if she, we'll see if she mentioned it in like dialogue or anything like that. I don't exactly recall, but I feel like it would be unlikely that it doesn't come up, period. I feel like it'll at least come up maybe once or twice. I like to make my own clothes, but it's not easy to get cloth. And it's such a long trip to the city. That's why she loves cloth, I guess. She should just simply go to the Skull Caverns and blow up mummies. It's that easy. Hi, Wallagug. Do you raise sheep in your barn? You can turn their wool into beautiful bolts of cloth. You'll need to make a loom, though. You can make them yourself if you know the crafting recipe. Damn. She, like, literally only talks about cloth. She's kind of obsessive with cloth. But hey, you know, that's not a bad thing, you know? Sometimes people just have hobbies. This gift just got us to two hearts, so we can see the first event. This gift is fabulous, thank you so much! Have I told you Haley and I are sisters? Strange, isn't it? It is kind of strange, you guys are literal opposites. The blue hair. I think if I literally just re-enter... Oh yeah, we're cutscening. Alright, here we go. She napping, she's, she's sleeping. She just... That's, that's the whole cutscene, cool. Nice. Good. Very- wait, what the? Never mind, where is she going? Muiwa. What is she saying? I don't know what that means. Oh, I blew up. Wait, what? Dude, just showing up randomly in a dream is kind of rude, I'm not gonna lie. Whatever. Why are you here? Goddamn, she does not look impressed. She wants me gone, now. God damn, it's rainbowing all over the place. What the heck? Kind of awkward, to be honest. Yep, that's exactly what I was feeling. <laughs> it's got dot dot dot. That reminded me of something. Even the tiniest, blandest, simplest light holds a wonderful secret. <clears throat> Smooth pivot, actually. She's got Riz, big time. Now I know why you're here. It's a sign. Ha 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 ha. Kind of an awkward ha ha. I'm sh- ah. Uh. Huh. Oh, we're back. We're back in the real world. What's going on with her now? Oh, she's getting out of bed. She's just walking over. Wallygook. 
There's something special about Wallygag. Our destinies will intersect. Oh, huh. okay, cool. You want another burger? All right, I guess I'm heading home. Okay, that was a fire cutscene, I'm not gonna lie. Like, that is just, it's cool. It's like, what the heck is going on kind of cutscene, but like in a good way. Because sometimes it's just enjoyable to not know what the hell is going on. You know what I mean? All right, head on another mission over to the house. Glad it's a nice simple route, you know? I could just min-max my way over there, take the shortcut. This gift is fabulous. I work part-time at Gus's Saloon. It pays the bills. It's not like bank and star, dude. Does she like pay the mortgage of the house to like, Lewis? You think? Maybe? I don't know. Let's get a room review in though. So she got her like her essential oils over here. She's got a couple of cactuses. There's a little, uh, oh, a note, lore. There's a little note on the pot. Something to remember me by Sandy. Oh yeah. I actually totally forgot to touch on her relationship with Sandy, but we'll talk about that in a second when I finish the room. She's got her nice cloth table to work on. A nice little tape player. She's listening to freeform dance rhythms. She's got three nice little windows, a little heart above her bed. Exposed power outlet. Bunch of plants. I would've thought she had more plants, to be honest. She's got her computer. Password protected, damn it. Got her desk. How does she water that plant? She has to like step over, go through her bed to water it. That's annoying. Eh, kind of a boring room. Honestly, not my favorite. Oh wait, you know what? I guess I could also count this technically as a room. And the dyes are very cool, because this is also pretty useful, I'm not even gonna lie. So I can't really hate on it. So yeah, Emily and Sandy, I actually totally forgot about that dynamic. So if you guys don't know, Emily and Sandy, like, might have like a lesbian thing going on. But it, it, it's unclear, it's unclear. But like, they have these very, they have this one event that's like rare and only happens like once a year on uh, their birth. I can't remember. It's either Sandy's birthday or Emily's birthday. I'll put up on screen what it actually is. Uh, where like they visit each other and hang out in the desert. So they're probably just really good friends if I had to guess. Or maybe they, they are like lovers, but she can't abandon the shop in the desert because like obviously wouldn't function without her. Though I will say, doesn't seem like it's getting a whole lot of business out there. Maybe should move it to like a more convenient location. Maybe I'm on the, the business side of it go to me. You know, maybe she just likes the desert kind of thing. She likes hanging around there. I've heard rumors of rare and powerful magic rings forged long ago by forgotten civilizations. Not sure if it's true or just a fairy tale. They are true, in fact. You can get a whole lot of them. And you know what? Freak you, we're getting four hearts. Gotta enter town on sunny day. So I should just trigger right now, maybe. Let's see. Oh yeah, we're going. She just heads out of the house, hanging out. Ah, another beautiful day in Pelican Down. Okay, movie protagonist narrating their lives. Sorry. What the parrot? Are they communicating with her? Oh, she's waving. She's literally her. Like, she just knows people like that. My friends. Well, they didn't stop to say hi to her. That's kind of sad. They probably still are her friends. You know, some, maybe they're in a rush. Maybe they're busy. Oh, one of them is just... What the... Collided with the window. What a dumbass. No, it happens. You can't blame them. Glasses, they have not discovered it in bird world yet. Your wing's broken, no way. Poor little guy. Just dance a little bit nice. Deal with them later. Oh, you're a bit different than the others, aren't you? Just like me. Is that blue hair natural? I don't see any roots growing back, so it could be natural. Don't worry, I'll nurse you back to health, little one. Everything will be alright. Well, that's kind of nice. I'm not even pulling up in this cutscene. Oh, Emily took the injured parrot into her home and bandaged the wing. He's all set up in her room, but as a token of respect, she didn't give the bird a name. Oh yeah, I also forgot to check my mail. This was technically a three heart event, but Emily, well, good. flip this letter over for instruction on how to make a super healthy meal. You'll feel energized. See you soon. Well, Emily, new cooking rested salad. See what she says today. Sometimes the flowers speak to me. Each one has a different story to tell. God damn. Guess they do not have a schizophrenia doctor in the town. Harvey, that's not Harvey specialization. <laughs> Sorry, Emily. That's pretty cool. Goodbye. All right. Five hearts. Woohoo. With this burger, we should close in on six hearts. We can get another cutscene going. This world is full of spirits and magic. Some don't believe me, but I know it's true. I can see it in your eyes. You believe in the other world, like me. Yeah, that's true, I do. It's more than likely. 
have another burger. And I'm pretty sure that this event has music. Yeah, it does. Okay, here we go. I'm excited. Come on in, Wally Gag. I want to show you something. It's my secret hobby. I've been practicing for months. Now sit back, relax, and allow yourself to be carried away to a better place. Okay? Oh, dude. Okay, unrelated, this song is fire. This is like a top five song in the starter soundtrack. You can't see me, but I'm, I'm jamming to the music in real life, too. Okay, we're getting a little funky with it. We got the beads coming down. The strobe light. <laughs> the rainbow worms. God damn, this this event actually goes so hard, holy. Got the hearts coming in, a couple more rainbows. A little bit of few few mangoes, why not? Just throw them in there. Alien faces, they're pretty cute. Bananas. Yeah, sure, why not? Just get them in there, man. Stars? Yeah, go for it. Go to town. That's my reaction too. That's a good event. So, Gasp, what did you think? That was amazing. Thank you. Phew, that was quite a workout. Oh, oh, oh. I haven't been this sweaty since I ordered the pepper platter at Abigail's graduation fiesta. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Sorry. Well, I'd better take a shower. Thanks for watching. In which bathroom? In what bathroom? In what bathroom, Emily? Where? Where are you going to take a shower? You gonna walk all the way up to the bathhouse? It's not even unlocked. You're a fraud. I've caught you. Another burger for you, madam. Oh, it's nice of you to visit me like this. Definitely don't do it literally every single day. Oh, wait. Oh, it's a bolt of blue cloth. There are pieces cut out of it and little embroidered patterns along the fringe. Cool. Seven hearts closing in on eight. And with two of these little burgers, we will reach eight hearts. These cutscenes have been asked here so far. I'm kind of excited. Have faith. Everybody take one more step to the path of destiny. So I should receive an invite in the mail. So here, another cooking recipe. That's seven hearts, I believe. So don't care. Well, I have this crazy new idea I want to involve you in. It's called clothing therapy. Please come to the mayor's house today to see what it's all about. Love, Emily. God damn, she dropped the love at the end of it. Let's go. We're so in, boys. Here we go. Okay, we got Robin, Lewis, Abigail, Shane, Clint, Emily. And I'm going to be pulling up any moment now. You're probably wondering, what is clothing therapy? I'll try to explain. So many of us are struggling with personal issues, things holding us back from living how we want. It's important to me that everyone has a free and happy life, so I came up with a new kind of therapy to help people achieve that. It's based on the amazing power of self-expression. Self-expression is a wonderful healing tool. Did you know that? Behind this curtain, you'll find racks and racks of clothes. There's endless options to choose from. I mean, there's only like, for like a meter of space, but I digress. Your job is simple. Find the outfit that truly speaks to you and put it on. Feel confident in yourself and your choice. You all have a unique style to share with the world. Shane, you're up first. What? He does not want to be first. To be fair, you never want to be first. Oh no, he tanks. Never mind. Okay. Ah, well, a guggy. You're just in time. Just observe and keep an open mind, okay? Sure thing. I'm an open-minded guy. Let's see. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> that's crazy. Wow, indeed. No, that's actually a fire fit. Cool. Shane, it's a new side of you. You've never known it. That's great. Now go outside with confidence and show the world. He is not feeling that. Oh, what? Oh, he does it? No way. That's crazy. Okay. Everyone gets a turn. Who's next? Who's next? Clint is not looking forward to this. Especially in front of Emily. And let's see what Robin does. He. God damn. She's looking pretty kawaii. Oh, she's showing off. Let's see what Demetrius thinks. All right, who's next? Lewis? Oh, Lewis just goes for it. No hesitation. We all know Clint's gonna be last. Hehe, <laughs> not bad. 
Oh my god, he is Wonka maxing. Looking sharp indeed, holy. Willy Wonka in the flesh. Yeah, no, it Clint's last. <laughs> Clint, you're up. M me? Yeah, dumbass. You're the only one left. Gulp. Okay, Emily. I'll do it. Come on, dude. You're walking that walk right now. God damn, he's a model. Look at him go. Yo! Bachelor? Aw, cute. Aw, cute. Sorry. Sorry, Clint. Well, that went very well. I just hope this experience helps everyone break out of their shell a little bit. I kind of want to do it, to be honest. I wish I'd let you. Wally Gug. Um. Oh. I couldn't do it. I don't want to break out of my shell. What? Oh, I... I guess I'm interrupting something here, aren't I? <laughs> this is so unbelievably awkward. I understand. I'll leave now. Congrats, Emily. What? That's kind of my thoughts. What? Okie dokie. Well, Emily, how about that morning burger? You excited? <laughs> I'll get her the bouquet too. <laughs> I actually feel bad. I'm sorry, Clint. That's got to be done. Here you are. I'll accept this. Thank you. I didn't know you felt the same way. Sometimes the flowers speak to me. Each one is... Okay. All right. This is the final burger before marriage. Ten arts. Best friends. There's good people in this town, I just can't seem to find happiness. It makes me sad. Working in the saloon, I hear firsthand from everyone about their problems. I'm sorry to hear that. Anyways, you wanna, wanna shell? Here you go. I accept! I'll set everything up. Well, the ceremony in three days! Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Alright, this is the start of the 14 heart event. I leave my house. Annoying, nagging wife following me. Just wanted to go fishing. Damn it! Hey honey, before you get to work today, do you have a moment? I've been working on something special for you, but I need a little help finishing it. Oh, I'm intrigued. It's a secret, so I can't tell you what it is, but could you bring me 200 pieces of fiber? 200? God damn, that's, that's all I need. That's all she need, guys. It's nothing. Just bring the 200 fiber by when you have a chance. No rush. I'm sleeping on the couch if I do not bring her this fiber by tomorrow. Well, thankfully, We've neglected the farm. Yeah, that didn't take that long. That was pretty easy, actually. Where'd she go? I'm just gonna sleep so she pulls up again. Wait, where is she? She's hiding. Please, my dear wife, where are you? Oh, here she is. She's meditating. Oh, this is perfect. Looks like it's sustainably sourced, too. Thanks so much, Wallag. I... I'm not going to replace this fiber. This farm will set. It's ecosystem destroyed. Alright, I have to wait outside my farmhouse until 8 o'clock. Let's do it. That was fun. Let's go. Here she is, in our completely dark house. Welcome home, Mulligan. I hope you had a nice day. I'm surprised you didn't see me, to be honest. I did, honey. Don't worry. So I finished that secret project I was working on. What? What secret project, Emily? Just kidding. You literally told me. It's a brand new handmade outfit for you. Wait. Wait, that's kind of fire. What? I've always loved sewing and making crafts, so I thought it'd be fun to make you something by hand. I had a lot of fun. Wow, Emily. Hope it fits right, and that fiber isn't too itchy. There's a boots, a hat, a shirt, and pants. It's a complete outfit. Now, when you wear those clothes, you'll think of me, and you'll know I'm here waiting for you to come home safe, okay? Wow, that's kind of sweet. That's kind of a wholesome cutscene. She want me for real. Aww. Let's try it. Let's try on the outfit. Wow, four defense, four immunity. I mean, that's decent. Kinda sucks you can't wear the outfit all the way down again. Here, let's sleep so we can see in the, the bright of the day. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is kinda fire. Well, she was actually really good. Those are some good ass cutscenes. But, here's what you've all been waiting for. My ratings. Like ability, I'll put it a solid 9 out of 10. She comes across as good in all the cutscenes with Haley, which is uh, good for her point score. The rooms, eh, it's nothing special. I'll do 6.5 out of 10. And for cutscenes, we'll do 9 out of 10 since the music that's playing right now is from her scenes and is fire. Overall, that's 8.3 out of 10. 
Now it's time for a quick intermission. Let's talk about a guy. We have a normal NPC from the game that is not normally romanceable that I modded to be marryable. Clint. Clint is like most NPCs, another love him or hate him. However, the reasons for hating him are pretty valid for this one. A lot of players tend to think that Clint is like a stalker because of his semi-obsession with Emily. A lot of the players' heart events with Clint are based around you giving stuff or delivering stuff to Emily on his behalf. He even sends you a quest in the mail for an amethyst just so he can give it to Emily. He also has this like pretty weird hiding in a bush cutscene. He's just kind of a classic nice guy. However, I always thought that it was kind of messed up that you can marry Emily, but not him. Maybe you can make him like normal, not obsessed with her and give him a happy ending because you can give her a happy ending. And that's why I got this mod, a full overhaul of his story. And let me tell you, it was amazing in the weirdest, most scuffed way possible. So, uh, we're gonna try to marry Clint, I believe. Obviously, he's not an actual marriage candidate, but I installed a mod, so I think it gives him new cutscenes. It gives him more dialogue, obviously. It basically just rewrites his character. We're gonna see how it goes, because, yeah, Clint's not a super popular character in the traditional game, because... Ah, uh, he's just kind of weird. I'm pretty sure, I, I don't recall his cutscenes exactly, but doesn't he have one where he's just, like, watching Emily in a bunch? <laughs> Yeah, it's not a it's not a great look, I think. But you never know, because he could be like the nicest guy ever. On the mod I downloaded, it like completely changed his character design to something that I like really disliked. So I had to figure out how to like delete the character file or like the image, the image files. Y you know what I mean? So it was the default ones instead of the other one. Here, I'm gonna see if I can not like obviously no shade to the modder, but really what I imagine like a blacksmith kind of looks like. I try, you know, a blacksmith, he's like working at the forge all day. He's like, he's muscly. He's a big guy. At least I, that's kind of how I imagine. Now, what the heck does Clint like? Does he have any good gifts I can give him? Let's, let's pull up the old wiki or I could just use the, the chat wiki. Okay. There's actually quite a few things. So he likes basically every gemstone, a couple of food pieces, omni geodes. Ah, the thing is, I don't really, wait, does he, does he actually like most of what Emily likes? There's no way. Surely not. Oh my God. He totally does. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, he makes, okay. He, he can two of these artichoke and milk. That's not happening. Do I even have any artichokes? Probably not. Nah, I'll just do gemstones. Wait, I have gemstones, right? Oh my God. Do you like quartz? Holy smokes. Why the heck do I have that much quartz? He doesn't like quartz. Of course he doesn't. Do I actually, wait. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I was like, there's no way I don't have any. He doesn't like diamonds. What is wrong with this guy? Okay, we've got aquamarines. That's fine. Clint hates being a blacksmith though. Okay, that is not true. I, you're making that up. Where the heck, <laughs> what? <laughs> when does he say that? This is exactly what I've been looking for. Don't you have work to do? Seriously, that's all he says, bruh. Okay, I totally thought you guys were trolling me, but if you guys are curious... Okay, this is this kind of hints at it. Yep, I'm a blacksmith. My father was also a blacksmith. My grandfather was a blacksmith as well. I bet you can't guess what my great-grandfather was. So it kind of shows that it's kind of... What's the word I'm looking for? Like it runs in the family? There's a word, but I can't remember it. And then be glad you're a farmer, player. It's nice to work outdoors by, than buy hot furnaces all day. I'm only a blacksmith because my father pushed me into it. Okay, so no, that's actually right. Interesting, okay. For some reason, I didn't think that'd be true. I don't know why. Seems like he's not very talkative on gift one though. So I guess we're going back to bed. Doesn't mean he hates being a blacksmith. I mean, yeah, but if you're forced sure like if your parents force you into doing something you could like it but more than likely you probably have like a different passion that you'd rather pursue but like you can't just up and leave because like he's literally the only blacksmith in town wow he really yep i'm a blacksmith oh my god guys it's the dialogue we just read this my father was also a blacksmith my grandfather was a blacksmith as well but i can't guess what my great-grandfather was <laughs> Holy smokes. Wait, we can come out of the gate swinging. Okay, guys, what do I choose? A blacksmith, a silly clown, or a sarcastic jerk? A silly clown is 50 points. Oh, damn. Okay, that's tempting. I'm not gonna lie. I really want the jerk one. I kind of want to see what he says. Hmm. Okay, wait. I'm gonna do this one. Wow, that was rude. I just, I was just being funny and you took it to a whole new level. Damn. Okay. Don't mind me. Hell, even if you like it, nobody likes being forced into something. Yeah, exactly. Ha 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 ha. Good one. Good one. Like, that sounds so sarcastic. If you want me to upgrade tools, you'll have to give me the correct ore. And you'll have to pay me a fee. Of course. Yeah, okay. Business has been slow lately. You should upgrade your tools. I could use the cash. <laughs> Holy smokes. He's shameless, dude. He's actually using me. What the hell? Also, I have max tools. I mean, I guess I can upgrade my trash can. Do I have any gold? You know what? I'll, I'll help a brother out. I'll grab some gold and upgrade. Do you think he gets money by sitting around? Yeah. Yeah, actually. He sits and hammers at the blacksmith. The anvil. That's the word I'm looking for. At least he's honest with that one. Yeah, exactly. Oh, whoops. I gave him a gold bar. I mean, I think he likes it, but still. There you go. Oh, whoops. Also, you don't really annoy me. He says, um, here. 
um, I'm still worried. It's like, it makes me, he's like villainizing me for asking, okay? Freak you, Clint. There doesn't really matter to me. I stay, typically stay near my shop year round. Depressing, huh? Yeah, that is a little depressing. Sometimes I wonder how I ended up in this town. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, buddy. That's all you have to say. Okay, cool. Should have made yourself look like Emily. True. <laughs> Change it to wizard towers. Oh, I totally should. Good idea. Oh my god, if you could re- Wait, where the heck am I going? I was on brain autopilot. Don't you have work to do? Yeah, okay, whatever. I am gonna go to the wizard's tower. I hope I'm good enough friends. All right, let's change my guy. Okay, what can I change? Can I change much? Oh my gosh, wait. I have no idea how. Oh my god, I can change my pet. <laughs> That's so mean. Holy smokes. Okay, uh, so Emily's white. What kind of hair do you guys think would work best? What kind of hair does Emily have? Yeah, it's gotta be blue, you're right. We'll do blue hair. What color is Emily's hair? Like, I know it's blue, but like specifically. Uh, that's pretty close, I think. Like a bob? Hmm. Like this? Kinda? I don't know. Maybe more like that? Is that closer? I don't know. Longer? Yeah, I think maybe this might be a bit closer. What colored eyes does Emily have? Oh my god, that looks so terrifying. Is that purple? I can't really tell. Brighter blue? No, that's closer. Yeah, I think that's actually wait here. Something like that. Perfect. Okay. And I have blue shoes too. Awesome. What the heck does Emily wear? Red stuff? Such a dumb question. How the heck do you get clothing anyways? Make it at Emily's? Oh, true. <laughs> She's probably gonna be kind of confused. Here, I'll go to the, um, like if I just dyed this red, would that work? <laughs> Honey, then dye it red. All right, I'll go find something red. Wait, where the heck is Emily? Please tell me she's just home. I'm, I'm actually doubting myself. Oh, no, it's all red. What the heck am I saying? I feel like I've never looked at Emily. How does a red bank a bomb not? Wait, I need to test something. So that's kind of going to make it. Okay, there we go. We can make it a darker red. Nice. Uh, I'm just going to go home and grab more strawberries. Side quest? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do not put a dangerous explosive into the show sewing machine. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's probably, probably my bad, guys. Can you not die this? Are you kidding? Seriously? I'll make it even more red. Does that look kind of Emily? Does that look kind of Emily? Pretty damn close, actually. I'm not gonna lie. That's not bad. <laughs> you guys think? Can you guys tell any difference? <laughs> Slay. Yeah, that's good enough. Maybe the eyes, too? No, the eyes, because, you know, like, the, the doppelgangers, they always reveal themselves in the eyes. We gotta give Clint a chance. Exactly what I'm looking for. Can I not speak to him? Okay. Clint will definitely think that's Emily. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna be looking too close. Yeah, because that's actually right. Part of me is like, Clint would definitely notice. And another part of me is like, Clint would definitely not notice. It would be cool if the NPCs reacted to changing your appearance. Yep, I'm a blacksmith. Yeah, dude, we've heard many times. My father, yeah, okay, dude. Wait, oh my God, do I get more free? No, it only asks me to do it once. Unlucky. What are we at, guys? Probably one heart. Two hearts, nice. Okay, one thing I'm honestly kind of worried about. Will I get the cutscenes? <laughs> Will I get the Clint cutscenes? <laughs> when do we get the cutscenes? How do I trigger the two hearts? Oh my gosh, this mod page is in Chinese. Oh no, only part of it is. Oh, it's okay, it's a three heart event, not a two heart event. We're fine. Clint is desperate, he'd not notice. That's kind of what I'm thinking too. Some say spring is a season of seeking for love. I say it's a season that has nothing to do with me. <laughs> Oh my god. Holy smokes. He's down awful. Poor guy. He is going through it for real. All right. What's he going to say today? I've been working on the furnace. Don't have holidays. He's probably not going to like me. Oh my gosh. Three hearts. Come on. I want to go out, but I hardly have a free time for work. Okay. Clint, don't lie to me. He's at the Star Drop Saloon like pretty much every day. Correct me if I'm wrong. Where's the schedule? Regular schedule. Heads to the saloon every single night. Every single night. Oh, three hearts. Okay. We need to like wait around until 1900 military time. Am I stupid? What the heck is that in real people time? Seven o'clock. We have to wait till seven. That's kind of embarrassing that I couldn't do that in my head. Okay, I'm skipping time. I really hope we get the cutscene because if not, we might have to go to a different save. I need to double check the requirements. Three hearts, 19 to 2300 star drops. Oh my gosh, it has to be Monday. Is it going to work if I just turn the day to Monday? You're kidding. Do I actually have to? Do I actually have to go to a new save? I'm gonna be so upset. I'm gonna be so upset. It's cause it's not like a real Monday, you know? Do Sunday then sleep? Yeah. Clint will have to be at the saloon probably, you think? Okay, I'm gonna turn it. What time does Clint leave for the... Oh wait, yeah, you're... Maybe, maybe you're right. He leaves for the saloon at eight. So I'll set it to nine. So he, in... he should, in theory, be leaving. Oh yeah. I set this up for a video so long ago and I've just been accidentally blocking these guys for like years. Will it work? God damn it. Wait, let me think. Hmm, maybe if I turn time back, probably gonna break everything. Might have to go to a different save. That would be kind of annoying because I don't think they're gonna trigger because I've already gotten 10 hearts. Yeah, I think I have to. That's fine. Wally Gug, Clint, whoops. No, Emily Farm, favorite thing, Clint. Okay, that's not bad, that's not bad. That's pretty good, I can live with that. All right, let's go. All right, everyone avert their eyes, please. Please avert their eyes. What the heck, guys? Holy smokes, I just made $2 million. That's actually unbelievable. 
How have I managed to pull that off? Wow. And I've also just head over to the mines and managed to find 62 Aquamarines. That's crazy. How have I managed to pull that off? That's that's just why I'm the greatest player of all time, I guess. What a speedrun tactic. Yeah, not sure why other people don't use this, to be honest. Yeah, I did a lot of mining off camera. Exactly. All before 7 a.m. You're not going to see your average streamer doing stuff like that. Just saying, just saying, guys. Oh my gosh, and wait, he's also... I've also just headed on over to Ginger Island and got the key to the town. Insane. <laughs> That's why I'm so... I'm so good. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Huge. Yeah, look at that animation canceling. <laughs> Alright, let's turn it to eight or nine so Clint leaves. Go. Okay. Cat name ideas? I'm actually blanking on all human words. Holy smokes. Oh, awkward. This is so awkward. Our hair is still isn't the same. Okay, will it trigger? Let's go! Hello, Wallagug. Care to join me? Let me just go ahead and tell you what's on my mind. I have terrible luck with women, Wally Guck. Sigh. I'm a nice guy if you get to know me. I swear. He's a nice guy, guys. He's a nice guy. Oh, I'm feeling for him. The girls all seem to like you, Wally Guck. True. Got any tips? Impress women with your strength and charm. Act crazy to keep people guessing. Just act natural. Be yourself. Think about how you act when being with me. What do we think? I'm feeling four. The last option is no. Hmm. Think about how you act when being with me. Yeah, we'll do four. Um, I don't know why I can act natural when facing you, but not with other people. Speak of the devil. Hi, Clint. What can I get for you tonight? Uh, uh, erm. Um. Oh, oh my gosh, you didn't actually say that. Yes. Er, I mean, I'll have the big and cheesy with extra sauce, please. Dot, dot, dot. Hi, Wooly Gug. Er. <coughs> th th thanks, Emily, for taking my order. Um, Emily, I was gulp. <laughs> this guy said gulp. Gulp, I was wondering. Huh? Yes, Clint? Never mind. Oh, he was so close. He was this close. Emily dodged another bullet. Hi, Shane. Here's your beverage. Shane's about to riz him up. Thanks, Emily. So, how's your shift? Oh my god, he actually is. So, how's your shift coming along? It's fine. Thanks for asking, Shane. Do you have any new chicken stories for me? <laughs> Bro, is that really his only personality trait? There's simply no way. <laughs> He's gotta have more going on. <laughs> there's, there's simply no way. Sigh. I'm doomed, Wally Gug. Would you like to have a drink with me? Good try. Good try, Clint. Insane Riz got the chickens and the Riz. True. Uh, it's Tuesday. Let's go. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, guys. I'm not losing it, right? This is not a proper sentence. Use some discount for tool upgrade. Use some discount for tool upgrade. Am I missing something? Well, anyways. All right, four hearts. Mountain Sunny has seen the three heart event. 10 till two. Nice. We'll head up there, I guess. Oh, wait. Huh. Does this count as the mountain? Is this the mountain or is that the mountain? And if we do 10, go back in. Let's go. All right. Go, 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 go. Hey, Wally Gug, you're here. Come up here and talk with me. After I finish my work tonight, I suddenly just want to come here. Okay, guys, I'm just going to ignore the spell or the grammar errors for the rest of the mod because it was made by Chinese people that don't even be mean. <laughs> or like people who I'm assuming English in their first language. So just, for, just ignore that part, okay? You're done with your work as well, aren't you? Look at you, all covered with your mud. And there's some ash on your face. I literally came up here only. Just like a dust sprite. <laughs> no way he's calling me a monster. Wow. I mean, you know, whatever floats your boat, I guess. <laughs> and I look like even more of a dust sprite. <laughs> Ooh, Clint, buddy. I don't know, man. Just kidding. Don't be mad. Okay, okay. He comes back. He saves it. He saves it. Maybe. <laughs> well, maybe I can be so. I can be so relaxed. Well, maybe I can be so relaxed only when you're by my side. They're looking out at the beautiful lake. Well, after the day at that saloon, I think of myself for a while. Like I told you last time, I have terrible luck with women. Oh, I just realized I made myself a man, not a woman. Awkward. Um, I was too timid after all. Not just with Emily, but with all other people. I can't express myself well. However. I can be myself when I'm with you. Wonder why that is. Because I'm too cute. Maybe I'm too special to you. I didn't do anything. All right, we're going with because I'm too cute. Well, let's see what he says to that. Haha, -ha, you're cute. Just like dust sprites. Bro, you gotta drop the dust sprite thing. It's not working, man. It's not working. It's fine, it's fine. He's got this. He's nailing it. Dot, dot, dot. Anyway, I think I can finally walk myself out of this futureless relationship. Well, like, thank you for being with me and talking to me during all this time. Bro's attracted to dust sprites? I think so. Well, uh... Nice. When's the next uh, one? The next one is... Six hearts. Yes, that's exactly what I'm looking for. So how are your tools holding up? Good. Nice. Cool. That's all he said. Nice. Was simping over them. I do not like them. That's too shy. More open just like you. So true. Uh, you sh everyone should be more like me. <gasps> oh my god, guys. Cat. We get to decide a cat name. Let's go. I would say you can bribe me for a cat name, but I don't think the chats are going to come fast enough. I don't want to scam anyone. What are we- what are we feeling for a cat name? Clint? I've, Emily is fitting. I'm gonna do Emily. There we go. Alright. 
Yes, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Dude, you say that literally every day. Get a new line. Oh, wait, six hearts. Okay, nice. So I think the next one, the next one, six hearts. Blacksmith, Sunny, is not Summer. Having two hearts with Alex. Okay, so I need to make friends with Alex. We don't care about Alex, so I'm just gonna cheat the hearts up. We're, we're, we're here for Clint. Two hearts with Alex, and then we just sleep till tomorrow. Perfect, nice. Oh my god, okay. Thank the good lord. Holy gug, you're here. Huh? I was cleaning up my room and found an old picture of my mother. Wanna take a look? <laughs> yeah, sure, dude, whatever. Smile. You see a beautiful lady in the picture. She wears a delicate ruby ring on her ring finger. Her face is full of smile. Face is full of smile. My mother is a beautiful, right? She was the most beautiful woman in town. My father had a crush on her for a long time, but he was scared to tell her. In the end, my mother pretended to leave this town. My father got startled and proposed to her right away. Wait, 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 wait. So they were dating or were they not dating? What do you mean proposed? Like proposed to go on a date or like proposed to marry? I don't understand. I'm not following. Because it sounded to me like he was scared to tell her at all. Oh, whatever. Whatever. Cool, Clint. My father was such a coward, wasn't he? But after they got married, my, my father never, but... Wait, holy smokes. I need a drink of water. I'm losing it. After they got married, my father never had to hide his love to my mother. And they showed it off every day in front of their son. Bro, why are you speaking in the third person, little bro? Look at this smile. I was actually kind of looking forward to this kind of life. I wish I could see the face of my love every day. Bro, is it, does he love his mother? You, Kafka. What? <laughs> I'm so confused. Bro, the incoherent rants. Bro, we haven't even gone on a date. Bro, that is actually my live reaction right now. Dot, dot, dot. Bro, why are you looking like that? Well, um, it's getting late. You still have work to do? I'll walk you out. He shot his shot. Oh, there's more. Oh, Alex is here. Hey, Wallagug. How's your day? My day's great. Thanks for asking, Alex. Ice cream. Ice cream stand only opens during summer. Why am I happy about that? I should be sad. I'm on ice cream, dude. What the hell? The feeling. <laughs> Wait, yes. oh. This feel. Wait, I need to put on some sad music. This feeling of heartbreaking. Why do I hate to see Wallagug smiles to other people? That really, that really, I'm tearing up. Okay, never mind. We're done with that. Take another gift. I've never had this feeling even seeing Shane- Emily talk to Shane. Holy smokes. Is this a Yandere mod? I thought this was just a normal dating one. The weather is warming up. Actually, I don't like to work by the furnace in such a hot day. Yeah. Okay, buddy. Drink more water during the summer. Take care of yourself. Don't get heat stroke. Thanks, Clint. I think I'll actually follow that. Where is Clint keeping all these Aquamarines? Honestly, we haven't seen them like in his room. Is he just like smashing them? I don't know. I hope he's treating them with the utmost respect because, you know, I spent a lot of time grinding those up. Sorry for looking a little messy. I'm working up the furnace all morning. Do you need anything or do you just want to visit? I wanted to give you your daily aquamarine. You know me. Oh, it's Sunday today. What plans could I have on my own? All right, that's all. Just got to throw that up every time he says something kind of emo. All right, oh my god, eight hearts, guys. Guys, big news. We can start dating Clint. Holy smokes, no way. We need to enter the town from the bus stop. It needs to be sunny. I have to have seen the four heart event and have not seen Emily's makeover event and not married to her. Okay, perfect. That's easy. You know how it goes. Just simply pulled some strings. I know a guy. All right. So we need it to be 18 o'clock. So 6 p.m. And if we go in here, nice. Wally Gug, you, you're here? Yeah. I, well, I was going to invite Gulp f f for dinner. When I were here, I suddenly got scared and didn't know what to say. Dot, dot, dot. What did you say? If I speak for myself. Wait, what? What did you say? If I speak for myself, you will never come to my shop? Normally, I can kind of decipher what they're trying to say, but I really actually don't understand this time. What would you say? If I speak for myself, she will never come to my shop? Something like that? Probably something like that. Murmur. I can't see. You often then? I said nothing. Okay, I'm sorry. This dialogue is actually incomprehensible. Yo, Wallyga, Clint, what are you talking about? Bro, why is he just having a full-on convo with himself right now? Wow! Wallaga, calm down! Uh, okay, I will just do it. Well, dinner. I. You hear a sound of your heart breaks. What? Whose heart? My heart? Clint's heart? I'm so confused. <laughs> what is happening? Whose heart? Are we jealous? I guess he's asking Emily out, not you? Oh yeah, cue the music. I hear a sound of your heart breaks. Didn't Clint say... You will give up with Emily? Wallygug, where are you going? What? You don't want to interrupt the date of me and Emily? I was trying to ask you out. Dot, 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 dot. Damn it. I shouldn't say that yet. Well done, Clint. <laughs> Wait, what? Why? Why? I'm so... Why is Emily just here now? Like, she's just been watching this whole thing. 
what is going on? <laughs> yeah, Clint was ask guying us how to ask you for dinner, Wally Gug. But he was so hesitant, so making us worried about him. So we came up to see what what was the situation what the situation was. Looks like Clint finally did it. Now it's all about Wally Gug. Wally Gug, would you like to have dinner with me? Great! Then, let's go! Wow, okay, that was easy. It didn't give me an option. <laughs> I totally would have said no. You had a wonderful dinner at Saloon with Clint. Huh. He literally didn't even give me an option, true. Might be because of the alcohol you could feel your heart beats when having eye contact with him. Yeah, I'm probably just really drunk. I was drunk. Was I? Wait, why is my hair glowing? Oh, because I'm t I am drunk. Okay. Okay, guys. I don't really care about Clint that much. I'm just drunk, apparently. So let's just move on from that. Apparently, it's no big deal. Oh, wait. I have to start dating him. Oh, it's too late. No, I have okay. I have to buy it tomorrow. That's fine. Oh, my God. Look who's here. Look who's showing up. Hey, Wally Gug. How do you like the dinner last night? Oh, he's getting... He's still a little drunk. He's learning his speech a bit. I'm glad you liked it. Well, I was wondering. Why did you run away so suddenly like that? Thought I was asking Emily out so you were j j j jealous? Sorry for making you upset, but I want you to know that I... I'm not into her anymore. Clint holds your hands tight. Next time, let's go somewhere else, okay? Yeah, dude, let's go to all the other restaurants in Stardew Valley. There's so many, guys, totally. <laughs> well, let's go see if he wants to date us. I feel like I'm reading a Wattpad fan fiction story, honestly. You can't date Clint. What? I'm gonna restart the day, I think. Oh, nice! Okay, perfect! Crisis averted. You want to get more serious? I feel the same way. I'm kind of nervous, aren't you? Wally Gug, take this. You, I literally just gave you one, bro. You know what a bouquet means, don't you? Bro, I can't. I can't get over his face. Look at his face. He's like actually like shocked. Okay, sorry. Anyways, you know what a bouquet means, right? Guess I'll never know. <laughs> All right, let's give him the ruby and the aquamarine. How many hearts will we get? This ruby is so beautiful. Perfect. I can finally. Anyway, thanks for your help. Okay, what is he finally going to do? Place your bets. What has he been waiting to do with that ruby, guys? It's so hot today, so I bought you an ice cream. It's so hot today. Really? I mean, I guess it can be hot in rain, but generally not not typically. Guys, someone in my Discord just suggested I make a Clint body pillow. Would you cop? Would you cop? Be honest, guys. Would you purchase? Invest, if you will. Oh my god, 10 hearts. Let's go. Oh wait, guys, wait, we're 10 hearts. We can marry him. Oh wait, let's check out the cutscene first. I almost forgot. Whoopsies. You will receive a letter from Clint. The day will end in this event. Okay. Oh my god, wait, it's raining. We can buy the thing. Let's go. Let's grab this thing, and then we'll just do the Clint event. Oh my god, I cannot resist picking this all up. So satisfying. All right, give me the pendant. Bye. There we go, nice. Then let's see if we got the mail, because we do need to get the mail. Okay, that's the one we needed. Meet me in front of my house after it gets dark? Yo, okay. We're cooking, I think. I think we're going somewhere. Okay, so we got the letter. It needs to be seven o'clock. Okay, it's time. Wally Gug, sorry for making you come out so late, but I want to talk this with you alone. He's thinking big. He's thinking, he's thinking a lot. It's a little cold out. Let's go in my room and talk about this. Wally Gug, you know that, right? What? What do I know? What am I supposed to know? <laughs> my father was a blacksmith. My grandfather was a blacksmith. Even my great-grandfather was a blacksmith. Okay, I do knew that. I do knew that. I mean, know that. Um, <laughs> said, he said the line. He said the line. I mean, <laughs> my grandfather made this ring by his own hand long ago for my great-grandmother and passed over to every generation. He's thinking again. When I had this, there was a ruby missing. Luckily, you found a perfect one to repulse it. I put it in my great-grandmother's ring. Oh my god, guys, he's gonna do it. Wallygug, now I want to give this to you. <laughs> Except that's too much of value to accept. Here's the thing. I would just decline it and then I would reload the day, but the it said that it auto saves. So I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm feeling one. I'm feeling one. You know, we're trying to be nice to Clint. I'm, I'm trying to be nice. You know, I'm accepting it. Yeah, we'll accept it. We'll accept it. You know, we'll be a little bit nice. What the freak? Great. Aw, heart. Wally Gug, I heard this ring can protect you when you're in danger. Wait a second. Let's fact check him real quick. Ooh, Clint, Clint, you're a liar. Increases my attack by 10%. Doesn't protect me. What are you talking about, buddy? Don't lie to me. Not a good look, Clint. Not a good look. Should have declined it 100%. Yeah, no, he's, if he's gonna lie to me like that. Yikes. Best defense is a good offense? I don't know, man. I don't know. Now I want you to have it. Clint put the, puts this ruby ring on your ring finger, but it's a bit large. Drats! I was so dumb. I made a mistake on your size. Oh, I don't mind. You know, Emily's fine. I mean, me is fine. You like me being dumb? <laughs> yeah, dude, I love my men dumb. Wally Gug, I like everything about you, though. <laughs> what, what, he's gone! He disappeared! <laughs> he's gone! <laughs> 
gone, bro. Where did he go? Dude, he was uh not <laughs> feeling it. You know, if he didn't want to kiss me, he just had to say. He doesn't have to literally despawn from reality. The ring fell off from your finger in the evening, but you didn't care. <laughs> Wait, I didn't care? <laughs> at all <laughs> like not even a little i feel like you should care yeah because sorry <clears throat> because you and clint had something more important to do wait what 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 do they mean by that huh i guess we'll never know what they meant by that cool oopsie daisy i literally don't have the ring it's actually just gone well we went out to dinner again yeah yeah, yeah. we went out to dinner again nice true i love going out to dinner i love how like you can have the cutscene. and they're like like character i love you so much i could never leave you and then like if you don't have an upgraded house they're like you know not feeling it hell no i only want you for your money Dot, dot, dot. I accept. I'll set up everything. We'll have the ceremony in three days. Guys, we did it. I never thought I'd get married someday. Thank you for willing to live with me. I love you, Wally Gug. Aww, that's so sweet. Well, let's sleep three days, eh? Oh yeah, and after we get married, stick around because there's more. There is absolutely more. Wait, wait, he's not, bro, he didn't show up and he's what, bro, ain't no way, skull, blah, 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 blah. We've all read this. We've all read this. We've all read this. You may kiss. Bruh. Bro really didn't show up. He's just in the audience. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. He's next to Emily. <laughs> Ain't no way Clint about to cheat on me. Wait, will he disappear again? <laughs> Why is this happening? Cool. All right, when are the next events? Because we got to keep making friends with him. I want to see the next ones. So 11 hearts. Uh, We'll hit that pretty quick, I reckon. Room reveal. Oh my gosh, wait. Yeah, you're right. Oh my god, are you guys ready? Room... Honey? What? Is he good? <laughs> Anyways, guys, so let's go see what his room looks like. <laughs> oh my god, he has a cat. <gasps> no way, it's so cute. Aw, they're hanging out together. That's so sweet. Oh my god. Wait, that's actually wholesome. Guys, Clint gives you a second cat? <gasps> Oh my god, wait, he might actually be a winner. Maybe he's not so bad. Well, I was kind of hoping to like give him a gift today, but uh, maybe he'll have walked out of the walls by tomorrow morning. Thank God. Yes, this is exactly what I've been looking for. I didn't like the Moonlight Jellies Festival, but now everything's different. This guy doesn't like the Moonlight Jellies Festival. Have you heard the music, Clint? Literally the best, the best music. It's so good. Cause I have you by my side tomorrow night. Riz, okay, true, big Riz. I'm actually shocked he doesn't like that music. I didn't think there was anyone who didn't like Moonlight Jellies. Good lunch with <laughs> Good lunch with your work. I'll miss you. Thanks, Clint. Appreciate you, buddy. How we're not at 11 hearts yet. How about now? Nice. Okay, time for his 11 heart cutscene. Star drop saloon on a Friday. There we go. Now it's a Friday. How do I upgrade my tools now? Wait, true. That's gonna be so annoying. I didn't even think about that. Mary, if he was actually a marriage candidate, that's actually, wait, that's probably why. Have you guys noticed you can't marry any shopkeepers? That's probably totally why. That is totally why. Because you don't want them to like never be, you, you don't want them to like never be at a store. Interesting. I bet he's still at the shop. You guys think? There's no way, right? Wait, let me set the time so I can start walking there. I don't think they need to be there. Oh my God. That was so loud. Jesus. Since when does it do that? It, like piled all the lightning out at the same time. That actually scared me so bad. I actually jump scared me. <laughs> the game punished me for cheating. Honestly, yeah, I'm sorry. Hopefully no one's like trying to fall asleep, like relaxing to the to the sound of the stream. God was not happy. Yeah, God is angry at me for marrying Clint. <laughs> Jeez. All right, cutscene time. Cheers. Cheers. Aw, he's so happy. Wait, I actually wasn't paying attention. I, yo, bro, what is going on? Emily is not happy. Emily is not okay. Does Emily look okay? <laughs> oh my god. Maybe Emily took Clint getting married more harder than we thought. Okay, well, I just can replace her now if she's bugged. We haven't drank together for a really long time. All because Clint never come to saloon after he got married. True. Stupid Clint. Hate that guy. Don't say that. I just want to be home when Wally Gag comes home back. Wait, I, okay, no, that was not even the mod's fault. That was 100% my bad. I just stuttered so bad. I just want to be at home every night when Wally Gag comes back. Honey! Oh my god, he actually sprinted. Feeling tired today? I will make something good to eat later when we get home. Dot, dot, dot. I wonder when I can get married, seeing how happy Clint is now. Bro, maybe we need to marry Marnie next. Why don't you go ask Lewis about that? What? What did you say? Oh my god. Willie just called him out. Well, he, he, he. Clint, let's continue. No problem. 
Like how exclamation points is so funny. <laughs> we had a great time together with Willie and Marnie, but Marty seemed something was on her mind. So what was going on in there, Emily? What was what was going on? Why were you in the counter out of curiosity? She's not going to tell me. Well, time to go for the 12-hour one. Oh, he's back in the walls. Nice. I like how you can give gifts every day when you're married. Because I, I, I was thinking to myself, it would be really weird if the game limited you to two gifts a week when you married someone. It's so dumb. Okay, 12 hearts. Where do we have to do? What do we have to do? 12 hearts, farmhouse, is upgraded farmhouse two or three times. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Attention, the day will end at this event. Okay, so if I just set this to 10 p.m. and go back in, he is gonna be asleep because... Wait, did I decay? I totally decayed. Yeah, I decayed. Okay. If you're going to work, try not to miss me. Oh, I will not miss you. Yeah, I won't. Sorry, buddy. Bruh. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna cheat, whatever. Well... 10 p.m. Did I decay again? No, it's 12 hearts. What am I missing? Oh, I guess I've technically only upgraded it once. No, okay, that makes sense, actually. That's fair. Okay, I need to upgrade the farmhouse again. For some reason, I was thinking that, like, the first one counted, so I, like, have a house level two or something. I don't know. And what do I need to upgrade? Is it just money? I don't remember, honestly. Oh, I need wood or hardwood. Alrighty, let's sleep till it's done. Any day now? All right, nice. Got the achievement. Um, we will turn it till to 10 p.m. Go in, and we got a cutscene going. Okay, Wally Gug. Yeah, I live with you, buddy. Oh, he didn't disappear. Let's go. You want to talk before we go to sleep? Do Do you know what time it is now? I almost fell asleep while I was waiting for you to come home. Yes, I'm a little mad. Sorry, dear. I shouldn't come back so late. You won't forgive me, even I am so cute. Just kiss him. Don't say anything. What are we feeling, guys? One, two, or three. I'm feeling maybe two. I'll do two. You think you are cute enough to do anything you want? You think that I will forgive you? Oh my god, wait. Holy sm He's actually going off on me. He's actually mad. Wait, I thought he was being like goofy. Wait, he's actually going off. Also, yeah, I'm literally kissing him already. Yes, that easy. Bruh. You know, I can never get mad with you. Okay, he's not actually mad. Who knows how much I love you? Oh, he's gone again. Please don't get home so late like that. I will be worried about you. You know that. Huh. Wally Gug, what do you want to tell me? Just whisper to my ear. You cuddled with Clint and talked all night long. Then you greeted the morning sun together. Did we adopt a baby? Sure. Nice. Oh, that was wholesome. You know, we all need a little of that. You know, it's wholesome. Uh, okay. And then the second 12 heart event, Mountain Sunny, the third year. I have to go all the way to the third year. Jeez. Okay. It's the third year. It's gotta be sunny though. Oh my God. The adoption age. Guys, what do I name the kid? Oh, Parsnip. Yeah, we should do Parsnip. You're right. Parsnip. That was going to be the cat name, but I accidentally scammed the donator. We're going to do Parsnip. Eight o'clock, Mountains Sunny, the third year. Easy. Go to the carpenter shop. Is that just going to trigger right away? It will. Okay. Nice. Let's go again. It's nice to take a walk here occasionally, isn't it? Yes, this is where we had our first our first meeting. Wallygug, you've been in Pelican Town for three years already. Yeah, time really flew. Time really flew. It felt like it felt like it was just one click. Remember the first time we met? I never thought we could end up like this. I always thank you for what you brought to me, but today I want to thank your grandpa. Bruh. If your grandpa didn't left you Emily. Oh my god, because my farm's named Emily. We would never come to this town. We would never meet. We'd never get to know I each other. Never fall in never fell in love. Never get married. Now I can stand by you. All because of your grandfather. Thank you, Grandpa. <sighs> Suddenly, there's a voice whisper through your and Clint's ears. What? Thank you as well, Clint. What? Guys, Grandpa pulled up. This is G -G -G Grandpa. What? <laughs> He's just here. <laughs> Yo, Clint, I've been watching you, my grandson, seeing how much you love him. Oh, yeah, I forgot I'm technically a dude. Now with you by Walgag's side, I can rest assured. Walga Clint, I will be become a star from now on and guarding you both. I wish you be I wish you will be happily ever after. Huh. Thank you for your wish. We will love each other until the end, Grandpa. That was a grandpa jump scare. Wow. Well, that's 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 it, guys. And since that was the live stream, I didn't say time for the ratings. So time for the ratings. Okay, uh, likability. <laughs> Let's be real. Like like a 3.5 out of 10. Cutscenes, 10 out of 10. They're so unbelievably funny. And then, uh, oh wait, I, I didn't do a room review. Okay, room review, quick, right now. Okay, time, time for a quick room review. We got bench, um, okay, a dresser. He's got some blacksmith aprons, some magazines, a sword, and a nice picture of his mother. Uh, the essential blues. Okay, he's into blues, he's emo. Oh. <laughs> Dear Emily, I know you only think of me as a friend. It's my fault. I'm too shy. I'll never have the courage to tell you the truth. That's why I'm writing this letter to myself that I'll certainly crumple up and toss in the corner. Oh my god, he did it. It's not crumpled up, though. Then he's got a bed. Okay. Um, 4 out of 10. Garbo. That leaves him uh, with 5.8 out of 10.
God damn, he was carried by those modded cutscenes. First up, we have Alex. Alex is a semi-arrogant jock that likes to hang out on the beach, throw footballs around, hang out with his dog, with his major aspiration of being a professional athlete when he's older. He's like a semi-hated character for honestly like two reasons. That he says some weird comments towards the character when you're a girl. I throw a football around with you if you weren't a girl, which is pretty off-putting comment, I'm not gonna lie. However, that's not really where it ends. A very creative comment is when he asks the female character if they own a bikini. Bro. I honestly think it's kind of just, he's not for you if you aren't into like the classic jock stereotype, but hey, too much talking. Let's see if he's truly the misogynist champion that he seems like he is. It's time for, um, as, as Leap a lot said, himbo misogynist. Let's, let's see if that's, let's see if that's true. We got him, we got him a complete breakfast. To be quite frank, I've, I've never seen an NPC with less options to, to give gifts to. Like, it's honestly quite shocking. I, I think he probably is literally the NPC with the least options. Alex lives pretty close. He's just right in here with George and Evelyn. Don't mind if I do. Hey, what's going on? He stands right here, nice. Hey, awesome, I love this stuff. Oh, hey, so you're the new guy, huh? Cool. See you around. Sure thing, Alex. I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of each other. One thing I won't be able to like show purely because I'm on a, a dude character, not a, not a, a women, a women, a woman, is that one dialogue where it's like, "I throw a ball around with you if you weren't a girl." So it's, it's, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be an entirely accurate portrayal of his character. You know, he, he's he's got a bit more negatives in some in some aspects. You could argue. Also, wait, I just realized I got into their house at 8.30. Does their house open extra early? Damn. Alex might be, like, super convenient to marry. Like, very, very fast. 8 a.m., okay. Hello. Bro, he's got the football wallpaper. No, no, sorry, we'll get to that. I can't, I can't. Hey, awesome, I love this stuff. My arms are really sore, but that's a sign of progress for a guy like me. Must have done a thousand push-ups yesterday. God damn. He's, he, he fit as hell. Impressive. So, as, as you guys know... Alex's main ambition in life is to be a pro a pro sports player. Now, some people might say, well, you know, he, he only, he's only got one thing going for him in life. He just wants to be a sports player. But no, that's a good thing. He's, he's motivated. He's motivated for something, and, and he's clearly putting in a lot of work towards it, which I, I respect. I, I commend. But once again, I've also, like, not seen anything on Alex, so I'm super curious. Are, his heart, all, are all of his hard cutscenes just gonna be like us, us tossing a football around? Hey, what? You wanna talk to me? I'm busy. Freak you then, man. I, I wish I could take that complete breakfast back. You don't deserve it, man. Hey, awesome. I love this stuff. Oh, no, no. Do you know I was an all star quarterback in high school? It's true. See this little star in my jacket? That proves it. Why does little bro just carry around a football on him at all time? Literally whipped it out just so he could talk about it randomly. It's messed up. Yeah, we have to we have to skip all the way to summer. I, I think he needed he needed to be on the beach, so I'm I think I had to skip. But if not, there's no harm. Oh, he's going. Oh, I didn't mean whatever. Summer is definitely best time of the year. Right now, it's great because I got the whole season to look forward to. Catch you later. Yeah, okay, Alex. Freak you, man. Okay, if I walk in, cutscene. Oh, he's he's tossing the ball around. He's having a blast. Look at him go, playing catch with himself. Oh hi. He's pondering. He's thinking. What's going on? Um, it's a while ago, right? I was like, what the hell did you just say to me? I guess I must have typed out an A-N. Here enjoying this great weather, Wally Gug. Hmm. Hey, go long! <laughs> I'm not- that is not long, bro. No way you missed that, bruh. That was like two meters. Nice try. I don't even get the ball, I just leave it there, okay. I'm gonna be the first professional grid ball player from Stardew Valley. There's no doubt in my mind. I already led my school's team to the regional playoffs. Now I'm just training and getting stronger so I can claim my spot on the roster of the Zuzu City Tunnelers. You just wait! I believe. No, I believe. I believe. Thanks, Wallagug. I'll remember that. Interesting. So, once again, it seems like the main thing he's got going on is that he wants to be a pro sports player. Which is fine, because it's good to have goals and ambitions, but like, you know, he seems like kind of a 1D character. Sports. It's just sports. Sports, sports, sports. So what the hell is the difference between grid ball and football? Or sorry, what's the difference between grid ball and American football? I know I got that European audience, and I'm gonna get some comments if I don't say it correctly. If my hair wasn't so popular with the ladies, I'd swear I'd share it, shave it off in a second. Sigh, life can be tough. You need, to, you need to stop speaking to me right now. Leave. Leave. 
Go on. Thank you. All right, room review. He's got a random ass chair. He's got Pro Grip All Season 44 Stats and Sandin's book. Mega Muscles Magazine, Dealing with Loss. 30 pound weight, that's pretty impressive. That's quite a lot of weight. Protein bars in the garbage can. Another random stool, a couple of stools. It's a grid ball. I think that's a football concern day, actually. He keeps the helmet nice and polished. Looks like he's got a whole bunch of motivation posters up on the wall. Some notes. And then the drawer, there's clothes, hair gel. Pack of grid ball trading cards. Okay, not a, eh, it's an okay room. It's an okay room. It's an okay room, it's not bad. It's not bad, it's not the worst. Okay, we, 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 were four, we were like one friendship away from four hearts. And now we're four hearts. And if I wait 10 minutes, oh no, didn't even have to wait. If I walk into the town. That's a good boy, Dusty. I forgot about Dusty. You might be the only one around here who understands me. No one else has seen the kind of stuff you and I have. Jesus Christ, you having war flashbacks? What's going on, man? Let me get, yeah, I knew it. I was about to pop up from behind the saloon, dude. Wally Guck, did you overhear me talking? Yes. Yes, I heard everything. Oh, he's, oh, wrong answer. I don't really like to talk about it, but I guess I'll explain. Have you ever wondered why I live with my grandparents? Well, you see, my father wasn't a good guy. He, well, he ruined everything for me and my mom. Half the time he was gone, the other half he'd drink, the, he'd drink all night and tell me I'm worthless and that I'd never amount to anything. I think he resented me for being young. Bitter because he wasted his youth doing nothing and he'd gotten nowhere in life. Well, that's my take on it anyway. Who knows what was going on in his mind. One day he left and soon after that, mom got sick and passed away. I had no choice but to move in with my grandparents. You seem like someone I can trust. That's why I'm telling you this, Wally Gug. I don't want any sympathy. If there's one good thing about my past, it's that it made me strong. Now let me show you what Dusty will do for a barbecued steak. He just pulled it out of nowhere. Look at him slobbering. I think he might like steak as much as I do. That was the most horrifying sound I've ever heard come out of Stardew Valley. Oh my god. Sir Dave, where do you get that sound effect from, man? No offense if that's your dog and you love him very much. That is a scary ass sound effect, I'm not gonna lie. Here you go. Hey farm guy, I got a question for you. Do you think I'll ever turn pro? Maybe if you practice a lot, yes. Yeah, well I'm so good I'm not gonna have to practice all that much. Is this guy freaking stupid? I think so. What are you talking about, dog? Five hearts. What do you want? I got more important. You're just freak you, man. Go ahead, man. Go ahead and exit your house, buddy. Have a good time, too. I hope you really do. I really hope you do. Oh, another cutscene. I didn't even realize. Oh, he's sad. It's late at night. He's sad. Sigh. Oh, hi, Wally Gug. Huh? What's wrong? What's wrong, Alex? What's, what's going on, buddy? Can I help? Can I assist as a friend? Look at all these books. I haven't even read a single one. Just the thought of cracking one open makes me nervous. But you can't make a decent living in this world without a brain. I'm worthless. We all have our strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, I guess you're right. <gasps> Wait a second. Well, I'm not gonna give up. Now, dude, you gotta apply your same attitude about, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. If you work hard, you can do anything. Hey, maybe one day we'll have a dinner and discuss philosophy. Isn't that what you smart people talk about? Oh, oh, oh. God, oh my God, I'm hardcore laughing, Jesus. Philosophy, philosophy. Sounds like the British way to say it. Sorry, British people. Mmm, I smell barbecue. Damn, I could go for a burger. Okay, Alex. Thanks for that enlightened piece of dialogue. Here he is. Will he have rude dialogue today? Place your bets. Wow, your shoes are a little dirty, but that's fine too. Different people have different tastes, I guess. Freak you, man. It's just a way of you calling my shoes ugly. Oh, we're, we're, we're on another, we're, we're in another grind set. He's grinding. Hey, I was just doing my daily strength training routine. Sorry, I have no shirt on. It's fine, dude. I walked into your room. I can't really be like complaining when I, I, I chose I chose to be in here. Hey, uh, well, I got we need to talk to you about something. Well, I've started to realize that I've been really rude towards you in the past, you know, about going pro and all that. True, he has been. He's right. I guess I might not actually be cut out for professional sports. Maybe it's just a childish dream, you know? Anyway, I want to apologize to you for bragging and being annoying about it. I should appreciate it that you stayed friends with me throughout all that. Back to pumping iron even 10 times faster. Dude's a grinder. Okay, I just spammed him with eight hearts because I think he's going to the beach right now. So if he does, I can get that cutscene right away. Oh my, I keep blocking him. I'm sorry. Let me get out first. Let me get out first. Oh, that's the way he goes. Whoops. Sniff. Oh, dude, all these cutscenes are just having such a rough time, man. Poor little guy. I feel bad for him. Ah, Wally Gug. You saw me crying. It was today, 
12 years ago that my mom died. I still remember her well. She'd make salted radish sandwiches for lunch and toss the grid ball with me in the backyard. She took good care of me and I was too young to really say thanks. Now she's gone forever. This is the only keepsake I have left. Her secret music box. Oh, I don't have the music on, God damn it. Aww, old Alex is so cute. I feel, I feel bad for this guy. So what are you thinking about right now, Wally Gug? I'll always be here for you if you get lonely. Thanks, Wally Gug. You, you're different than the other guys. More sensitive. I'm glad. Well, there's no sense sitting around sniveling. Let's head back to town. Um, hey Wally Gug, don't tell anyone I was crying, okay? God damn, I'm ending every cutscene just like laughing at this guy. <laughs> Hey, he big bad. I'm about to ruin his rep. Hey, nice tan. Thanks, man. Been working hard on it. Enjoying the thunder as I head into Alex's house. Here you go. Word of warning, my grandpa really hates clay. I learned that one the hard way. Yep, I too give my grandpa clay and he hates it. Oh, we're eight hearts. I can give a bouquet. I almost forgot. Don't ask me where I got it. I'm kind of nervous. Nope. Denards. And 11 hearts, okay. You know, I actually wouldn't mind being a farmer. It seems a lot like playing sports, in a way. I like being outdoors and doing things with my hands. I mean, I guess kind of similar. I was about to say that is not at all similar, but that's kind of similar. All right, we've summoned another mermaid pendant from uh, from midair. Ooh, he accepts. Yahoo, I can't wait to see the 14 heart event. <gasps> He's gonna follow me? They always like follow you out ominously. Hey, Wallagug, before you head out, I hate to ask this, but can I, can I have 5,000 G? For a secret project I'm working on, I know we have a joint bank account, but I thought I should ask anyway. Yes, 5,000. Great, swing by the saloon on Sunday and I'll show you the end result. Oh, I'm so freaking excited. All right, so Alex is right there. Is he gonna teleport over to the saloon? I freaking know, video game. Oh wait, it's Gridball. There we go, a boy. Damn, they just high five. Hey, Wallagog, you made it. So, what do you think, huh? I don't even like Gridball, why am I here now? <laughs> I've been thinking, you know how I used to dream of being an athlete someday? Well, my life ended up turning out a bit different. I'm happy though, don't get me wrong. But I thought it would be cool to have a place where us guys could hang out and watch the Sunday game. Gus liked the idea so much, he offered me part of his back room. This way I get to keep part of the dream alive in a small way. That's actually really sad. He ditched his dream. Just for me. That's messed up, bro. I'm sad. You did good, son. I could watch this at home, but coming here makes me feel young again. Thanks, Grandpa. Happy for an excuse to get out of the house and take my mind off things. He looked very depressed in that. I'm having a lot of fun, and it's good for business. Though maybe not so good for Shane's liver. What the? Seems like the guys have a new Sunday tradition. 5,000 G well spent. Wow. Very cool. Well, uh, here, here are the ratings, I guess. Likeability? 6 out of 10. He starts off a little bit rude, I can't even lie, and it's not a totally fair comparison since I played as a male character, so we didn't see the really weird lines. Room rating, eh. Lots of stuff, which is nice. Let's say a solid 7 out of 10. Cousins, I'd probably say 5 out of 10 to be honest. Not in love with them. Elliot. Elliot is a dude that lives peacefully down on the beach in his one rune cabin. Honestly, not hating on this part. This room is actually super badass. Anyways, his main hopes and dreams is becoming a famous author and writing a banger novel that the whole world will enjoy. He's hit or miss once again, like most characters in the game. A lot of people tend to think he's kind of pretentious, but that could just be because of his kind of flowery language on this one weird cutscene where he calls Gus bartender instead of his actual name. Maybe he's not that bad. Could be my next favorite. Let's find out. Right, it's time for Elliot. And uh, to be honest, a bit of a hater of Elliot, but you know, that that's, that's not... That's not totally fair. But I have no idea when Elliot comes out, so it's probably gonna be a medium struggle in the early days. Cause like he leaves around 12, so. Just chill, we'll chill. Hello, here he is, the man himself. This is a beautiful gift, thank you. Hello, I hope your new farming life is panning out as you planned. Nice pun. You can pan, good one Elliot. You know, you can, you can tell a lot from the guys just by how they say thank you to your gift. Like this is a beautiful gift. You know, he's more, he's more in touch with his emotional side, you know? Very, very cool, I think. The, the main criticisms of Elliot, at least that I see, but honestly, it's mainly positive, except my stream chat. For some reason, my stream chat absolutely despises Elliot, is that he's kind of like pretentious. But I think, I literally just think that's because he's a writer. And like, it's, if you're a writer, it's kind of hard to not come off as pretentious. You can't write like a ninth grade writing level. You gotta write like high quality, you know what I mean? So it's, it's difficult because 
more advanced higher quality writing is more pretentious just because it can't appeal to an as wide audience but that, that that's not necessarily a bad thing because you know you can't make everything appeal to everyone at the same time sometimes you do need to get a little bit more a bit more niche a little bit more specific so you know the allegations could be true but not necessarily even a bad thing also he doesn't leave this house at all during a rainy day so i need to go back home let's see what he has today i know that a major part of your story with him is writing a book so i'm, I'm actually very excited about that Beautiful gift. A great idea can pass through your head when you least expect it, but if your mind is too busy, you might miss it. Well, I really must get back to my work. No problem, man. I'm, I'm, I'll go back to mine, too. That's actually true. That's pretty insightful. Because if you're always too scatterbrained to actually focus in on thoughts, then you'll either think of an amazing idea and forget it, which is why you always write down every idea you have. I feel like I've definitely, like, been falling asleep, thought of a banger video idea, didn't write it down, and like that was the video idea that would have gotten like 10 million views on my channel. But oh well, what can you do? Dude, I've started just rejecting every cat in the game out of pain. Because I can't get a cat in real life. And it hurts. It's, it's like, it's a little knife into my heart every single time. Accepting a cat and hearing the cute little mousing game. Hello, are you coming? Any day now. Here he is. The forest is a wonderful place. Have you been there? Yes, the beach is also pretty nice. I've been around all of Stardew Valley, don't worry. I want to get in. <gasps> Cutscene. <gasps> You shocked? Why am I? Why are you here? Waliga, come in. Welcome to my humble, well, shack. This is my writing desk. It's where I spend most of my time. For as long as I can remember, I've wanted to be a writer. Have I told you that? That's why I live out here by myself. I figured a lonely life by the sea would help me focus on my literary aspirations. Everyone back home said I was nuts, but I could never make it as a writer. Can you believe it? They said for every successful author, there's a thousand who fail miserably. Such pessimism. It's sickening. I can see it in your eyes, Wally Gug. You believe in me. That I've got the spark. What the? I, I, um, okay. Yeah, sure. True, yeah, yeah, true, true, true. You have the spark, Elliot. Good job. Now that's inspiring. That's what I'm looking for. <gasps> Question. What kind of book do you like? A mystery. I'm reading a mystery novel right now. It's really good. Mystery, huh? It's definitely an exciting genre. I'll remember that. So he's gonna write a mystery book, maybe? Well, enough talk about me. <gasps> hmm. You probably know a lot about plants, don't you? You could say that. Would you mind taking a look at this rose here? I'm afraid it's not doing so well. That's that's my expertise. Don't mind if I do. Red room review time. He's trying to grow a bonsai tree. It looks cool so far. That does look cool. Bonsai seems like a noble endeavor. He's got a book over here. I'm surprised a writer doesn't have a bookshelf. I think that's kind of strange, but whatever. If I play... Easter egg. That was a Stardew Valley theme song, if you couldn't quite tell. Anyways, back. So he's got a piano. He's a musician as well. Pretty cool. Got a nice humble little bed. He's got an empty cubby and a plant. Some sort of cube on the wall. It's a painting by Leah. Oh, nice. Mini palm imported from Calico Desert. And he's got the rose and his writing thing. Thanks for talking with me. I'll be thinking about what you said. Then uh, we can't quite read his books. Here, let me skip some time. Is he gonna leave? No, he's a grinder. We'll read what it says tomorrow. Let's see what Elliot's up to today. Here you are. It's nice of you to visit, no problem. You'll be seeing a lot of me. You probably wouldn't like it inside my cabin. It's dark and full of spiders. You got some nice natural light going. You got the little, little light bulb. It looks cozy almost. I'm getting tired just thinking about it. I probably wouldn't like living in a cabin like that though. I don't, I'm not a huge sand fan. I'm like neutral on sand. I think, I think it's nice sometimes in very, very small doses. You know what I mean? Sometimes when I lay in my bed, I can hear a distant foghorn cut through the rain. When I look out the window, I see only a curtain of gray. You could argue that's a pretentious thing to say. Does this guy ever leave his goddamn desk? I want to read the note, but he never leaves. Oh, well. At least he's easy to find for gifts, you know? Damn, he really likes me visiting. Sometimes... Back to back... Elliot. That's shameless. I'm so disappointed, I'm gonna give you another duck feather so we hit four hearts so I can see a cutscene to make me like you a little bit more. If I enter here, we get another cutscene. Oh, this might be the cutscene where uh, some pretentiousness might be revealed in Elliot. Hi, I'll take your order in a few moments. It's hanging out, having a good time. Pierre and Demetrius having a nice chat. Clint's all alone. And oh, enters Elliot. Here he comes. Hello, Wally Gug. What a pleasant surprise. I was just stopping in to relax after an eight-hour riding session. Bartender, tour your finest ales, please. Bartender. Oh, he's not. He's big mad. But he does his job. He swallows his pride. I'll admit it, Elliot, that doesn't look good on you. It's bad optics. There you go, sir. He hits him with the sir, not there you go, Elliot. 
Wait, I propose a toast. To your doom. Forget it. <laughs> My bad, yo. I, I was joking. Strong stuff. Oh. I'm drunk and Elliot's dancing. And I'm laughing, but I look horrifying because of my duck face. So that that's another that's another part that kind of like doesn't necessarily uh, argue against the pretentious allegations. The fact that he just he called Gus, who um, I'm I'm pretty damn sure like he knows his name and they like know each other because it's not like Pelican Town is a particularly small town. You know what I mean? So it's just, it's just kind of rude, you know? Like, you want to refer to someone you know of, just, like, just just because... Like, if, if you guys were, like, going somewhere, let's say you went to a bar or a restaurant, or, like, even a fast food place, and, like, you saw one of your friends, you wouldn't be like, Hello? Hello, keep? Hello, help? Can you please get me a burgers and fries, please? You'd be like, hey, how's it going, Joel? What's up, Joel? I, I didn't know you worked here. Nice to see you, man. Anyways, could I, uh, could I please have a, a burger and a milkshake? Please and thank you. You know, it's it's not like the worst thing in the world. Like, maybe he just wasn't thinking. And he did say that he lived in the city. So maybe, you know, maybe he's used to going to bars, like a new bar every night kind of thing, and like meeting a new bartender that doesn't normally know their name. So could just be old habits kind of rearing their heads unintentionally. Hello. Hello, Elliot. Oh, whoops. Okay, five hearts, I guess. The forest is a wonderful place. Yes, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. This bro is only got like four lines of dialogue. We can finally read this. At least work does. It's covered in notes and crumpled papers. Okay, that was not that exciting. You know what? We're literally if you got if you if you zoom in, we're literally one pixel off. So and uh, I think if I just leave and re-enter, I should get another one, right? Yeah, here we go. Oh, it's playing piano. God damn it! I should have turned on the damn music. Damn it! Don't put any music over this. Let's just stand here awkwardly for a while. So uh, how are you guys? How's your guys' day going? Whoever's that is thinking, just put your answer up in the corner. I'm sure the viewers want to know. They might be curious. Ah, here we go. Okay. Ah, I thought someone was there. You sensed it with your telepath. The C. That was wonderful. That was wonderful. I'm sure whatever he was playing was wonderful. Thank you. I'm not very good, but it's fun to play. Mr. Humble over here. Freaking pretentious. Just kidding. Sorry, I'm not a hater. I'm not a hater. I'm not hating. I'm respecting. I've been working day and night to try and finish my book. It's been driving me insane, Wally Gug. It's me trying to finish the damn video. An occasional tune is the only recreation I allow myself, except going to the bar. Okay, whatever you say, buddy. And there's too much work to do, and my bank account's starting to run dry. Sometimes I wish I could just throw it all away and become a farmer like you. Just as hard to be a farmer, you know. True. <gasps> You're right. That was an insensitive thing to say. Goddamn, he actually is shocked. Like, goddamn, you've changed my life. What I meant is that I'd like to get away from this dark, musty prison and experience a little bit of real life, that's all. Oh, he's sad now. So, playing it like this, I just need someone to talk to now and then. Interesting. So, Elliot, he feels like, he feels like trapped, you know? If, you, if you're always writing fiction, then nothing feels real. You're not living in the real world, especially when you're working that hard to get it done. But at the same time, you know, he's also following his passion, which I, which I respect. I, I really do. He's, he's, he's like Alex in a way, you know? Except his passion is a little bit less exciting. We're approaching romanceable territory. We're just a couple days off. I almost want to speed run a little bit more. Because the dialogue has been a uh, semi repetitive. No offense, Elliot. Dude, I can't. I, I just can't stop thinking about that um that waiter event. You know. Ah, uh, do not get too close to my hair with the torch. My bad, Elliot. There you go. That that'll be better, I'm sure. Hey, Elliot. Hope you enjoyed the redecoration. Don't mind me. Oh, well, like, I was hoping you'd show up. It's always a pleasure to see you. Definitely not like I've been showing up every single day since like the seventh. Don't get don't get too used to me. All right, I really want to see the conclusion of this novel, so I think I'm gonna really quick get up to eight hearts, and I think we'll get a little bit closer. So there we go. Let's see what he has to say. Hope you want to place this home. Hell no. Hope you're coming to think of my farm as home, because that's where we're gonna live. Hopefully, don't mind me and not cheating, buddy. There you go. Woohoo! All right, I need to go home and wait for a letter of sorts. It seems. Wally Gug, I have great news. My novel is finished. I'm giving out a public reading this afternoon at the library. Hope to see you there, Elliot. All right, we can head over at 1 p.m. and check out the book reading. I'm very excited. Because I unironically am a big fan of mysteries. I bought like three mystery books recently. 
Wallygug, you made it. I feel so relieved to be done with my book. It's like an elephant's been lifted off my shoulders. Well, I'd better get started with the reading. Wish me luck. Good luck, Elliot. Shout out. You know, it's kind of wholesome how everyone in Stardew Valley always gets together for these events. Good afternoon, everyone. Ever since I was a young boy, I've dreamt of becoming a writer. When the time came for me to leave home and start my own life, I moved here. I was drawn to the peaceful beauty of the valley and hoped that the days of quiet reflection in this idyllic atmosphere would fan the literacy flames. Okay, he has not been in pretentious allegations. After countless hours dribbling at my writing desk, I present to you the first book, Blue Tower. It's a mystery novel set in a surreal, dystopian future. Chapter 1. From the shadows emerged a man, radiating with energetic omniscience. Good evening, Mr. Lou, he said, at the corners of his mouth quivering. Lou seemed astonished. How did you know my name? That's all we get to know. Aww. Lou checked Jenny's pockets and then stood up and walked to the bedroom. He quickly found the small golden key that he was looking for and slipped it into his coat pocket. Well, that concludes my reading. I'll be selling signed copies of the book at the front desk. Thanks for listening. Wow, bro. Well, how was it? I liked it. I thought it was solid. Thanks. You know, I got the idea for making a mystery from you. Do you remember? That's why I've decided to dedicate this book to you. No freaking way. Elliot, that is too kind of you. To dedicate that much of your life's work to me is, is truly, truly too kind. Unless the book's a flop, then I'll be kind of sad that you did. But it won't be. It'll blow up. You're, you're gonna make it out of Pelican Town with that book for sure. Faux show. Here you are, Mr. Fired Hazard House. The sweet friction of pen and paper is the music to my soul. That's why I chose this beach as my home, so that I could have peace and quiet to do my work. Nice. Give him a couple more, and with this one, ten arts, best friends. And if I leave, and if we enter, and then leave, we get a cutscene. The ten hard one, to be precise. <gasps> hey, look, I fixed up that old rowboat that's been sitting up by my house. Pretty nice, huh? I do not care. Wallygug, would you do the honor of joining me for her maiden voyage? Yes, get in the boat. Oh, damn. So my book's been out for a while now. It's not a bestseller or anything, but it's getting some good reviews from the critics. And I really couldn't have finished it without your moral support. Actually, that's not true at all. I would have finished it either way. But I'm grateful that you believed in me, in my vision. And then, well, um, Wallygug, how do I say this? Well, we've been friends for a while now, but... I'm not sure if I feel that way about you anymore. What? He hates me. No, I'm not saying I want to cut ties with you at all. In fact, quite the opposite. Let's see, how do I put this? For once, I'm at a loss for words. <gasps> the boat's about to capsize. Wallygug, you're trembling. I'm happy. You're making me very uncomfortable. Stop. <laughs> I was worried you might not feel this way about another man. In, in the video game, I do. You'd be better head back before the Southern Wings wind pick up. Sure thing, Elliot. Look at the valley from here. It finally looks like... home. Sigh. What a day. What a beautiful cutscene. The waters were very nice. After that beautiful voyage of the ship, would you like to marry me? Awesome. Thank you, Elliot. Farm will be such a lovely place to write. I'm really looking forward to it. Who, hey, who said I could move? You can move in with me. Why you assume, bro? Why you assume? You have to, you have to keep living out here. And I'll visit you once a month. I'm too busy to have you around. You'll, you'll just be distracting me. The duck nose stays on during the wedding. Non-negotiable. Speed gift. Cutscene, Jermin. Time to hit a hit, take a hit of the cutscene, Jermin. I'm excited. Oh, here we go. Wally, I've just received the most exciting news. It's a very short notice, but I've been invited to do a reading tower for my book, The Blue Tower. Wow, I'm a proud husband. I'll be out of town for a week. Will you be okay? I'll be happy as a clam. I'll be sure to write to you every day. I'll miss you. I leave early tomorrow morning. I need to pack. Go, Elliot, follow your book dreams. I'm gonna empty my mailbox, that way I, I get all the, all the letters. Let's see if he wrote to me. He did. Wallygug, my love. I've just arrived in Grambleton to start the tour. I've forgotten how hectic the city is. The streets are packed with people. They either seem in a mad hurry or lost in a daze, unaware of their surroundings. I miss Pelican Town already. I began the tour this evening at a local bookstore. I must admit, I'm becoming a bit nervous at the thought of public speaking. My stomach feels as if it's been twisted into a soft pretzel and doused with spicy cheese dip. Wish me luck. Love, Elliot. P.S. I hope you had a peaceful night and weren't scared all alone in that big house. Hey man, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a tough guy. 
My dear Wally Gug, my first reading went well, although the audience was a bit smaller than I'd hoped. Still, I sold enough copies of my book to pay for my bug-infested hotel room. In a few hours, I leave for Zuzu City. If yesterday's reading was a warm-up, this next one will be a true Napalm blast. I miss you very much. Remember to eat well. Oh, and don't forget the leftover crab cakes I put in the fridge. Love, Elliot. Crab cakes in the fridge? I'm gonna dig in. Mind if I do. Munch. My sweet Wally Gug, last night in Zuzu City was quite the experience. Seeing there's a large literary scene here, a few dozen people showed up to my reading. I even signed a couple of autographs. It's still strange to be seen as someone important. It's all a matter of framing, a grand illusion, for truly I am no one special. Only your devoted Elliot as always. Currently I'm alone in my whole team hotel room ingesting a Jojo Valley meal. Should this be called food or edible matter? Needn't long brood, it must be the latter. I look forward to returning home soon. Hope you enjoy the crab cakes. Love, Elliot. Crab cakes were delicious. Thanks, Elliot. In dreams, when graced with lofty view, I gaze upon the sunlit sea, what distant shores I've traveled to. But time now clouds my memory. There is but one eternal place where I shall someday pass beyond. In Valley Deer, where my love waits, our home besides the pond. I messed up the last line. Sorry, redo that. Cut that out, cut that out. Our little home beside the pond. My dear Wallygug, I won't bore you with any more details about my readings. They are mostly the same. I'm sure your time has been much more exciting. I can't wait to return and see what progress you've made. On the Lee's long travels between towns, I amuse myself by closing my eyes and envisioning the farm. I see kegs pulsing with sweet wine, a furnace emblazing with precious ore, and her living kitchen with the smell of nutmeg and cinnamon. There's a lot to enjoy. Just don't stay out too late in the mines, my love. It's dangerous in there. If you must go, bring plenty of food. Love, Elliot. He's gonna be very disappointed when he gets home. My dear Wally Gug, this will be the last letter before I return home. I've had a fine trip, though nothing too exciting. It's been nice to meet people and enjoy my work, but I'm eager to return home. I look forward to the comfort of our little house, the satisfying farm work, a home-cooked meal, and most of all, cozying into the flannel sheets with you. See you soon. Love, Elliot. Gug, I'm back. What the? Aww. Uh, I've missed you. One drop of the big city and I'm quenched. I much prefer being back here with you. Well, I guess it's back to the old routine once again. I've got some chores to catch up on. Yeah, that was pretty good. Well, here's the ratings. Likeability, 6.5 out of 10. I get why people like him. He simps for you. Pretty hardcore. Cutscenes, 7 out of 10. Room rating, 8.5 out of 10. The cabin is badass. So that's a 7.3. Out of 10. Harvey lives in the town clinic, and he's got a pretty clean record aside from the Geneva Convention violation, and as you might have guessed, he is the town's only doctor. He's the oldest bachelor, but has a kind heart and is fairly respected in town. Probably a decent call from the townsfolk, making enemies with the only doctor in town would be a shockingly stupid thing to do. He's very much a workaholic and is a pretty quiet guy overall, almost like he's hiding something. In the Reddit trenches, I encountered quite a few Harvey hate threads, but honestly, in all the comments, people were going to bat for this guy. One interesting thread I found was that he's like a creep since various things in the game point towards him having like a crush on Maru. He asked her if he wants sunscreen on her shoulders and if she was looking for someone to dance at the flower dance and some people thought that was kind of weird. One of those situations where it's like, he's 28, probably 19 or 20, classic legal but kind of weird argument. Serious discussion aside though, let's see what he's all about. All right. We're going for the forgotten NPC, Harvey. I swear to God, I literally don't even think about this guy, like ever. Like he's just kinda here sometimes, very rarely. In fact, when I was recording another video, I, I literally couldn't trigger a cutscene because I forgot he existed and forgot to get his friendship hearts up. So that kind of just shows like how little people remember, or sorry, at least I remember why do I, what the, that was a weird way to get on a chair. It's a stool technically, but yeah, he's, he's just kind of forgettable. We're gonna, we're gonna see what happens with him though. I don't necessarily dis, oh my God. I don't necessarily dislike him, but I don't know. Maybe he, he could be a bit more interesting, perhaps. Let's read some of the stuff on the walls. Don't spread disease, cover your sneeze. Wow, what a great motto. This clinic is licensed for medical practice by the Ferngill Republic Health Authority. That's good to know. Oh, hey, how's it going? Is life sometimes difficult? Do you ever have trouble staying focused? Talk to your doctor about Provoxylenone. Provoxylenone is not for everyone. Side effects may include insomnia, severe anger, uncontrollable swelling of the throat, permanent discoloration of the lips, hair loss, and stroke. In extremely rare cases, one in 500, test subjects experience complete desecration of one or more bones. Seems like a miracle product. Surprised it's not revolutionary. All right, the first, the first conversation. I've already said this tells a lot. This tells you a lot about a character. We sell a few over-the-counter medicines at the clinic. Feel free to stop by if you're feeling exhausted. I know that being a farmer is pretty tiring work. Don't overdo it. Wow, I'm blown away. 
This guy's bursting with life and character. What an interesting fellow. But you know, maybe maybe he's more interesting in his cutscenes and he's just, you know, um, he's just not interesting surface level. But like as you peer deeper, as you uncover the iceberg of Harvey's personality, he just gets more and more interesting, you know? Highly unlikely. But I suppose it's it's technically possible. I guess. I suppose. Looks like he comes out at around 11 o'clock every day. One handy thing is that his favorite gift is coffee, so I can drink coffee if I need to. He's got a nice little computer set up, very cool. Hey man, how's it going? Here you are. This is for me, it's my favorite stuff. It's like you read my mind. Classic Matthew McClowski ref reference, holy. Feel free to stop by my office if you're ever feeling ill. You pro you're young though, you'll probably stay healthy without trying. Yeah, you can tell by my healthy skin demeanor. Definitely not pale as a ghost. I don't even know what to do for his- normally I have like a rough idea of where to go for his people's first heart cutscenes, but I literally have zero clue for Harvey. Ooh, that is not where I expected it to be. That's a- that's a curious location, but we will- we'll find it out soon. I love scrolling, it's so fun. A little bit of ASMR for the- for the- the fellas watching at home. What am I at? Exactly one heart, so I can't let yet go in. Which means I have to keep waiting here. I feel like I'm, I'm like manifesting like a terrible accident for myself. Like one of these days I'm gonna end up non unintentionally. Remember to cover your mouth when you sneeze, then make sure to wash your hands. Dude, this guy like, he's not even like marryable. He's just like a doctor. He's not even a real person. Doctors aren't real people. True. Well said me. It's a fact. All right, classic little rain day. Sebastian's probably happy. Just kidding, Sebastian's probably not awake. What if there's like a medical emergency, Harvey? And your clinic isn't open. And I die. What if I died? What would you do? How would you feel about that? Come out here and tell me. Be honest, it's okay. I won't be heard, I promise. Two hearts. Nutrition is important, so make sure to eat well. Try to increase your vegetable intake. Home cooked meals are best. Do you cook? Harvey, I'm literally a farmer. You're talking to me about vegetables, are you kidding? I literally have a degree in vegetables. And if I go in here, we get a cutscene with Harvey and George. Don't know, ask me why I'm in here. Okay, George, I want you to take a deep breath for me. <sighs> Turn around, please. George, I'll be honest with you. You need to make some changes to your lifestyle if you want to stay healthy. I'd like you to reduce your sodium intake and try to get some moderate exercise with your arms. Oh, he's not. He doesn't want to improve his lifestyle. I know what's best for me. Who do you think you are telling me how to live my life? Dog, he is literally your doctor. He's literally your doctor. Do doctors like check for signs of dementia? I'm sorry, I shouldn't joke about dementia. Did he forget why this guy here, does he just think it's a random ass guy? It's possible. I'm your doctor, George. That's who I am. And I went to school for eight years so I could learn how to help people stay healthy. Wait, he totally just owned George. I'm sorry, but you should be here. These checkups are supposed to be private. God damn. Harvey's the only guy in this town with some sense. Not so fast. I'd like to get a second opinion from this young man. Very well. Like everything George should do. George should follow Dr. Harvey's advice. George knows what's best for his body. Okay, well, I'll, I'll keep it a buck. I don't lie. So I think you should follow the advice because he is in fact a doctor. Thanks, Wally Goo. See, George, I'm just trying to help you. Fine, I'll do what you say, doctor. Thanks for your help, Wally Goo. I really appreciate it. No problem. I'm just focused on keeping the... The civilians of Stardew Valley healthy. It's my top priority, just like you. I should be a doctor, except I don't have the eight years of experience. Who needs it? That's optional, right? It's like you can be, like if you do the schooling, you get paid like a couple extra dollars an hour. But like if you don't want to do schooling, it's fine. You can still be a doctor. I'd be cool with that. I feel like it would add a lot more risk to life, you know, or like excitement. If like your doctor could just like provide you totally wrong information, but only for like small stuff. If you, like you went to him and he was like, hey man, I think you got a cold and you're like, Oh shucks. All right, Doc, what should I do? And he's like, here, go ahead and take some of this medicine. And then the medicine was in fact for like uh, bad knees. So you just suffered with your cold the whole time, but your knees felt excellent. What am I talking about? Holy smokes, I'm tired. Oh my God, wake up. Let me in. I need help, I need help, Doc. Right here he is. He is committed to the grind. God damn, bro, where do you cook? Where's your countertop space? Oh wait, he doesn't even have a, a stove. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll start, the, I'll, I'll start at the beginning. Okay, so we come in. He's got a nice little living room with the TV. It's pretty standard. It's set to the history station, classic. He's got a plant next to it. Bad idea. You don't typically want to have too much stuff near your TV. It's going to be distracting. Especially not above. Above is very bad. Because that's going to be distracting from the history and the learning. He's got two little... A love seat and a couch, probably. And he's got a table with some, maybe... A model? 
ground to air radio protocol. So he wants to learn about that. And then this is, this must be a model because he's got all of these ones, right? And then this is it's complicated radio broadcasting set. So he's into like planes. He wants to fly. He wants to be in the sky. Comparison between fighter planes of the Ferngale Republic and the Gotoro Empire. The tape inside, Anthrology of Classic Jazz. What does Anthrology even mean? Do-it-yourself knee surgery? The Lone Ranger of Pulmony- Wait, what? Oh my god. Maybe maybe Harvey's the first option of Doctors, where he just didn't- That's eh, fine. Like I said, it has a little bit more spice to life. Then this kitchen. You didn't find anything when your hands smell bad. What the freak? He's only got a microwave thing. This looks well used. Bro, you can get yourself a stove. It's full of convenience food. I mean, I guess he's busy with his office. This isn't a bad room, I don't mind it. I'm not a fan of the random ass lamp. And the one chair. Harvey, what if you have guests? What's wrong with you? And he's gone. We're gonna have to track him down to give him his morning coffee. I think he should just be over here. Doesn't he just hang out over here? No. Did I gift him today? No. He's gone. Where could he be? The bar maybe? Drinking away his sorrows? This guy is gone. That's fine, I'll just go home. I'll speak to him tomorrow. At least he knew that he was on my mind. Cause you know, I came over to his house, but I didn't speak to him and ignored him and purely went after his room. But it's fine. Sometimes, you know, he doesn't care about that. Another rainy day, but my, the light of my life, Harvey will brighten in. With the sunshine, he en emanates is the word I'm looking for. Here, you can have two. That puts us almost four hearts, almost four hearts, woohoo. Okie dokie. I really should, I, I really think this guy should get to like push doors in the clinic. That's just me probably though. Okay, four hearts. I double coffeeed him again, cause he, he deserves it. Okay, if I go out, I'm gonna go in. Harvey cutscene, let's freaking go. Ah, oh, Wally Goo, I was just about to write you a letter. Wow, really? What a coincidence. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. You see, my records indicate that you're due for my, for your annual checkup. Now, now, there's no need to worry. It'll be quick and painless. Please follow me. We're walking off into the, the, the secret room. Hmm, okay. Hold still, please. Say, ah. Ah. Okay, you can stop. Thanks. I just need to check your vitals. Hmm, your pulse is a little high. I'm a little nervous. I'm out of breath from working on the farm. Are you really a doctor? My pulse is fine. Uh, I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. Oh, hospitals make you nervous, huh? Just try and relax. I'm here to help. Well, then, you seem very healthy, Wally Gah. Just make sure not to overwork yourself on that farm. Thanks for stopping in. No problem. I love helping doctors. I'm a helpful guy. I just show up randomly sometimes. No appointment. You know, just speed things up a little bit. I'm really tired. I'm gonna do get, get him up at six hours. Like, like, okay. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Harvey's not making a great impression on me. He's kind of just a dude being a doctor. Nope, nothing's going on here. They're just, they're just dancing. They're just dancing. All right, that concludes our era. Arabics class. Are you breaking a sweat? Wait, <laughs> how did I not notice Harvey? Pant, pant. Yes. Wally Goo, you were watching me? How embarrassing. I didn't want anyone to know. Least of all you. I'm just trying to stay healthy. As you get older, it requires more effort. I'm not in good shape though. I can hardly keep up with them. Don't tell everyone in town that I'm doing dance or Arabics, okay? I won't tell, I won't snitch. Thanks Wally Goo, I appreciate that. Oh, and then the cutscene no one cares about, okay. Awesome, very cool, Harvey. What has he got to say for himself today? If you want to hang out at my apartment, that's okay with me. I live above the clinic. Yeah, I freaking know, I'm literally here. Take your damn coffee. Eight hearts, woohoo. What? I was leaving the room, not going into it. Hello, hello, is anyone out there? This is Dr. H at 52 North 43.5 East seeking aerial response. Anyone out there? Copy, Dr. H on the ground. This is Blackbird Fiverr Fiverr Zuzu. Anything to report? Oh my God, someone's there? Or, er, I mean, standard ground report, wind at three clicks, 36 degrees north of west, ground temperature at 42 crags, humidity 53%, Dr. H out. Yikes, my pulse is soaring. And now I'm here. Wally Goo. Uh, why, uh, yeah, let's ask why he's all flustered. Ah, uh, well, you see, I was just on my radio here, and I just made contact with a real pilot. As a matter of fact, we can probably see him flying overhead right now. Quick, get over here. Look. Is there a plane? Oh my god. Look at that delicious pollution. My crops eating it all up. As a kid, my dream was to be a pilot. But with my bad eyesight and a crippling fear of heights, that dream started to fade away. It's okay, don't be sad. I've grown to accept my station in life. Not everyone can achieve their dreams. That's just the way the world is. 
God damn, Harvey. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Hey, let me show you my model airplanes. I just finished the new TR Starbird Deluxe set. Wow. Freaking awesome. I'm for 10 hearts. Give bouquet. I don't think you felt this way for me. I guess we're a couple now. So true, King. I spammed through all the mail because I thought it would not send instantly. But I guess maybe it did send instantly. Okay, well between nine and five, guess I'm heading over there. All right, let's see. Let's see what he's been cooking up for the for the ten heart event. I'm excited. Okay, I was going the wrong direction. Apparently, I need to find or I need to check my mail and get a letter, and then that'll tell me. Wait, what? Did I already get it? Maybe. I guess let's try going up to the railroad. I'm not gonna lie though. So far, Harvey's been kind of mid. Like his story just isn't that good. He seems like a nice dude, but okay, it's not triggering. What the heck? <gasps> Let's go. Lewis pranked me, but we clutched up. Wally Goo, I have a surprise for you. Meet me at the railroad tracks, says Harvey. Okay, Harvey. Whatever you say, man. I gotta wait until nine o'clock, and then we're uh, we're we're good to go. Just gonna just gonna awkwardly stand out here until until the time the time comes. Okie dokie. What's going on? Harvey's just staring at a wall. He's just over here staring. There you are, just in time. Look, here it comes. What? What is what is this guy talking about? This man is literally insane. There's no Okay, never mind. It's Mr. M. Or just M. Maybe. Marcello's balloon rentals at your service. I'm kinda surprised that he just like shows up at you. Also, would you guys trust a balloon with this many patches? I don't know if I would. Maybe, maybe I would. Maybe if I really wanted to go on a balloon ride. Wait, is he just gonna let us go at it? It's all yours for two hours? You're just gonna give some random ass guys some... Okay. Yeah, there's a saloon. Go ahead, Marcelo. God damn, I like this guy. Damn, he's pulling, a, he's pulling a Linus from earlier and walking straight through. I saw an ad in the paper for these balloon rides, and I knew I had to surprise you with one. Looks fun. Let's ride. Uh, he didn't, like, ask me if I wanted to go on a balloon ride. Oh my god. Holy smokes. We have, like, a 50... We have, like, a 5 meter vertical. That's kind of actually... Not... I forgot this guy was scared of heights. This freaking bozo. He's literally freaking out. He is losing his mind. Do we know how to go down? Probably just turn off the fire. I feel like it's really irresponsible to lend this out to people who literally do not know how to fly it. He is he is big scared. Oh my lord, that is a beautiful sky though. Looking excellent, I'm not even gonna lie. It's looking looking quite fire, if you will. <laughs> that was a crazy sound effect. We we're up so high. Gulp. I wanted to impress you with this, but look at me. I'm a trembling coward. No, it's okay. Heights are scary, especially when we do not know how to fly this thing. Harvey, by the way, do you know how to get down? Well, you've got more courage. Well, you've got more than enough courage to make up for me, Waliga. That's... That's part of why I like you. Aw. Thanks, man. Okay, I'm gonna open my eyes and look down. Don't let go of my hand. Okay, why'd you look down? Look around. Look at the cool sky. No, no, you tank this. You tank this, Harvey. Come on now, man. <gasps> Wait. He chilled. He chillaxed. He took a chill pill. I... I... I think I can do it now. <gasps> and the doves. It's a migration. Oh, my God. Oh, poor little guy's all alone. He's gonna, like, punch through the balloon. Oh, never mind. He missed. We're chilling. Hey, this is incredible. I think I can see Mary Lewis standing in the town square. Wow, he just miraculously overcame his, his fear of heights. Like that. Oh dear, our time's almost... That was two hours? Oh my god. Oh my lord. Um, Wally well, Goat, we've known each other for a while now and... I... Er... Aww. More birds. Beautiful. We kissed. Amazing. You'd love to see it. Whoop, our time was up half an hour ago. We better touch down. Uh oh, Marcelo. Eh, Marcelo won't care. We'll be off drinking. Wow, what a wholesome event. Honestly, though, still not a huge fan of Harvey. <laughs> he seems like a nice guy, but he's just not that interesting. Oh, wait, I was about to go to bed, but I just realized I gotta give him the pendant. We're not even married yet. Now they're not a little baby and scared of heights. We can get married. That was the only thing holding holding me back from proposing. Just kidding, that, that'd be very mean. Harvey, I would have proposed if I hadn't forgot. How about that? Hopefully he'll be he'll be clocked into the office, working away. Because if not, I literally do not know where he is. Okay, rain is kind of weird without ambient sound. Oh, you guys want to see something cool? If I open up time. Oh my god. Wait, what happens if I... That was pretty loud. I'm not gonna lie. 
<laughs> There's just a normal thunder again. <laughs> All right, Harvey. If you're not home in bed, man, he better... Oh, just missed him. How's it going, buddy? Wahoo! Oh my gosh. This this gold digger Harvey wants my farmhouse to be upgraded before I can get my 14 heart event. Brutal. He's using me. He just wants a nicer place to live than that, that dingy old office. Just kidding. That office was like pretty nice, to be honest. I didn't... I, I wasn't a big hater. What do I even need to upgrade my house? Is it just money? Oh my god. Okay, first it needs to be open. Freaking Demetrius jumping me because I finally made enough money for him to leech off my farm because this guy's never had an original thought in his goddamn life. Oh my goodness. I always forgot how humongous this house is. We can even get more. Oh my god. He's chefing up a storm. He's got the red wine. Holy. Need salt. You can like start a fire or something? No. He's gonna make a banger meal. I knew it. God damn it. Did he start a fire or is it burning? It's burning. Okay, he didn't literally start a fire. Gotcha. Okay, I don't know if I want to eat this food anymore. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. Sorry. Some of this. Presto. Ah, uh, you're right on time, Wally Go. Let me just set the... <laughs> this is like your first move-in meal after you moved into a new place. Oh, man. You've been working so hard on the farm. I wanted to make you a special dinner. No, that's so that's so wholesome. Thank you, Harvey. It's my very own angel hair pasta pr primavera with clams. I had, a, I had a pretty decent clam chowder the other day. It was solid. It tastes healthy. Oh yes, I forgot to mention. It's whale. It's whale, bro. Do you know how to read? What are you talking about? It's whole wheat pasta and it's brimming with fresh vegetables. It's important that you eat healthy food. I want you to live forever. We're gonna we're getting a little bit creepy over here. Just kidding. That's that's wholesome. So tell me about your day. I socialized in town. Ah, uh, that's good. Having an active social life is healthy for the brain. But remember, I'm always here if you need someone to talk to. Thanks, Harvey. That's why you're real. Phew, I'm stuffed. That was great. I'll take care of the dishes. Don't feel bad. I like to do nice things for you. It makes me happy. What a nice guy. Thanks, Harvey. I know I say this a lot, but marrying you was the best thing that ever happened to me. What a nice fellow. Shout out him. However... I have some pretty, I have some pretty harsh, harsh ratings. I'm not going to lie. Likeability, 8.5 out of 10. He's nice, just boring. Cutscenes, like a 2 out of 10. I honestly did not like any of them. And room is like 5 out of 10. So overall, a pretty garbage 5.1 out of 10. Sam is an outgoing, friendly guy who loves to play the guitar and drums and really wants to start a band with Sebastian when they both have enough time to make songs together. Honestly, I feel like Sam is another case of similar to Abigail. If you're young, you like him. If you're old, you hate him. Lots of his heart events make him seem kind of young and immature, and he hangs around with Abigail and Sebastian, who are already kind of seen as young and immature characters, so they're not really helping his case. I think musicians are pretty cool, though, so uh, let's see what's up with Sam. All right, it's time for Famous Teenager. Sam. He lives right next to Haley and Emily, and I don't really know that much about him either, to be honest. I always just knew he was friends with Sebastian and Abigail because he's always hanging around with them at like festivals and whatnot. Nine o'clock, okay. But other than that, I really don't know much. Since he's like a teen, or like just exiting teens, he's not gonna be up for a while probably, so that's gonna be a, it's gonna be a whole lot of stand-in. But he rises at noon to go stare at his dresser, cool. Nice. And then go play guitar. Okay, also nice. All right, Sam, nice to meet you. Okay, sorry, don't wanna go in there. Oh yeah, this is my absolute favorite. Hey, I'm Sam, good to meet you. Good to meet you too, Sam. The main thing I see people criticizing him for is mainly just like him being immature, like kind of in the same vein as Sebastian and Abigail, which makes sense because they are like pretty close friends. People seem to think he's just kind of stuck in like, what I read a lot on Reddit was like the lost boy stage of life because like he doesn't really know what he wants to do he just wants to like play music hang out with his friends nothing wrong with that but you know that's not a particularly appealing quality in a husband so yeah a lot of people are massive fans of him which which does honestly make sense to me and then of course a lot of that could be contributed or almost certainly is contributed to by the fact that kent isn't around for a long period of time that that absolutely is kind of a factor because he doesn't have you know that father figure in his life so, yeah, that that's probably not helping. In fact, not helping probably isn't even the right way to put it. That probably literally is the problem. This dude literally hates living in this room. What is wrong with him? All right, cactus number two. Hey, farmer. Sam, I'm not gonna lie to you. You're not off to a great start with the dialogue, but I, I have hope. I really do, I believe. And then his mom. If I remember correctly, she's the mom who hates her life, <laughs> which, uh, 
also is bad, in my opinion. The more and more I think about it, Sam just kind of has like a screwy home life, it seems. Oh, hi. It's so good to see you again. Take it easy. Holy smokes, guys. Say something new. Oh, <gasps> Vincent report card. Reading C, spelling D, math C, social studies B, art B minus, sports A. No, Vincent's a good boy. Can make do with a little more studying. So true. Maybe get him like a desk in his room so he can study. So he doesn't have to do it at the kitchen table. All right, we up the... I'm about to see the first cutscene. I'm very excited to get his music event, and just so you guys know, I am gonna remember to turn the music on. So please guys, just like leave a reminder in the comments so I don't forget. So if I forget to turn it on again, it's uh, it's gonna be the final straw. Sam, come here. Stop. He's not even playing guitar, he's literally just standing. So if I give this to him, oh yeah, my absolute favorite. Did you watch the game last night? Oh wait, do you even have a TV set? Yeah, I freaking do. Am I you lit- this guy asked if I have a TV set, and he doesn't even have a TV set. Literal fraud. Okay, if I run out really quickly, and then run back in. We cutscene it up. Right, he's jamming. He's jamming. Oh, Sebastian's in there too. He's jamming as well. It's gonna let myself in, don't even knock. Oh, hi, Wooly Gug. Sebastian and I were just having a little jam session. Nice, I love- I'm a jammer as well. I don't play any instruments, I don't- yeah. We're trying to start a band, we don't know what kind of music to make. There's too many possibilities. Make a genre you like, guys. Say it, Willie Gug. What kind of music do you like? Do you go for pop music, experimental noise music, high energy dance music, hockey talk, country music, experimental noise rock? That ironically is what I like. Hey, do you know what? That's the exact kind of style I've been thinking about. For the band! What do you say, Sebastian? Should we do this? Okay. Freak you, Sebastian. If you don't like the idea, just say it, dog. Thanks for that, Willie Gug. My guitar skills and Sebastian's wizardry on the synthesizer are going to be a screaming success. I'm convinced of it. Wait, who plays drums? Abigail, I think. No, I just need to find someone to play drums. Oh, speak the devil. I found the good enough friends to jump them in bed. Hello, Sam. My dad is a soldier fighting against the Gatoro Empire. That's why he's not here. He'll come back someday. He comes back, actually, in less than... Sorry, slightly over 100 days, Sam. I got good news. So if we go to the beach, it's actually an extra event. Which is very cool. So we're gonna check that bad boy out. See what see what uh see what he's cooking up. Here we go. Looks like him and Vincent are hanging on the beach, but Vincent. Not sure if he's having a good time. Hello, Bowie Gug. Nice day, isn't it? I'm just keeping an eye on my little brother. It's good for him to get some fresh air on a day like this. He does not look he looks very sad. Our dad used to take us to the beach on sunny days like this. Oh, he's very happy about it apparently. You heard his name? Hear his dad? Maybe? Is Sad ever gonna come home? Oh, Sam. Of course, Vince. Dad's gonna come back as soon as he possibly can. But I heard some grown ups saying that that all of our troops are getting shot to pieces. What? Don't believe everything you hear. That's right. Do you remember how strong Dad is? He'd never let a pathetic or god or a grunt get to him like that. Don't you worry. Always remember that Mom and I are here to play with you. Ever feel lonely? Okay. What? No, he's not. He's not sad. He's just chilling. To be honest, I have no idea if my old man will come back. We've all read the reports. All soldiers are falling by the thousands. What am I gonna say to Vincent? It's best to be honest with kids. Do the right thing. Kids should hope. I agree. Kids should have hope. Sam, you're a good person. Yeah. Kids should play and have fun with us. Still have the chance. Hey, did I tell you the band's starting to come together? Yeah, it turns out Abigail's a pretty good drummer, and Sebastian seemed to really want her in the band. Wow, what a coincidence. Very cool. My little brother gets so excited for festivals. He's been talking about tomorrow's egg hunt all day. I got bad news. Sorry, Vincent. I wonder if Vincent would be very sad if he knew that it was his brother who's who caused this. Hey, Vincent, you enjoy the egg hunt? <laughs> he didn't, because it didn't happen. Nothing in this town happens unless I'm there. Oh, yeah, it's my favorite. Oh, guess I'm something gross earlier, and I just bought these shoes. No way. Okay, room tour time. He's got the drums. Okay, instruments, that's cool. He's got the, the beastly gaming machine. He's got an extensive library of computer games. He's got a dirty jacket back here, a little bit of homework from what school? He doesn't go to school. Second guitar. It's electric. A pair of active pickups and whammy bar. It's a funny name. UFO mysteries, scanning magazines. Hey, don't look in there. Okay, my bad. Guitar picks, skateboards, wheels, some cool, what do you call those? Some cool posters and nice brick wall. Not a bad room. A little bit boring though, I'm not gonna lie. Not really, not really a whole lot going on. Then I was about to run away, but if I just go back in, we get Z4 Hearts. He's at the fridge. Jody's about to go into a room. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, hi, Wolver. I was just about to have a snack. Here, let me get something for you. Wow. 
Bro, the egg. Oh no, what a mess. Oh, Jody's sprinting over. What was that sound? She looks very non-concerned, actually. Oh my god. Gasp. That was our last egg. And we don't have any farmers who can sell us. This is- wait, is she being for real? It's- it's one egg on the ground. Sam had me a snack and I dropped it. Yeah, that's what happened. Thanks for telling me the truth, Walter. It's not such a big deal. Okay, yeah, good, dude. It's literally one egg. I'm sorry about this, Mom. I'll clean it up. Dog, that is literally a paper... You pick up the eggshells, you grab a paper towel, then you just wipe the floor. Literally two-second cleanup. I want to go out into my kitchen and drop an egg on the ground right now. To, like, prove to myself it's, like, that easy to clean up. I mean, like, it's one egg. It wouldn't be the end of the world. Sam is busy practicing the guitar. Hello, Sam. All right, buddy. All right, five hearts. Hey, how's it going? Last night I practiced guitar for four hours straight. My fingers hurt like crazy. Bye. I've got to do something. Yeah, go back to bed. I don't blame you, man. It's my bad. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have gone in so early. All right, I very tactically adjusted the time. So when I give him... Let's see what he has to say first. Hey, Walker, do you want to hang out or something? Sleeping feels nice, but sometimes I wish I could just sleep. It's such a time waster, I feel you, like, Sam. We give him this one and this one. And then because of my tactical time skipping and it's not raining, if I go into the town... Excuse me, Vincent. We cut scening it up. He's skateboarding. I totally forgot he skateboards. Oh, he's actually... Oh, he kickflipped. God damn, that flew far. Hey, what do you think you're doing? That's private property. Sam. Er, 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 uh, e, mm, er, uh, I'm sorry, sir. Sigh. The youth these days. Sometimes I wonder if this town isn't doomed. Oh, I pull up out of the bushes. Yep, normal. You saw what happened. What do you have to say about this? You're right, sir. Uh, there's nowhere else for him to ride. Yeah. Also, your neighbors. Just like ask him. Exactly. If there was a park in town, I could ride there and everyone would be happy. Oh, Lewis isn't happy about that. Hmm. I thought you were more mature than this, Wally Gug. Or sorry, Wally Gug. Sam, I'm sorry I yelled at you. Just please try not to damage anything in the future. Got it? Okay, yeah, don't damage anything. You can ride, but if you damage, that's freaking cringe. Do not damage. Yes, sir. You see that trick, though? That was red. Bro. I mean, he's right. It was kind of red. Rain muffle sounds. I can play my guitar loud without my mom getting mad. Wake up, Sam. With today's visit, we can begin dating. And I can get the eight heart cutscene. I'm big excited. Eight hearts! My dad is a soldier. Eight hearts, woo. Bouquet acquired. Let's see what he's thinking. Let's see if he's he's feeling the vibe. Hopefully he is feeling the vibe. Give. I didn't think he felt this way. I guess we're a couple now. Some terrible thing. Yeah, okay, dude. We just started dating. As you can tell by the addition of music, I think we're going to be reaching a musically inclined cutscene soon. So I, I cannot wait. And I did not want to forget, so I did it right now. He's going to pull up. Yep, here he is. Very nice. Hi, Wooly. Guess what? My band is playing a show tonight in Zuzu City. Meet me at the bus stop around 4 p.m. this afternoon to leave the show. You better be there. Or else. That's a that's a joke, a goof, a gag, if you will. Oh, little gag. Thanks for coming. Holy smokes. Jody's here. Elliot, Leah. Leah's kind of hiding, though. Linus is hanging out as well. We got a little bit of Penny. Bastion, Sam, Abigail, Emily, Maru, Harvey action go. Very cool. Well, our gear's loaded already. Looks like everything's set. All right, everyone. Let's get in the bus. Gulp. I'm really starting to get nervous. Okay, here we are. Wish me luck. Good luck, sir. You're going to do this. Oh, my God. Bro, why? Linus, come over to the damn show. Stop hanging out at the dumpster. Hi, everyone. We're from Pelican Town. Erm, um, we're called a Goblin Destroyer. Here we go. That's a solid name. Wow, this is fire. I'm actually jamming out. Okay, wait, I was being sarcastic, but now I'm actually jamming out. Where'd Harvey go? Oh, we didn't come like- Oh, wait, no, it's right there, never mind. God, Sam and Sam's getting into it. Sam is- Sam is partying. Okay, guitar solo, also pretty fire. Wow, I'm running out of things to say. Literally a reaction YouTuber right now. Cool. 
Woo, that was great. Nice work, guys. I really love that heavy breakdown at the end. Wow. Thanks, everyone. We should really be clapping for Wolligar. Without his help, we never would have decided what music to make in the first place. True, it was all on me. Don't mention it, guys. So you're like an honorary member of the band, then? You could say that. You could make an argument. You could say that. And don't forget to pick one of our demo cases or cassettes on the way out. Only 10 gold. That seemed pretty cheap. Wow. That went well. Thanks again for coming with us. Wow. W musician. Very talented. Very cool. Okay, we're already getting repeat dialogue, so I'm just going to jump straight to 10 hearts. Yes. Okay, here we go. I'm walking in. That is not where I came from. I should be coming from the top. Whatever, I digress. Hi, Wally Gug. I wanted to talk to you in private. It's kind of cold out here, though. Let's sneak into my room. Climbing in through the windows. Oh, my goodness. We're getting in, though. We're in. His mom's in the living room. What the? So, Wally Gug. I know we've been talking about nothing but the band for a while now, but I don't want you to think that's all I'm interested in. Um, er, what I mean is... Well, I'm really happy that we've grown so close. <laughs> Wally Gug. You think of me as just a friend? Oh, she moved. Oh, I'm not allowed to be in here. Sam, I'm coming in. Quick, hide in the bed. Bro, this guy's not beating the teenager allegations. You can literally see my head. What's wrong, honey? Were you doing something bad? I thought I heard some weird sounds coming from your room. No, mom, I was just doing push-ups. I want to be dad at arm wrestling someday. Oh, she did not expect that answer. Oh, <laughs> that explains why you're all red and sweaty. Okay, well, good luck. I'll see you in the morning. Smooth. Good night, Mom. Alright, Sam. Sam saved the day. He clutched up. She doesn't close the door. That's kind of rude. Whew. That was close. Wally Guck. Stay put. I'm staying in the bed. Oh, we kissing. We're kissing in the bed. When the door's open, his mom's so close. I always knew there was something special between us. Wow. That's beautiful. Is the cutscene gonna... Oh, okay. Never mind. My bad. I'm gonna be thinking about this knife for a long time. Alright, we gotta make this guy... Be 14 hearts. Okay, now they've got 14 hearts and a nice little star drop. Got an extra, extra bitter, bitter energy. We gotta go upgrade the farmhouse again. All the male partners want the upgraded farmhouse. What's going on with these guys? Okie dokie, we got the house. And then if I leave, and then literally just go back in. Wait, no. Wait 10 minutes and then go back in. Sam wants to talk. What's going on, Sam? How, what's up, man? It's a nice little setup you got over here. I actually really like the bricks. What's the matter, Sam? How can I help? Oh, hey, Wallaby. You look like you've been working hard out there. Nope, you got that wrong. Hey, I was just thinking, you know, I really like living here with you. I mean, I love you. But I feel like I've gotten really lazy. I just bum around aimlessly every day. Oh my god, wait, self-awareness? Oh, I know you don't mind. You make enough money on the farm that I don't really need to work, and I really appreciate that. But I want to feel like I'm contributing to something, you know what I mean? So I think I'm going to try to find some work, something to do with music. That's always been what I love the most. Oh, uh, besides you, of course. Good save, Sam. Anyway, I'll let you know how it goes. Wow. Good for you, Sam. I love seeing my spouse take a little bit of initiative. That's actually a big W. This is, I'm not gonna lie, Sam cutscene stocks might be going through the roof right now. Part two. Oh my god, he's looking, he's looking shifty. Look at him, dude. Holy smokes. Did he not notice me? Hey, well, I got, listen to this. Oh, he's reading. Dear Sam, we are pleased to offer you a position as junior composer at Zuzu Broadcasting Company TV Division. Wow, music for a TV show. How cool is that? That is cool. Goddamn, Sam. You're making moves, dude. Your cutscene's rocketing up. Oh, hold, hold on. It's a TV show for little kids. The Happy Little Junimo Show. That's still good. You know how much kids, like, kids shows make bank. Sam, you're gonna be a millionaire. Not exactly what I had in mind. I guess he is like a heavy metal artist. Just think of how happy you'll make the children. Yeah, I mean, you're right. Someone's gotta make children's music, but it's not exactly a dream job. I mean, I guess. I guess I'd better start thinking like a kid. You should ask your little brother. That's not a bad idea. At the very least, I could play my songs and see if he likes them. Thanks for the advice, Wolderga. No problem, Sam. My pleasure. I can't wait to see how it goes. I'm gonna go to bed and see it right away. Part three. Let's freaking go. Hey, Lori Gug. I'm making progress on the song. Check it out. The, I don't have to... Oh, okay, well... God. <laughs> I don't know. Put, like, some kid's music over this. Put, like, copyright-free ukulele soundtrack. I don't know. This is Fire Sam. I'm jamming out. It's kind of bare bones right now, but when I add in all the different instruments, you'll it'll come together. You'll see. I'm not doubting Sam. 
I'm a believer. You know, I'm not too upset about this kid show idea anymore. You gotta start somewhere, right? And hey, maybe I'll be a big hit in the children's concert circuit. True. You will be, I believe. Part four. I didn't turn on music. Okay. And now we're good. Okay, take two. A little bit of distant ukulele. I'm really excited, Sam. Okay, okay, Vince. I'm not. I'm gonna put the song on right away. Now you gotta listen really close. You can tell me if you like it afterwards. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Wait, kind of fire? Jujumo's jumping around. They're having a blast. The sun is sunning. <laughs> Vincent loves the jazz. Like, what is this, bro? <laughs> Get me out of here. Kind of fire, actually. I'm not even gonna lie. Junimo, Junimo. Oh no, Jazz is getting into it. Jazz is feeling the vibe too. Unironically fire, Sam. You swagged out, I'm not gonna lie. Good good job. Guten job, my friend. Jumping. They're they're overjoyed. I loved it. Wow. I wasn't expecting such an overwhelming response. That's great. This is really fun. Sam, good job, man. Shout out. Hey, thanks for all the support with this. You know, I kind of like making children's music. It's not very glamorous, but I'm making these kids really happy. That's important. Here, I wanted to give you this. It's a boombox with a song on it, so you can listen to it whenever you want. Wow, oh, thanks, Sam. I definitely wanted that. Why don't, why don't you give it to, like, Vincent? Honestly, I don't even mind. Wow. Okay. That 14 heart event was very good. Here are the rest of my ratings. Sam, likability, 7 out of 10. Cutscenes, probably like a 6. Room, eh, decent 6 out of 10 as well. So 6.3 out of 10 overall. Finally, we arrive at Sebastian, the town's one and only resident emo. He's very real for that. We all need an emo boyfriend or girlfriend in our lives. Sam is a rebellious loner who lives in his parents' basement. As I mentioned earlier, he is Maru's half-older brother and feels kind of jealous of his sister since he feels that she gets all of the attention and love. Well, he just sits in the basement and is ignored. He is a very obsessive person, and when he gets into his work, he really gets into it. He loves computers, sci-fi novels, and Dungeons and Dragons, and other various things along the lines of that. He's one of the most annoying characters in romance since he does not leave his room until very, very late. Thankfully, I do have a remedy for that in my toolbox. The internet is full of simps for him, um, but a lot of people on Reddit really hate this guy for some reason. And I mean, to be fair, some of his lines are kind of like insanely super very emo. I guarantee you will be seeing some Sebastian simps in the comments of this video. Anyway, let's see if they're right. Maybe I'll be joining their ranks. All right, it's time. It's time for Sebastian. Sebastian does not leave his room until like 6 p.m. every single day. Not a problem, thankfully. If you were to be romancing him normally, then uh, you'd have some problems. Here it comes, just in time. Act oh, they ran into each other. I really love this. How did you know? Hey, your name's Wallagug, right? Yep. You got that right. Sebastian is like an interesting character from what I was reading, basically. I've never married him. And when I 100% of the game, I did not pay attention to his cutscenes. But when I, when I was reading about him, he seems... Very, uh, like there's honestly more to him than I expected. But yeah, he, he like resents Maru a lot. And I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll get to see some of that dialogue soonish. But it's kind of messed up because if, if you guys recall when we married Maru, she was like, I really want a real brother, but Sebastian doesn't seem to like me. Let's, let's stalk his room a little bit. Oh, he got on his computer. Dude, you gotta go. Come on. Oh, here he comes. Hey. What's up, man? Uh, need something? Mm, even if I did, you wouldn't talk to me. Oh yeah, I, w I wonder if he likes my, likes the character. I customized it a little bit to match him, you know what I mean? I do also know Sebastian likes frogs. It's a win in my books. Frogs are pretty cool. Oh, looks like he's going to the kitchen today. Seems like dumb to build a house, especially when you're a carpenter with a one person wide hallway. What do I know though? I really love this. I was thinking, people are like stones skipping over the water. Eventually, we're gonna sing. Wow. True, I guess, but is a negative outlook on life. You should be more positive, Sebastian. Wait, I chose dog for this farm? What the heck? I'm definitely not accepting. Okay, just kidding. Dogs are fine. I don't mind dogs. I don't mind dogs. Almost two hearts. With this one, we will be able to go into the room, so we don't have to skip time. Not that I was skipping time. I would never do that. Well, Okay, I know, no, I'm, I was close. I didn't think I was that close. What am I gonna do today? Probably nothing. Wow, he's just, he's just bursting with ambition. 
What's the, what's he gonna do next? Room tour time. The radio isn't plugged in. Okay. Valerian Chronicles. The game. Plant. Got a nice little thing for, you know, gaming. He's got a TV. Can't see what he's watching. Well, let me get to it. Nice carpet. You could have put it a little bit closer to the bed. Graphic novel. He's got some more books stacked up. He's got two computers. A nice little couch. He's got a big room. Some notes on the wall. I don't know what that is. That is kind of an emo photo. Cool sticky notes. Oh, uh, I'm, hey man, don't worry what I'm doing. Um, you know, some more posters. Not bad. It's not a bad room at all. It's quite good, dare I say. I think if I just enter now, I'll get a heart event. Oh yeah, we gaming. Oh hey, give me one sec. Sorry, that, that wasn't that wasn't emo enough. He's busy, I should leave. I'm gonna stay put, I'm gonna wait. He said give me a sec, so I'm gonna trust him. He's an honest guy. Okay, sorry about that. I just need to finish what I was working on. Ask him when he's working on a compliment the core of your- Ask him when he's working on. I do freelance work as a programmer. Bing. That was an instant message from Sam. I guess he wants to hang out. Ugh, I don't really feel like going out today. Oh, here comes Robin. Oh, hi, Wally Gug. Debbie, I know you don't like it when I come in here, but I ran into Abigail at the store and she said she was looking for you. Did you tell her I'm working? I did, but she said she'd probably stop by anyway. Oh, he's not happy. He's big mad. I thought he liked Abigail. Sigh, no one takes my job seriously. Sebastian is literally me. No one ever bothers Maro and she's working at the clinic. Does so everyone think I'm just surfing the web all day? Asking about his career goals? Asking why he doesn't want to see his uh, career goals. You know, that's, that's too deep of a question. Well, I'm trying to save up so I can move out of here. Probably to the city or something. You know, if I'd gone to college, I'd probably be making six figures right now. But I just don't want to be a part of the corporate rat race, you know? Well, and I guess I just feel more comfortable hidden behind the computer than dealing with people face to face. That's such a silly little expression he's making. Well, I should get back to work. I need to get this module finished by tomorrow. He's gotta, he's gotta update the, the mainframe with some new modules. Add a couple of gigaflops to it. Important work, important work. Interesting. So, I already kind of knew this, but he just wants to get out of here. He wants out big time. He does not like Stardew Valley. Even a little bit. And also that, like, he... Does he, like, resent his friends, maybe? Sometimes, you know, being tired and not want to hang out is, is, is a valid excuse, you know? You, you're just not feeling it sometimes. We'll find out. We'll find out in the four heart cutscene, I'm sure. Let's go see if we can gain any more insights from the dialogue. Raining. Perfect for perfect day for him. All right, it's the first time we can go into his room without having to wait. Oh, I thought he wasn't here. I'm like, God damn it. He's hiding in his bed. If you're lucky, you might see a frog in this weather. Let's go search for some frogs. See, see if Sebastian's a liar or not. Mm, no frogs yet. Not seeing anything. Oh, well. I was hoping I'd see a frog, but no. Why is it raining so much? <laughs> The game sensed I'm marrying the emo, so it's like, I gotta be emo as well. Here you go. Here to visit you in your bed again. I'm not a big fan of festivals. Lots of commotion, too much social interaction, more stress than fun if you ask me. Yeah, okay, well, Sebastian, did I ask? Did I ask? No, I didn't. Oh, speak the devil. It's a festival day. You know, Sebastian wouldn't go, so I'm not gonna go. Your morning frozen tea, Here you are. I'll give him two. And now, with that, four hearts. Having a good weekend? Nice. You having a good weekend, Sebastian, sitting in bed? Get up. Do something. Alright, if I exit the house between 11 and 5, I should get a cutscene. And I do. What, the motorcycle? Wait, I honest to God did not know he worked on motorcycles. Oh, hello, Wally Gug. What? You haven't seen my motorcycle before? Hmm, I, I guess I haven't shown it to you. Where the heck can you even ride it in this town, though? Not sure if there's too many trails. I don't know. What the? Sometimes, after sundown... I make the long ride out of Stardew Valley. There's nothing else like it, blazing along the empty stretch of road towards the faint city glow. It's so funny, dude. The grass is always greener on the other side. Once I've saved up enough money, I'm gonna head out on my own to the city and beyond. Just me and my bike. There we go. Oil's changed. Hey, maybe I'll let you ride sometime if you want. That sounds fun. No thanks, that sounds stupid. I'm scared of my- That does sound fun. Great. Wow. Just great. That's all. That's all I've got to say. 
a man of few words, surely. Well, what I was gonna say during the cutscene was that the grass is always greener on the other side. You know, the, the city folk, they always wanna move out to the country. Apparently the country folk all wanna move out to the city. Although honestly, I don't quite understand why he wants to go to the city. Cause there's more people, more social interaction. Like it, it doesn't seem like his speed at all. Like the country seems like exactly like, like he has more space. You know, he, he won't be cramped up on a small little apartment. Like I said, grass is always greener on the, on the other side, even if it, in fact, is actually not greener. And is actually quite dead, and maybe needs some watering slash fertilizer. If I just disappeared, would it really matter? Oh damn, he's having a rough morning. I thought most people go through, like, spirals at night, you know? It's 9 o'clock, and they're like, it's over. It's so freaking over. In the morning, they're like, oh, we're so back. Sebastian, he's consistent. I respect that. I respect that. I really do. I really love this. How did you know? I was thinking. Okay. Okay. Okay, Sebastian. Get a new line, buddy. It doesn't work on me. Can't be doing repeats on me. I'm, I'm far too aware. Dialed in. I would never, ever not notice. Unless you want it as lame as that. Why is bro reading the newspaper there? He's just like standing in his lab reading. There's like a chairs over there. Chairs over there. You could read it in your bed. What is this guy doing? I actually gave him two. Sam is probably my only friend in this town. Well, Abby is nice too, but... Um, never mind. Okay, Sebastian is just kind of weird. Like, what is he talking about? S like, Sam is only my real friend. Like, what about Abby? Like, what does he mean? Just because he has, like, a crush on her, he doesn't consider her a friend? Like, not, n not trying to morally grandstand, guys, but that's weird, in my opinion. I think that's weird. And I don't know what the freak is going on with him. Not sure how I feel about that. Okay, I just need to enter his room, and then I get another one. The heck, they're clipping through each other left, right, and center. What is going on with those two? All right, cutscene. <gasps> they're gaming. Can I play? Sam, Sebastian at the table. Hey, Wallagug. Sam and I were about to play Solarian Chronicles, the game. Why don't you join us? It's better with three players anyway. Okay, here we go. Let me draw the scenario card. Hmm, it looks like today's quest will take us into the Necromancer's Tower to try to reclaim the Solarian staff from the clutches of the Dreadlord Zarth. Cool. Well, I go, you ready to choose your character? Warrior, I like their healer. I'm gonna be a wizard. Hey, that's what I was gonna pick. Guess I'll be the healer then. Let's begin. The king has entrusted you and your companion with recovering the Solarian staff. A task which, if completed successfully, will ensure your place in the Hall of Legends as well as a sizable fortune of gold and silver. After a long month journeying across unforgiving lands, you step out onto a precipice to see your destination looming in the distance. There, beyond a moonlit plain, lies the Necromancer's Tower, where Dreadlord Zarth usurps the power of the stolen Solarian sap for his vile purposes. The tower lies before you. Go in the front. We're gonna search the back entrance. We're, we're gonna be cautious. After searching around the base of the tower, you discover a trapdoor hidden in the bush. Beneath is a ladder which your party descends. You find yourself in a sewer-like corridor. To your left, the hallway glows with a peculiar green light. To your right, a staircase leads into the dark. What do you do? We're gonna go right. You came to a door at the end of the hallway. The time has come to face Dreadlord Zarth. Zarth? Intruders? How dare you trespass in my private chambers? Ah, so you've come for the Solarian staff. <laughs> Fools. You'll make a nice addition to my skeleton army. Dreadlord Zarth is muttering an incantation. Uh, we're gonna put a shield charm on my friends. Place a shield charm on Sam and Sebastian. Zarth sends bolts of pure dark energy flying! One of them strikes Sebastian, but your shield charm reflects it back into Zarth's face. Wait, that was it? Zarth is defeated and the Solarian staff glows peacefully. Order has been restored to the world. You finish the scenario with the C raining. What? A C? I literally owned Zarth. Hey, not bad. Took me like three or four tries to beat my first scenario. I was getting hard carried by them, let's be real. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you later. God damn, that was a good ass cutscene. Holy smokes. Cool. Well, here's your frozen tear. Hopefully we can play again soon. Could you picture someone like me living on a farm? It seems ridiculous. True. Yeah, you're pretty like technology focused. Although I'm also pretty technology focused and living on a farm could go kind of hard. I'm not going to lie. Swear to God, we've been getting so many more rainy days than with like anyone else we've had. But maybe I'm like placeboing. Or who, if, who, whoever's editing this, can you put a rain counter up on screen? Just count how many rainy days we'd have. This one should actually be eight hearts. So we might want to start dating me soon. Whoops, okay, definitely will now. I didn't swap to my side. If gas weren't so expensive, I'd ride my motorcycle to the city today. What do you do when you aren't working? More farming, comic books, shopping, sports. Comic books. 
Oh, yeah? Well, did you read the new cave, Sega X? I won't spoil it for you, but oh, man. God damn, I gotta check that out. All right, we gotta head over to the beach. See what's going on there. Oh, he's looking pretty emo. He's having a he's having a rough day, most likely. Wally Guck? Hey, I'm surprised to find you out here in the rain. Once again, it's raining somehow. Look at those dark clouds looming over the horizon. I hope they come this way. You good, bruh? I like this weather because it makes everyone disappear, you know? Being around people makes me feel anxious. Did you want to move to the city? I'm so confused, bro. I don't feel that way around you, though. We're getting soaked. Here, there's room for two. Ooh, we're getting very close. It's just such a wholesome little cutscene. Here you go. I'm gonna get more serious. I'm kinda nervous, aren't you? If you're lucky, you might see- Oh my. Another repeat dialogue. He's just- he's getting shameless. He's getting complacent. Alright, then arts. Usually stay inside, but I do go to the beach now and then. Pretty much only when it's raining, though. For some reason, staring off into the blank horizon makes me feel... I don't know. Like, it's worthwhile to keep pushing on, I guess. Wow. Cool, Sebastian. Now that it's 8 p.m., if I head outside... We get a cutscene. Oh, he's chilling. He's hanging. He's looking badass. Hey, Wally Guck, I was just about to head out. Hop on. I want to show you something. No helmet. What the... That's unsafe. Whoa! That's kind of badass. Wait, actually pretty badass. Wait, this is so cool. That's Zuzu City in the distance. I come here when I want to get away from everything and just think. He's smoking. So, what do you think? It's beautiful. It is beautiful. That's badass. Not exactly how I'd put it, but yeah. Really. You wouldn't say it's beautiful? Damn. The city used to draw me in, but now I'm finding myself happier at home in the valley. Dude, the city has everything you don't want. Like, honest to God. It's nothing but people. Wally Guck? Um... I've never felt anything like this with another guy before, but you're different. You know what I'm trying to say, don't you? Oh yeah, I forgot I'm a dude on this save. Kinda forgot about that part to be honest. Oh well, what can you do? Wait, you want a pendant, Sebastian? Would you like a pendant? Where are you at? No way. You think, what, what if he's standing? What if he's smoking? He might be smoking. No way. He's not. Okay, it's fine. I'll ask him tomorrow. I hope he says yes. So far, Sebastian, he's not he's not been bad. He's not been the worst. You know, it just Medium, it's medium weirding me out. That whole, the whole Abigail line. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I know. I'm pretty sure that's actually quite a lukewarm take. I'm not gonna lie, but it is, it is the take I have nonetheless. But that being said, I wonder if he wants to marry me. He does. Woohoo! In a couple days, only living on a farm. I can't believe it. I'm happy though. Yeah, you're, bro, I literally, he literally had dialogue, I was like, I could, can you imagine me living on a farm? Hell no. I can't wait to see his little setup, though, I'm kind of excited for that. He's got the motorcycle over here, polluting my farm, damaging all my crops, good start, good start. Probably got the computer set up over here. Yep, he's got his, he's got his PC, although he kind of downgraded his monitor, it seems, and no keyboard, interesting. It's just a, is that a vase or something else? You guys seeing what I'm seeing? He brought the painting, but only that one, only the really emo painting, interesting. All right, all right, honey, it's time for your morning frozen tears. Many frozen tears. All right, now we just gotta wait for a rainy day. Oh my God, it took one day, Jesus. It can go all the way from 6 a.m. to 7, so we can head over right now. Here he is. Is this the frog hunting scene? Hey, well, I got glad you showed up. Huh? What are you talking about? There's an injured frog in that bush. I gotta save him. I need your help. Go over to the bush and try to get him to come towards me. I'll wait over here and catch him. Okay, it's a lot of pressure. What if he like jumps off that cliff? That'd be kind of unfortunate. Okay, you ready? Now. Oh, he's going. Poor little guy. His foot's all mangled. Man, let's nurse him back to health. We'll do our best, but don't get too attached just yet. Let's take him home. All right, that was pretty good. Uh, here are my ratings, I guess. Likeability, five out of 10. Cutscenes. Probably like 7 out of 10. Room, I'd say 9 out of 10. I like it. So 7 out of 10 overall. Shane, Shane, Shane. Saved him for the last of the normal NPCs for a reason. Now you know how I was saying a lot of characters were hit or miss? Oh boy. That was under purbole. Reverse purbole? What's the opposite of hyperbole? Understatement. You either love or hate Shane. 
But who is Shane? Shane lives with Marnie. We can see in dialogue that he rents his room for Marnie for a very cheap price. It's a pretty small room, but he says that he can't complain. Shane is very often rude and seems to be quite unhappy, as well as suffering from alcohol addiction and addition to depression. The player is pretty much the only way for Shane to get out of this path. I won't spoil too much about the story, but he cleans his act a little bit, but kind of fumbles at the end. I will not even begin to tackle Reddit on this one. It's actually just too hardcore and way too many paragraphs. Let's check him out. It's Shane time. Just kidding, it's cat time. I just realized I chose the worst possible farm to do Shane on because the fastest way to get to him is to go down the bottom and this farm is very vertically long. That's okay, it's fine. Shane is uh, an interesting fellow, I'm not gonna lie. He is probably the most like troubled individual in Stardew Valley because he's got a drinking problem. Don't ask me why I'm giving him beer then. It'll be fine, don't worry. Definitely. Oh, he's probably already gone because I just realized it's 9 o'clock because I AFK on this farm for a tiny bit before recording. So I think he should be at Jojimar now. I've... I've never really liked Shane because he's always just been a super rude guy. And I understand that, of course, he has problems. But it's, it's not necessarily an excuse to just treat everyone around you terribly. And one thing I really would like is if, you know, when you're progressing through his story, you know, you help him, you help him get better, you help him become a, a happier person, healthier, all of that. But unfortunately, uh, the story doesn't quite go that way. Here you go, Shane. Oh, you know what's my favorite? He's gonna be super rude now. Oh, he doesn't even want to talk to me. That's fine, he's working. That, that's kind of valid. But yeah, he has a major drinking problem. These, these Iridium Star quality beers definitely won't contribute to that. Don't worry about that, guys. I have his best interests at heart, surely. Let's see, oh, he's cooking up a nice little microwave dinner. There you go, man. Why are you bothering me? I want to be left alone. Okay, Shane, I'm sad. So mean to me, what the hell? But yeah, in, in case you haven't figured it out, Shane is kind of rude at the beginning. Not, not a particularly nice guy. Doesn't exactly radiate friendly energy, but yeah, I've heard a lot about his his story, but I've never actually played through it myself. So I'm very curious to see uh, if, if my opinion of him is going to change at all. The more we play, we shall see. The more beers he get, the nicer he becomes to me. Just like people drinking in real life. I'm busy, can't you, bro? You're standing in a microwave here, take another beer, whatever. Yeah, it's your favorite, blah, blah, blah. You're still mean to me. And if I leave the house and now, we're going to be hanging out with Shane. How's it going, Shane? Bubble spot right there. I could do a little bit of fishing while I chat with him. Not a bad idea. Here he is. He's just he's chowing down. Not chowing down. He's sipping up. Up late, huh? Yeah, kind of late. Here, have a cold one. Eh, don't mind if I do. I'll indulge a little bit. Just kind of hanging out. He's chilling. He's got a nice little lantern. It's pretty vibe. Bugh. Life. I feel you on that. I'm not gonna lie. You ever feel like no matter what you do, you're gonna fail? Like you're stuck in some miserable abyss and you're so deep you can't even see the light of day? I just feel like no matter how hard I try, I'm not strong enough to climb out of that hole. You are. Shane, just gotta go. Slowly. Oh my god, that's so me. Yeah. <laughs> Fast drinker, huh? Man after my own heart. Just don't make it a habit. You still got a future ahead of you. Shane, you have a future too, man. Don't be talking like this. You're talking crazy. Well, my liver's begging me to stop. Better call it a night. See you around, Wally Guy. That was a short first cutscene, but it, it already gives you like kind of a, not kind of, it gives you a pretty good idea on what exactly is going on with Shane. He feels like he's just got nothing going for him, you know. He's working at Jojimar, you know, he's one of the few people in town with a job, but he still just feels like there's just nothing going for him. And that's, that's kind of like, well, obviously it t ties back into his alcohol problem. But yeah, for such a short cutscene, I feel it. I feel it already gives gives the player and you, the viewer, shout out to you. Thanks for watching so long, by the way. You're either fast asleep or like actually engrossed in my commentary. Well, if, either way, if you're awake, drop a subscribe if you'd like. If you're enjoying it, I'd much appreciate it. I wonder when he stops becoming rude to me. When he actually becomes chill. Or it starts trusting me. So just being a strange guy who harasses him with alcohol. <laughs> Although that probably means... He'd like me quite a bit. Or at least not mind me. Oh, he's off to work today. Here. A little bit of drinking before the job. I hardly know you. Why are you talking to me? Dude, you just like... This guy. 
you literally just like told me your deepest secrets on the dock literally last night. You pretend like you don't even know me. This guy's so two-faced, it's messed up. No, no, no. Can't be Blana. I barely know. Flamer, I hardly know her. <laughs> His early dialogue is not very interesting though. It's just kind of him bullying you. Kind of messed up to be honest. I can go in his room now. So let's give him give him a little beer. How'd you know it's my favorite? Oh whoops, that's two of them. Sorry man, that's maybe a little bit too more too much alcohol before work. Alright, room review time. Got a little soccer ball, doesn't look used. Maybe it's a collector's ball. Maybe I can kick it. Reduce that resale value a little bit. The mega station, there's a game in it. Looks like it's been routed through a code sold in exile. Looks like someone's been cheating. He's got a nice little chair over here. Red, red little love seat. And he's got a book on how to raise chickens, a lamp, and a radio. Oh, it's in this alarm clock. Interesting. And then a little poster. Eh, it's simple. I don't hate it. It's not the worst, I suppose. It's pretty solid, dare I say. And I think, because I'm nice enough to him. Sorry, Mom, not interested. Or Lewis, or Willie, or Hat Mouse, or Jojo. There we go. Hi, hi, Wooly Gug. I found this recipe in a magazine. I thought it sounded interesting. Feel free to give me a taste if you make it. <laughs> so I feel like he, he is so like non-shane. Pepper poppers. Awesome. Let's see what he's up to today. Probably just off the work as usual. Oh, sorry, Jazz. Oh, here, I'll let you guys both out. I'm nice. <laughs> I think they were blocking each other. Here we go. No, I don't have time to chat. He's still mean to me. All right, today's the day of the four heart cutscene. It's also rainy. Maybe it's like a very dream, a uh, very dreary cutscene. Got a little bit of pathetic fallacy going. Oh, cutscene! Oh my God, he has passed out. Marnie says, "Shane." Oh, and I'm just hanging out. Jazz in the kitchen. Jazz is an earshot. No way. Oh, he has knocked the hell out. Oh dear. And I just pull up randomly. Well, I got, can you do something? He's out cold. Yeah, sure, Marnie. I'll see what I can do. Clock into the clock into the office. <laughs> I water him like he's a crop. What? Shane, what's the matter with you? All you do anymore is mope around your room and drink beer. Oh, he's not happy about. Th oh, Jazz is walking. Mm. You wouldn't understand. I'm worried. What's your plan? Don't you ever think about the future? Hopefully I won't be around long enough to need a plan. What the? Jazz is not happy about that. That's messed up. Holy guy. Yeah. Go, go, go console her. Okay, that was kind of a disturbing cutscene. You're really persistent. I guess I'm just surprised that anyone would be interested in talking to me. That's messed up. I think it shows that, like, I don't know. Well, obviously it shows that he has a problem, but like, well, okay, I guess technically we didn't know at this point in the story that he has a, like, an actual problem problem. But I think it shows that, like, his problems doesn't just affect him. It affects the people around him. I mean, you, you guys saw Jazz. She was not happy. Because to be fair, that's kind of a mess. That's a sad thing to say. Jazz, like, nine. You don't want to be hearing that, Shane. What the hell, man? Here we go, Shane. Don't worry about it. Weather makes me thirsty. I got great news, man. Here, have another. Enjoy. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. We're going to go with the more ethical gift from now on. All right. We're at five and two pixel hearts. Oh, it's Egg Festival. Well, that's not that's not a very a very Shane like event. So I will I will not be showing up. It's the 14th. It's Sunday. It is quite sunny. True. If it was raining, I think a more fitting name would be Rain Day. <laughs> oh, here we go. Hot peppers. Hope you still enjoy them as much as the beer. Hmm, it's 9 a.m. Should I throw a freezing pe frozen pizza in the microwave or should I wait? I think it's a little bit early for pizza, but I admit it's a simple, a simple, filling, delicious meal, so I don't blame you. But I'd hold off. Okay, we were like one pixel off six hearts, so I skipped it to that. And ironically enough, we need a rainy day now. So it's good. That's not gonna be Sunday anymore. Cause I, I I'd have to skip Sunday if it was raining. It's just not accurate. I don't want to lie to the audience. It's not raining. I need to go back to bed. My bad. Still not raining. It's raining today though. Boom. Never mind. Oh my god, finally. That was what, like two weeks? Probably something like that. Put it on screen. I'm actually curious. Okay, 9 a.m. My friend, it is 9 o'clock in the morning. Are you good? Well, I know it's- Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Dot, 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 dot. Holy cuck. Bro. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. My, my life. It's a pathetic joke. Look at me. Why do I even try, Sob? So I'm too small and stupid to take control of my life. Just a p p piece of soiled garbage flittering in the wind. I've been coming here often lately. Looking down. Here's a chance to finally take control of my life. There's cliffs. Don't do a chain. Blah, 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 blah. But I'm too scared, too anxious. Just like always. I feel, look for the positive. That is a good case to be anxious. Well, like, all I do is work, sleep, and drink to, to, to dull the feelings of self-hatred. Why should I even go on? Tell me. To, to, tell me right now why I shouldn't roll off this cliff. Right now! You so much to live for her. Jazz needs you like father her. Be a sin. <laughs> I'm here for Jazz needs you like a father to her. Jazz does need you. You're right, Jazz. Oh God, I'm a horrible, selfish person. No, I feel even worse. Oh, Shane, it's not my intention, my friend. I'm sorry. Well, I got think you should take me to the hospital now. I got you. I got you. I'm busting out the farmer muscles. I'm carrying you there right now. I've pumped his stomach and rehydrated his body. He's going to be okay. It's good that you brought him in, though. Ooh, Harvey is not happy. Too much alcohol is terrible for the body. But right now, I'm most worried about his mental health. When he comes to, I'll have to chat with him about his treatment options. I know an excellent counselor in Zuzu City. Life can be painful sometimes, but there's always hope for a better future. You've got to believe in that. Agreed, Harvey. You spin facts. Wow, that was a sad cutscene. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's here. A little, little tree blocking, but here he is. Hey. Oh man. How do I say this? I'm really sorry about what happened at the cliffs. That was embarrassing. It's all good, Shane. I won't judge you. I'm just happy you're still here. Wow. It was that serious, huh? I can hardly remember. You going to that counselor, man? You need it, bro. I decided I want to see a therapist. Harvey got me in touch with a colleague of his. Good. Anyway, just wanted to thank you for taking care of me. And I want you to know that I'm going to take this things a little bit more seriously from now on. Don't want to be a burden on anyone. I'm not a burden, bruh. Just don't hurt yourself. Take care of yourself. How are you doing today, Shane, my friend? Every time I try to do something new, it goes horribly wrong. You learn to just stay in your shell. Does it though? Or do you just, you just, do you just find a way to interpret it that it goes horribly wrong? Well, if I hurry to the ranch today, I should be able to trigger another cutscene. And then we should be chilling. This one is a long cutscene, so I'm excited. Let me in. Here he is. Oh no, he's not here. Oh no, here he comes. Hi Shane, you look unusually happy today. <laughs> Such a mean thing to say. You're right, I haven't felt this light since I was a kid. What? Let me guess. Got a set of clearance sale on canned beer? Good one. That's kind of a mean. No, actually, I've been drinking sparkling water instead of beer, and I feel great. You know, I sometimes forget that I really do have friends. People that care about me. And it's okay for me to rely on them. It doesn't make me weak. Real and true. He looks sharp. Hi, Jazz. I've got something for you. Ooh, he's got a gift. <gasps> a present? That's not the Jojimar gift. The These are real bunny jewel slippers. <laughs> She's the cute little smile. Oh, that's nice. What a wholesome one. But, but these are so expensive. How did you afford them? I've got back on an expensive habit. I have a lot more spending money now. True. A lot of thing, or a lot of times, like people realize, but like they don't realize how expensive these bad habits are. Like I know people who spend like a thousand dollars a month on cigarettes, and it's like Jesus Christ, dude. Do you know how much money that is? <laughs> Every day is the same. Stocking these horrible shelves, constantly tossing and turning all night. Dude, I thought you were doing better. Oh man, I'm sad. All right, for the next uh, part two of the seven seven heart cutscene. I know, right? Weird. Um. I needed two hearts with Emily and Clint, but it should go now. Oh, he's like the photographer. Okay, guys, do you remember your lines? Yes. Ooh, he's not confident. Ready? Action. I thought we had something special. <laughs> I guess I was wrong. I, I, uh. Ooh, he messed it up. Cut. I'm sorry. It's hard to remember my lines when her face is right in front of me like that. Kind of messed up. Like, does Shane know that Clint has a crush on Emily? It's like, kind of messed up to put them in like a lover's drama or something. Oh, hey. Classic jump scare. Check out my new camera. Joji Cole is having a video advertisement competition and the prize is 10,000 gold. Hey, I want you to be in the shot, okay? Just walk by Clint and Emily in the background while they're talking. It'll give the scene a little more authenticity. Gotcha. That's easy. Okay, ready? Action. I thought we had something special, 
It wouldn't leave me for anything. I guess that was a lie. No, it's not like that. This is just something I have to do. It's very important to me. Oh, we looked away. I've just got to try new Jojo Blue Cola. It's got three times the Sorbetola for a sweet, thick blast, and it's cheaper than water. Is it soda unhealthy? <laughs> you promised me. Have no fear, my dear. The world-class science team at Jojo headquarters have determined that Jojo Blue does not cause significant erosion of the stomach lining. So you can drink it whenever you like, as much as you'd like. The real question is, when will you turn blue? Cut! Uh, well, that was a fire advertisement. Although I feel the science may be slightly misleading. That was perfect. Thanks for the help. Oh. Bro turned to blue. Very interesting. Anything in the mail? He gave me a pizza. Thank you. He gave me some pepper poppers. And he gave me another pepper popper. And he gave me another pepper popper. And he gave me a strange bun recipe. Interesting. Very cool. Very swag. Maybe I'll, I'll chef that up in the kitchen. If I had a kitchen. Oh my god, it's the luau. God freaking damn it. I'll definitely be going to the saloon tonight. What else is there to do? Shane, why do you... I'm so confused. This is one criticism I have of Stardew Valley, like lore or like cutscenes it feels like there's always such a disconnect between like certain cutscenes like in the t for example like 10 heart cutscenes will be like polygug i finally realized i truly love you and then you like you'll have given them a pendant like 10 minutes ago and like yeah i freaking know we're getting freaking married what do you mean you love me like i thought that was a given man we're literally getting married i've always thought that was kind of weird in addition to like other parts like, I like this game, but honestly, friendship might be one of the slightly worse aspects, maybe. Oh, he's gone. He's probably at work. Damn it. Oh, he's about to make it. I'm about to make his work day a whole lot better. Here we go, friend. I don't think he felt this way for me. I guess we're a couple now. If we pull up at the Marnie residence, uh, we should begin a cutscene. And there we go. Looks like Jazz is the only one home. What is that door at the back for? How did I just notice that? How's it going, Jazz? What's up, buddy? Uncle Shane's in the barn. He said, uh... He, he said to tell you he wants to show you something. Okay, sure. Don't mind if I do. I'll, I'll take a peek. Fresh eggs. Oh my god, the blue chickens. That should do it. God oh, damn, that's actually quite a barn. What a cute little chicken. It's the perfect home for your hens. Aw, what a cute little guy. We'll have the best eggs in the whole valley. Fresh and healthy with the rich golden yolks. Not like those pale, sickly Joja eggs. True. Second only to mine. Always oh, sad for a second. Sigh. You know, Charlie, I was thinking. God like me is always teetering on the edge of despair. Know what I mean? But you and the other hands are gonna keep me uptight from now on. I know it. Da -da -da. What's wrong? Too much pressure? Chuckle. Shout out the chickens. Hey Shane, how's it going? Hey Wallagug, so what do you think? My special blue hens. I've been raising them in secret for the past few months. I well. I won't be living here forever, and I want to pass something on to Jazz. I've been teaching her how to care for them. I want to feel like I'm not just a leech on the world. I want to contribute somehow, even if it's a small way like that. That's very noble. I respect it. Kane, that's commendable. Shout out to you. Just for that, you can come live on my farm. Wait, he doesn't wanna. Oh, whoops. Mall bet. Okay, you can't live on the farm yet. My, I was, it was a joke. Oh. What's up, Shane? Hey, Wally Gug. Hey, Shane. Hi, friend. Uh, so I got two tickets to the Tunnelers game tonight. Can I come? If you want to come, meet me at the bus stop around 5 p.m. Shane, I love the Tunnelers. I've always loved walking underground. I'm a big fan. Let's go. Oh, Alex is coming? Looks like Gus is tagged along as well. Hey, there you are. I'm glad you decided to come. We should get going. Don't want to be late. Damn, all of us got tickets. Very nice. We're almost there. Pre-game nerves. Wait, you're not playing though. I guess for the team? Oh my god, is this guy like stoned out of his mind? Holy smokes. Same- oh my- They're swarming, dude. It's actually a hostile takeover of the bald goatee faded guy. Okay, sorry. Here, I got you a cold one. You're not drinking though, right? You better not be. Oh, he is. Oh wait, doesn't look alcoholic. I didn't get slow effect. Are we winning? I hope we're running. Hey, I've been meaning to say. Thanks for sticking with me through everything. My anxiety, depression, you know. You've been a really good friend to me. Anyway, it's your first grid ball game, huh? Well, what do you think? Fun. Pelican Town seems really boring in comparison. Oh, really? 
Surprised. Didn't you move to Starfire to skip the noise of the city? Well, yeah, but I, I dabble. I dabble in noise. Don't get me wrong. I totally understand. My life in Pelican Town is pretty bland. You know. True. I do know. Ah, look, the tumblers are on the attack. Oh my god. That is the most hype I've ever seen. Oh, we're kissing as we score. Um, sorry. I got carried away there. Maybe I had one too many. Wouldn't be the first time. It's okay, Shane. I forgive you. <gasps> you did not see that coming. Well, that was definitely a good game. Real. Real and true. Oh yeah, and we won too. I know. I was there. Well, see you soon. You know, I'm gonna head over to your house and propose. Just kidding, I'm gonna sleep first. I don't know where you would be at 5 p.m. I have no clue, in fact. I'm gonna propose on the 15th of Samar. Hello, friend. That for I think I mean, of course I'll accept it. I'll let Maris know I me. Don't be late. I won't be late, don't worry. Not that you guys would even know, because I'm gonna skip the cutscene, as usual. Alright, time for the final, the final Shane event. What's going on here? Oh! Awkward. Phew. That was fun. I haven't had a session like that in a while. Erp. Oh, Welp. I'm all sweaty. Better head back home. Does he know? Oh, no. This doesn't look good. Well, you better keep your eye on him. Next time you see him come out of the saloon, you should say something. Just ask him. Don't assume. Look at him. Just standing on the porch like he did nothing. Well, he might have done nothing, but we don't know. And we're jumping to conclusions. Although it's a valid conclusion to jump to, considering his history. However, I do feel it could be interpreted as a little bit unfair. Oh, he came out. Oh, hey, Wally Gug, I was just on my way home, man. Da 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 da. Were you, were you drinking, Shane? Huh? You're drinking? No. Why would you think that? Hmm. Ooh, he's not happy about that. He's actually quite mad. Doesn't, he's not bad enough to fully walk away from me, though. Okay. Oh, here we go. Just gonna go and no, not let's just follow my man, guys. Come on. Okay, I'm ready for another round. Just go in. See what he's doing. He might not be drinking. All right, we've caught him in the act. Let's confront him. Take a deep breath. What is he gonna be doing? That's a real question. I'm honestly not even sure. He's probably not drinking, right? He's quit. Oh, he's gaming. Arg. Wait, he's also drinking though. So close. Oh hey, didn't know I had an audience. Shane, this is what you've been doing in here. Yeah, what did you think? I'm completely addicted to this game. I can't help but play round after round. I've even reached the number three spot on the global leaderboards. You might say I'm one of the best. Yeah, I'm number one and two though. But these cans! Huh? Oh, that's just Joji Cola. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's bad for the teeth, but it helps me focus. Wait, is she stupid? Don't cans have, like, logos? Wait, do you guys think I was drinking beer? Maybe. To be fair, you were going into a bar, bro. Well, I told you I hadn't been drinking. We were worried. We were worried, man. Man, come on. I'm your husband. You should trust me. I've always been honest with you about my problems. Look, I know I've been able to quit cold turkey, but I'm trying my best. I'm getting a lot healthier. My life is better now than it's ever been. I'm not in a dark place anymore. Aww. Big wholesome. You know, when I'm playing this game, I can come so focused I can't think about anything else. It really helps when I've got the urge. Satisfy an addiction with another addiction. I'll just play one more round and then I'll head home, okay? Whatever you say, Shane. Sure thing, man. Deal. Wow. Very cool, very based. Okay, one thing I'm curious about those people always say it gets worse. Ooh. This is beer. This is beer, not Joja Cola. Okay, that's gonna affect the ratings. All right, here they are. Likeability, seven out of 10. Again, he gets nicer when he gets his addiction under control. Cutscenes, probably 8.5 out of 10. There were a lot, and I like more cutscenes because more lore. Room, I don't know, three out of 10, kind of lame. So 6.3 out of 10, very cool. Wow, that was a lot. Okay, very cool. Let me know your favorite NPC in the comments and sleep well.